Praise the Lord. This is Master Prophet E. Bernard Jordan. Well, today we're getting ready to go live. I'm going to talk to you about the question is, who is your priest? Are you connected to your priest? And are you really doing right by your supervising priest? We need to look at a scripture today out of the book of Judges, chapter 17. And I want you to know that when you get the relationship right with your priest, everything will begin to line up. What is the first thing the priest handles with a male child? And there you begin to find a quality secret of life. Something as simple as a small seed has grown this massive tree. And I want you to know that the beauty of this could not be if it did not start with a seed. If you're successful today, that's because your seed is in the right place. If you're not, it's because your seed is in the wrong place. Let's get ready to go into today's message. powerful day for you. Move forward and know that God is with you. God will never leave you nor forsake you. Increase all that God has for you because God's hand is upon you for good. God bless you and remember that destiny is not left up to chance, but it is a matter of choice. Peace. Destiny is not left up to chance. It's a matter taking place at this place. We'll be, this will be one of the spaces. You must say June the 11th. I'll see you there, right here. Brooklyn! Prophet today, Prophet Joshua. I want to encourage you to sow 
the $222.22 today so that you can receive your digital roadmap. And you know, when you get that digital roadmap, it will take you into worlds because watch this. Where there is a word, there is a world. Where there is no word, there is no world. So the question today is, where is the world you're supposed to be existing in? Because when you find the word of the Lord, you have just discovered the world of the Lord. And surely the Lord God does nothing except reveal his secrets to his servants, the prophets. There is something that the Lord wants to reveal to you. But can I tell you, the secret is in the mouth of the prophet. So, call today, text today, or go to the website. So you see today so that your word can create your world. Praise the Lord. This is Master Prophet Ebernard Jordan, now known as Dr. Ebernard Jordan. I want to talk to you about the power of a story and why control the narrative. You have become the story that has been believed by you. Jesus says, according to his faith, be it done unto you. That's a narrative. Anyone that got healed in scripture, they got healed because of something they heard, a narrative. What is the story you have heard about the prophet? What is the narrative? Why media? Media is the filter that narratives come through. Why movies? Again, it controls the narrative. And in some ways, the destiny of a culture that may be the destiny or the destination of a people. If we don't use this moment to tell our own stories as prophets, it will be wiped out of time. And in about 10 to 15 years, it will be as if we've never existed. Why all the books here at Zoe Ministries? Because we're documenting the narrative. Why all of this footage on YouTube and social media? The narrative, so that your grandchildren may know. Why film at this time in a documentary? The narrative. If we fail as the elders, because listen, saints, I'm 62. We are now the new ancestors. If we as the ancestors don't leave the breadcrumbs for our children and children's children to begin to pick up and stand on these shoulders and leave the wealth and resources behind, the narrative will be destroyed. That's why we're doing the $10,000 for the documentary. And watch not only your faith increase, but watch your resources multiply. Why? Because money sitting in a bank, holding it there, it doesn't grow. Money in a drawer or in a safe does not go, grow. But if you put money in the lives of people, Definitely in the life of a prophet, you get the prophet's reward. I wonder what the reward would be by next time this time, time, by next year this time. I wonder what the reward will be for investing in the narrative of a prophet.
is a mentor important? A mentor is important because, number one, a mentor shortens the distance between you, your present, and your future. Also, a mentor is relevant and important because it's the difference between being in the game and being in the stands. A mentor will always get you out of your comfort zone. One of the things that I love about mentor, uh, mentoring, mentorship is that it's a gift to be graced with a mentor, whether that is a father or a mother-like figure that's in our life for a particular reason. Um, they act as a guide um, from the side a lot of times, and most of the times I find that it's our mentors that are what we would call our biggest critics, who would call the ones that would torment us the most, uh, but it's the greatest gift that we could be given to know what's working, what didn't work, and what can be done differently the next time. A life without a prophet is a man without a purpose. Proverbs says that without a vision, my people perish. What would you like to say about that, Prophet Joshua? You know, having a prophet is literally having eyes for my future in my present. And when you do not have eyes for the present, you are blind in your future. But for those of you that hang around people that are not woke, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. Why don't you consider, can you at least get one eye, one vision for your purpose today? Special announcement, the Master Prophet's birthday is June 11th. In celebration of his birthday, we're asking all members and partners to sow the Methuselah seed of $969 as a special Taruma to the Master Prophet. You can sow your Methuselah seed by ways of cash app at dollar sign my archbishop or dollar sign prophetess Deborah. Zell, Bishop Jordan at ZoeMinistries.com, Venmo, Bernard hyphen Jordan hyphen four, PayPal, Bishop Jordan at ZoeMinistries.com, or by calling the moderator at 888-831-0434. Be sure to note Methuselah seed in the comments. Kenneth Cook. We're going to talk for a moment about America's Black Prophet. What made you go out, search for a team to put this together, and then present to me the fact that we need to do a documentary? Well, Master Prophet, you know, I have a heart for the ministry. I've been in the ministry since, uh, wow, 17 years old. Right. 17 years old. Yeah, yeah. That's 40. how many years ago? That three years ago? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> or 30. <laughs> it, was, it, it was a little while ago. So, uh, you know, I have a heart uh, for the prophetic, definitely a heart uh, for the Master Prophet. And, and being in the ministry for so many years, Master Prophet, and seeing all the great things that you've done, uh, just the way you've impacted people across the world with prophetic and globalizing it. And for many people that experienced it, it was their first time experiencing prophecy. And so I just felt moved. I felt like God gave me a charge. God gave me a mission to be a part of bringing this together. Amen. Now, if we begin to look at America's Black Prophet, I find that there's not a whole lot of prophetic documentaries. Yes. 
Yes, and that and that is key because you know when you look at it, you know we've talked about the prophetic many years has existed in the church, but there's never been a documentary or any kind of intellectual property to ever uh, go out to uh, be presented to the world to so those who don't necessarily come into church. Yeah, you know we're right now we've been leading from the future. And we've written a written judgment, and it's been documented concerning the prophecies about the virus, yes. uh, concerning about the first African-American president that was written, that prophetic word, around about 1994 or so, concerning Hurricane Katrina. I mean, there's so many prophetic words that have been spoken. Even concerning Russia and China is in the written judgment. And there's people that have been tracking that over 30 plus years of unbroken prophetic wisdom that has been in this. Now, a documentary of where did a prophet come from? How did he emerge? What was the crisis that was in his life that changed his message in the church? Yes. So yes. There's just a lot of things people don't know and not even aware of but were pivotal points that created the transitions that we've made in ministry. And you know, it's so powerful, Master Prophet. You mentioned all of the occurrences that's already been prophesied. It appears to me that we're always living in the nowness of the words of the books that you start writing back in the 80s. Yes. We're always living in it. And even down to the point where we prophesied about people will be begin educated from home. People be yes. working from home. And now today we're looking at the great resignation. Is that something that the pandemic caused or is that something that God created? Are we living in a new day? We're going to begin to look from the rotary phone prophet to the 5G prophet. That's powerful. Yeah, and That's some powerful. people are still stuck in rotary phone technology. Watch this. This is what I'm learning, Prophet Kenneth. Accuracy is not enough for the future because the rotary phone dialed the numbers accurately. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. So a person can say, the rotary phone is accurate, but guess what? It's not operational in a 5G world. Yeah, it's obsolete. And you know, that's a great point. You know, one of the things that we began to see, Master Prophet, you're always pioneering, not just with the prophetic word, but with the prophetic move. Because when the pandemic hit, one of the things that we were already in position for as a result of your foresight, kind of like Noah, building an art in the desert hasn't rained for years. That's right. And it's like, what is that guy doing building a boat in the desert? Yeah. <laughs> but you built this art, and the art was a, 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 a virtual platform where we can have avatars and experience church. And so when you talk about the rotary phone and the time we're now and a 5G profit, you had already built this, and when the pandemic hit, we were in the art and had shelter. It was amazing. And many churches have closed down. Yeah, and yet we must understand that the church is not a building because our church has never been closed down. The building has, but the church has always been open. It's very true. Because, see, we sent the people home in 2007 and said, watch us streaming. And there was leaders in this city and around the country says, what if Bishop Jordan has destroyed his church? Has he destroyed his church? Or was he building a church by leading from the future? This documentary, we're calling for 63 people to do the $10,000 seed. The prophet's Deborah says it should be 100 and something. It should. <laughs> it should, right? <laughs> should. Because you can already see this going to be a documentary yes. series, right? Yes. There's been the, we, 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 we got to find a way to talk about the school of the prophets. Yes. We got to find a way to talk about the prophet to foreign nations. We got to find about talking about some of the celebrities that careers pivoted as a result. We don't know which documentary that's going to come in. What happened in the life of a person like a, a Reverend Run? That when he came to us, he was DJ Run with his his sneakers. And he has a family time. Bible. We sitting on the front row. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, Reverend Al Sharpton, who was. Um, obese and the 
people in the country was against him because of the Tawana brawling and how it was prophesied that that would move away from him and that he would become the doll in the media and he will be in and out of the White House. Did we not see that come to pass? Yes and yes. You know, it's, it's amazing, Master Prophet. It's like when you look at what the body of work that you've had in terms of the prophetic. I mean, so many individuals have literally had their life transformed. I mean, uh, reinvention. I mean, Run coming to the church and leaving as Reverend Run yes. with a show in the air. Uh, you know, it, the list goes on and on, and there's many people that, you know, we probably couldn't mention in this documentary who probably not want to be named, but you, you impact so many individuals, and I think this, this documentary is going to be not only moving and educational and informative for the prophetic, but it's also going to be inspiring. Yes. Because when we begin to look back at your, your, your childhood, uh, we begin to look at back at your teenage years, your courage in embracing the visitation of God. I mean, there's going to be some things that we, we expose here in this documentary about the Master Prophet that you haven't talked about yet. I'll leave that, you know, for a surprise. But this is going to be something that's going to definitely, uh, it's going to shape the, the next coming years and centuries as the world begins to look at, how the world begins to look at prophets. Yeah, and what you are sowing into, this story must be told by us. We yes. cannot allow, allow our oppressors or those that think they have control over our destiny as a people. If it's told by our oppressors, it's going to start from another point. Just like if you look at history today, we suggest that the history of America, especially by African Americans, start at 1619. They're calling that critical race theory. Yes. They want to move that away from the school system. So then that means our black history will start from another point in time that will not be relevant to the struggle that we experience. Watch this. Whoever controlled the narrative of, of the history controls the destiny of the people. We must control our own destiny. We must not allow corporate America to raise the money for us because they will want to control the narrative. And when we begin to understand that as a people, God gives us wealth so we can become the repairer of the world. He gives us wealth to establish his covenant. There's enough of us wealthy people here, like you that are listening, that you can invest into this Prophetic Legacy Project, PLP, Prophetic Legacy I love Prophecy. I love it. Prophet, this Prophetic Legacy Project, this Prophetic Legacy Prophecy, this Prophetic Legacy Place, watch this, your grandchildren, will look up and say, my grandfather, my grandmother mm. had a connection with America's black prophet. When you look at it, you're two generation, you're the second generation because your mother brought you here. That's right. After you came here, you found your natural mother. That's right. All part of the healing process. All part of the healing. And it was spoken. A prophet in the house said that it would happen. I, I didn't believe it. <laughs> but it happened. Yes. Building a prophecy. And so there's got to be a documentary that's told about the forming of the company of prophets. Yes. And how do these gifted individuals gather together under one umbrella from different denominations and become voices to a world and become global? That's why we must start our own documentary. And right now, I am looking to get a person to document my life from now until I choose to depart this earth. Mm -hmm. So that means my next 50 years, if I choose to stay on Amen. the earth that many years, there will be a person in film that will be cataloging my story so that every year as we're doing the countdown to the end of days, there will be something that is continually being unveiled that we've got to begin to look in the past that begins to explain the present and then the declaration of where we're about to go in the future. That's powerful. That's powerful. You know, when you look at this, you know, I love what you said about we have to be able to finance this. Because the one thing that you've taught us, it's important for the prophet to be able to 
be obedient to the calling, but have a, 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 a voice to where it's in your not control. So if you're financed by someone else or corporate or sponsored, you're Muslim. Yes. So it's important that this story be told from the Master Prophet, and it's an opportunity for you to be a part of that and so on. And it, it kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, when we had Marcus Garvey on Earth, you know, he was the first black person to actually offer an IPO to blacks. So when I got IPO, he had stock. And so there were blacks that were able to say, hey, I invested. I invested. And that's something that you can actually tell that story to your grandkids, to their, their great grand. And so this is a great opportunity for you to be a part of history. And this mirrors that time. Yes. And so you've been brought to the kingdom for such a time as this. I don't want you to miss the kingdom. And I don't want you to miss the time. Call now, 888-831-0434. And make a pledge of $10,000 and you can sow the seed into this prophetic legacy documentary. Listen, if not now, then when? If not you, then who? What and when are you waiting for? We must do it now. Tell our story before the systems of this world deleted that there was a prophet that ever existed among us. I'm Master Prophet E. Bernard Jordan, your most trusted name in prophecy. I'll see you at the documentary. prophesying and giving the word of the Lord to the people of God. What is it that you need to know about the future? It sits right here and we speak it forth here so you can go out into it. The future is yours when you're connected to a prophet. I'm Master Prophet E. Bernard Jordan, your most trusted name in prophecy. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. As I'm looking at you on this fine, magnificent Saturday, early afternoon. My name is Prophet Gregory Clark Sr. And it is my pleasure and honor to open up this time frame as we're going to be a part of part two. Yes, part two, dos, dewey, of this magnificent conversation that was started on this past Thursday, April 28th with our very own Dr. Janine Hyman, a princess in the church, and the reason why we refer to her as such, because we know that bishops are princes of the kingdom, and since she is a female, we wish to acknowledge her as such, even though she's a queen in her own right, and she will be with us shortly, but this is your time frame to be in the space called there, so regardless if you're watching us on the Verbella platform, Get yourself situated, get your notes ready, because today is the day that, you know, you're going to be built back up with the information. You're going to be built back up with your power. You're going to be built back up with some consciousness 
that is not necessarily from a Eurocentric viewpoint. Amen and amen. So as we start to establish ourselves, remember, especially here at Zoe Ministries, we understand that resources are key for the manifestation of anything for the word to get out. Remember, people will cast their resources towards things to keep people subjugated. People will cast their resources to allow certain things to not be dispensed. Also, people will keep their levels of control based upon how they reallocate those resources. So here as a ministry, we always encourage you to be in constant worship. Yes, that means to sow the seed. But before I tell you how to sow into this fertile ground, I want to remind you and remind some of those who are watching us on Facebook, some of you who are watching us on Instagram, some of you who are watching us on our various YouTube channels, how you can get your first fruits offering in. Yes, your first fruits offering in to the man of God. And our presiding priest here happens to be our very own Dr. E. Bernard Jordan. Because one week from today, yes, today is Saturday, April 30th. One week from today, we will have a conferred doctor in the building here at the ministry. Not an honorary degree, not human letters, not something that just based upon, you know, you know, you were a blessing to a, a particular university. No, this is something that was worked on, that was strategized, that was researched, and that was earned. And so once, as you, if some of you have been following or, or are following the Master Prophet on the various social media platforms, you recognize they shared a little snippet of yesterday's photo shoot as they are preparing because he, he has his robe, he has his colors, he has his attire that will allow him to walk across that stage at Virginia Union University next week, Saturday, May 7th, as he will get his doctorate of ministry degree. And also we celebrate the fact that we're going to watch and see Bishop-elect Joshua Nathaniel Jordan. He'll walk as well as he's gotten his master's degree conferred upon him. Also, we celebrate um, our elder John David Bratton, who also is getting his min, um, min, um, master's of divinity as well, along with Bishop-elect's lovely wife, our very own minister, Jessica Jordan, who is going to be also a master of divinity as well. So it's going to be a great, great time next Saturday for those of you who are traveling to Virginia University. I mean, Virginia Union, let me say it correctly, Virginia Union University. That means you're going to be in those spaces and opportunities and places to bear witness, to bear witness a point in time in history and of course you know it's going to be documented so remember that you know if you are going to go down there to celebrate please make sure that you are properly attired because you never know you might be on film you might be captured for forever and you want to be in your best area and your best space and how that you're going to be captured because remember it's unforgiven and it's a good thing a good thing we should always be prepared at all times and in all areas and so next week next saturday may 7 2022 we are celebrating the fact that our very own archbishop master prophet will be known as dr e bernard jordan amen and as the master prophet shared yesterday um the celebration party for all the graduates and also, it's going to be our way of also celebrating our mothers. Yes, our mothers. So if you, if you are a mother who is in the local area and you know that you are a mother here at Zoe Ministries, you might receive a phone call. No, not might. You will receive a phone call from the moderators. Um, being assigned by our very own prophet Janice Goss and to make sure that you are informed that you are also invited to join us on May 9th only the mothers so if you get a, if you are a mother here at the church and you receive a phone call about joining the master prophet as we celebrate not only him graduating with his doctorate degree and celebrating all the other graduates as well but we're also going to be celebrating Mother's Day even though it's a day later, but it's still going to be in the same vibration. So it's not something that we are negating or minimizing, but it's giving you the opportunity in the space that we can also honor 
our mothers of the house. We bless you, mothers. We thank you for your service, and we thank you for your contributions here to the ministry as well. So that will be on Monday, May 9th, 2022, at an undisclosed location. No, I'm not going to share the note. I know where it is, but I'm not going to share it with you. Because just as we said, you have to call the, our partner care line at 888-831-0434. Once again, you have to call our partner care line to RSVP. We are compiling, and people are already starting to call already, so we can compile the list to see if you receive a return call or communication from us to say, okay, this is the location, this is the secret location that you can meet us on Monday, May 9th, that means you're in the building. If you do not, then, you know, don't take it any type of way. It's just probably you just, we, we just made sure that we want to make sure because we have a certain capacity that we have to adhere to. And it's not so much that, you know, you can decide that day, oh, I just want to show up anyway. No, you probably will be turned away. So remember, you have to RSVP for this great event as we celebrate not only our Dr. Ebenard Jordan, but his our fellow graduates and also our mothers on this terrific day of Monday, May 9th, as we start to situate and to see and to, to be as um, you saw me just do my hand clap. It's lovely to see some of our members who I will introduce in a couple of moments in the building, boy, it's just lovely to see them in the flesh, and it's always a great time to fellowship. So remember, we have a lot going on here. And also, I would implore you, make sure you get your birthday celebration seat, your birthday celebration. Look, you might as well say we're in May. I know today's the last day of April, but you might as well say we are in May. We, you don't wait till May happens and say, oh, we're in May. We're in May. So that means if you know that you wish to be in the building, if you know you're going to wish to be a part of the great extravaganza that's going to happen at the Marriott Hotel at the Brooklyn Bridge on Saturday, June 11th, 2022. Now, the banquet starts at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but we're going to have some viewings. We're going to have some world premiere showings of America's Black Prophet, The Power of Prophecy, Part 1, as we start to document and share the story of our very own Dr. E. Bernard Jordan. So it will premiere that day. Everything is being worked on in the, in the sidelines, the, the great assembled team between the video side and the audio side and making sure everything is coming together and it's going to be a great experience. So you also have to let us know about, you know, which um, time frame that you wish to view the particular, you know, the particular showing that we're going to be sharing the documentary because it's going to be a tremendous time. And once again, it's only a donation of $630 as we celebrate the Master Prophet's 63rd birthday. It's only a donation of $630 to be in the building. And if you know, like I know, we ain't got that much room left. Yes, I, I talked to Ebonics just now. I, I went terrible English for a reason. Just in case that, that's the joke some of you on YouTube or Vibello or whatever platform that you're watching us, no, I'm, I'm there to shake you up to let you know. You need to make sure if you're going to be in the building, get your ticket now, because those tickets are about to become very, very scarce. And we wouldn't want you to be that individual that says, oh, I have my 630 now. And you're saying it's probably like the middle or towards the end of May. And we're looking at you it's like, we would love to take your 630, but it won't be for the, for the birthday celebration. We can put that towards your lesson plan 12. We can put that towards, you know, any other outstanding things that you wish to do, you know, you can apply that towards your tithes or whatever, but there won't be any space for you because we know that it's getting closer and closer to where we're going to have to cut it off based upon the capacity. And it's, it's a great thing. You should never wait till the last minute to do certain things in life. God is a God of order. God is a God of planning. And if you planned accordingly, you will be in the space with us on Saturday, June 11th, 2022, as we celebrate the Master Prophet's 63rd birthday. Back in the Borough Kings. That's right, Brooklyn, New York. I don't care where you at in the world. Seems if you scream out the word Brooklyn, somebody's gonna respond. Ooh, ooh. Somebody's gonna respond back. Somebody from Brooklyn somewhere, in, I don't care if you're in Antarctica, somebody is on Antarctica from Brooklyn. 
So it is what it is. It's all good. It's all good. And we're so happy that for those of you who have completed your pledge, as it was shared yesterday, if you completed your $10,000 pledge, that means you're getting the table. That's already going to be shared. So please, if you get a correspondence from the ministry, the 888 number, it might be a moderator coming to confirm your information, and we need the names of the individuals that you're going to be at your table. Yes, we need that in advance so we can allocate accordingly, so we can position everything. God is a God of order. I have to keep reiterating that. It's not us just bothering you. It's not just us just inundating you with calls. We are there to get the information from you. So you, if you know you're one of the 38 people so far, because we, we confirmed that number last night. So far, we have 38 individuals or couples who have already completed their $10,000 pledge C. So that means those 38, regardless of those couple like me and my wife, or if you're an individual, you have a table. So please, if you receive a call from the ministry, a receive a call from the ministry. That means you see the Zoe Ministries number pop up. Please pick it up. That is that is a moderator calling you to confirm the names and individuals that's going to be at your table. So we, as a birthday committee, being led by my wife, um, Prophetess Cheryl Clark, we can be in a space to make sure that you have a tremendous time. That's what it's all about. The Master Prophet always over delivers and we want to make sure that everything is set up in a proper manner and in, in order. Amen and amen. So without further ado, you know, as we start to stimulate some, some an open heaven, we're going to go to a song. We're going to go to a song. We're going to go to a song. We're going to, because you know, we're going to wicked, wicked. You know, as we talked last night, Mr. C, going to be in the building on May 9th, so we're going to wicked, 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 wicked. We're going we're gonna to do a little scratching up. You know what I'm saying? Bring your dancing shoes. Bring your dancing shoes. I'm telling you, you know, you may hear some choice words. That's okay, because some of the words that you may think are one way, you know, the real curse words is try and want. So that just I'm just saying that out there for some of you who are sanctified and holy and spiritualized and all that good stuff. Amen and amen. So we're going to go to the song and after the song we'll be right back and it'll be my honor to introduce some of our great prophetic coaches who are in the space. I'm not going to tell you their names yet. We're going to introduce them after we come back from this song. Stay tuned and thank you for joining us for today's seminar. <laughs> The power of prophecy. The master prophet is anointed. I mean, this man talked about a black president way before Barack Obama went to the USC. I was blown away by the prophecy. The prophecy hit all the marks and told me of my future. Now listen to this man prophesy to me. I just screamed, I said, I'm done. The master prophet began to hear from God. We were trying to wait for and hear the rest of the word, but nothing else came. It was just nine, it's just one, a play one. And crashed into the World Trade Center. Well, God gives certain people certain insight toward guiding in the flow of where God wants us at the time in history that he's put us on earth for. Oh, you know, he's a false prophet. We were called the money church. The love of money is the root of all evil. I did not go into the ministry to get rich. I got rich doing ministry. It wasn't about taking a vow of poverty. The lack of money is the root of all evil. How can you even be a Christian and not preach the message of prosperity? Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, they were rich people, had big houses. When you lack money, you lack choices. You have money, you can do great things things in ministry. Believe his prophets and so shall ye prosper. Glory to your name.
mighty God. He reigns forever and ever and ever. Our God is a mighty God. He reigns forever. You sing. Our God is a mighty God. And he awesome God and we are here and as you can see now I've been joined by the one I've been able to you know just be with you know just be sanctified in the spirit and in the physical her name is prophet Cheryl Clark thank you prophet Clark thank you so much for that wonderful introduction as always I'm being gleamed with my husband's presence. Thank you so much, Prophet Clark. And welcome to our second part two, a second day. So part two of this fantastic seminar that we are privileged and honored to have Bishop Janine Hyman with us. So if you do not know what's happening right now or you do know what's happening right now, we want you to go ahead and share, share, share with your friends, your family. We want you to go ahead and begin to move. This is a movement, um, what we're on this, this year. Master Prophet is really um, making some monumental moves as being America's black prophet. He's, re he's decolonizing our minds. He's, he's really getting us set up to flourish in these upcoming years. What do you think about that, Prophet Clark? Well, you know, what it is is that we're moving into a new space and a new time. And with that, that means you have, you cannot bring, you know, you know, new wine and old wineskins. Mm. So now that as we start to wipe your minds away, yes, we're wiping minds, not your brain. Your brain is the muscle, but your mind or your mindset is what's being wiped during this time frame. And during this time, when you start to recognize as we wipe mindsets, that's what we do here as prophetic coaches here under the auspices of Zoe Ministries. And today, it is a pleasure that we have some of our prophetic coaches, not just only the two that you see right now, but it's going to be a pleasure just to introduce some and present to some others. Let's start with our sniper. Yes, the sniper's in the building. We're not talking about the swiper. We're the talking about sniper. The, we're talking about the sniper. The not, sniper. We're not blues clues in it now. Oh, oh we're, no, we're not doing blues that. clues. So we're not snipe. We're not swiping. We're sniping. Is that, is that what it is? Swiping. So swiping. And swiper, no swiper. <laughs> swiper, no swiper. <laughs> that's not blues clues. Oh no, Dora. Yeah, Dora. that's Dora. That's Dora. Dora. The Explorer. That is Dora. Hey, man, and 
and amen. So without further ado, the sniper! Yes! Gloria Jean Kelly. Amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And welcome to this afternoon's seminar conference. Uh, this mind-blowing experience we're getting ready to walk into, I encourage you to make sure that you have everything you need because you won't be able to move once this woman of God begins to speak. You're going to be glued to your seat. You're going to be glued to your computer, wherever it is that you, whatever medium you're on, you're going to be glued there. Why? Because you don't want to miss one second of what's going to be uh, given to us today. And so thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. I'm honored to be in the presence of Dr. Janine Hyman and also Bishop, uh, Bishop Anthony or Prophet Anthony Shannon, as well as the Clark, certainly our Pastor Deborah Jordan and absolutely our Dr. E. Bernard Jordan. This is a pleasure, an honor, and a privilege. Bless you. Amen. Amen. Woo, that was our sniper. Now, now we know affectionately. Now we call her the seeker master. Wicked, 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 wicked. The seeker master. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, you know, every Jedi, every Jedi, uh, every Jedi Knight needs a, uh, you know, when you're Padawan, you need that, that Jedi Knight that's going to bring you through the process towards your level of becoming that neophyte, which yes. only means that you're becoming a new thing. It means you're becoming an advanced thing. You're becoming someplace that you're moving from one dispensation of thought to another. And so it is my honor. Yes. To say that we have her with her lightsaber working. <laughs> her <ready>. lightsaber. <laughs> ready to, to bring you to a new level of expression. None other than one of the leaders of our Temple Sears department here at the Prophetic Order of Mar Elijah in the body of Prophetess Antoinette Harris. Amen and amen. Please <laughs> Wow, you know, I am so excited to be here. I got a front row seat. I'm here with um, Bishop Janine Hyman. On behalf of um, my master prophet and Lady Deborah, we have an opportunity to be uh, firsthand in a place where, you know, the, I always said to um, God, you said we, you had meat that we knew not of. So I'm beginning to see the more I'm thirsting, the more God is pouring on the meat. So I thank God for an opportunity to be here because we are transformed by the renewing of our mind. So I'm open today. I came here as a seeker. How about that? And I, <laughs> if I'm seeker master, I'm the first one in line seeking, partaker. right? I'm the first <laughs> partaker. Yes. And I am thirsty. I came as a empty, you know, picture before a full fountain. And I am going to really eat and sup with this company of prophets and those that God has put in my place to pour into me so I can continue to pour out to others. I must be full myself. So I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for that, that really wild introduction. <laughs> uh, Minister Clark, I, you know, we love you. And thank you so much for um, allowing me to be here front and center. Amen. 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 Now, you know, we have special guests in the building. We have special guests. You know, we got a man out of Detroit, Michigan. You know, All right. you know he's probably a Lions fan. He got some stuff on. No, he put some Pistons. other stuff on him right now. No, 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 no. But he, I'm, just, I'm talking about his team. Look at him rapping. He's rapping. I know, I know. I know. We still got, you know what I'm saying? I got, you know he, and saying? he got, I got the metal. He's showing you the metal around his neck that's and everything. That's what I'm saying. But, but that's not the point. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, we know Michigan is in the house. We know Michigan is in the house. So we're going we to allow him to He got his little Ann Arbor colors on. It's OK. We're not, no, we, we, we good, we good. But it is my pleasure as one of um, being able to work with this great man of God as one of the, and he's in the um, Zoe Ministries business Amen. coaching yes, he program. Is. And I would love for him to greet the people as he is an anointed man of God as well in the body of Pastor Anthony Shannon. Greet you. <laughs> Well, good morning, good afternoon, and it is such a wonderful opportunity to be here on the sacred desk yeah. along with the Clarks. You know, you have to put them both together. They're <laughs> individual, but together they're the Clarks, and they are power-packed. I tell you, God has been doing some miraculous things this week. We give honor to no other than worthy class master, leading lady, the pastor herself, uh, Deborah Jordan. Hey, hey. That's right. You got to thank God. 
mighty woman of God. I promise you, she's mighty. And then, of course, this bishop, this doctor, this intellectual giant, mm. uh -huh, Janine. Uh -huh. That's it. You hey. got to make sure you are. And she's a delta. What you say? <laughs> Sit next to me. <laughs> I'm all right. Hallelujah. <laughs> woo, woo. <laughs> Showing up in diamonds. Showing up in diamonds. <laughs> I'm around all of the giants. Uh, you saw uh, Prophetess Antoinette. Uh, you saw worthy class master Gene Kelly. The and of course Legs is here. And what can we say about Dr. E. Bernard Jordan? Oh, yes. Leading from the future, always stepping out into zones no one ever saw but God himself, and yet we are better for it. And I thank God for this great opportunity. It's been enriched. It's been com compacted with substance, and I leave here the better. And I thank God to hear again the column decolonizing our minds to be better so that we can be free for real. Yes. <laughs> Back to you, Prophet. Amen, amen, amen. Now, you know, as I've learned over time, you know, I only can be a stronger man because there's a woman that's in my life. So we always got to give so honor to, uh, no, 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 look, girl, now. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Neil <laughs> Smith, yeah. I went back. <laughs> we can get a little frisky now. <laughs> but anyway, let me just pop a card. Yeah, I did. Oh, well, just a little. Any bit. powerful man, there is a powerful <laughs> woman right. by his side, <laughs> and we have to make sure we introduce her properly. The first lady. I'm trying to fix it up. The only. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I said girl for a reason. Oh, you said girl for. Okay, yeah, you got to get clean. Look now. We. This is called. This will be marriage seminar uncaught. We're not going to do that right now. So we're going to stay focused here. Girl. Yeah. Girl. 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 Hey, Pastor Deborah Jordan. Amen. We are in for a treat. It's yes. already started. Yes. You know, you know, so if I were you, why don't you call a friend, call a neighbor, call someone and let them know, listen, come on in, because this conversation is going to be all that it needs to be, and then some. Amen. I'm so honored to be here with such a very prestigious group of individuals on today. Um, the Clarks, amen. Uh, we have our Elder Kelly. We have our Prophetess Antoinette. We have our Prophet and Pastor Anthony Shannon. And we have the illustrious um, Bishop Janine ha Hyman that is with us as well, and we are going to have a good time. If you missed out Thursday, you missed out. Mm -hmm. It was on. Mm. She was dealing with the decolonization of our Christianity. Mm. You know, I didn't even realize that sometimes, like, we carry a lot of the stuff because we have people so connected with tradition and ritual that we, like, with the hand finger going in the church, raising your finger when you got up to go. That was from slavery time. Mm. You're trying to get permission from your, from, from the slave owner so that you can go to the bathroom and stuff. Mm. Even wearing the white gloves. So, listen, she going to decolonize us and she going to set us straight. So, listen, get your pen, get your paper, come up with an open ear, an open heart to hear all that she has for you because it's going to be on. And we also want to encourage you um, while we are sharing on these, I mean, this amazing platform, we want to also give you the opportunity to get your seed in the ground as well. Amen. The prophet is always connected with your finances, with your prosperity. Mm -hmm. So why not come on in and get that done? We're going to also be sharing later on as we move and flow. Um, America's blessed. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. To God be the glory. And there's going to be some other individuals that perhaps should show up. You know, we have some that is late. I'm not going to call any names, oh, but geez. nevertheless, Ooh. hallelujah. Edible. To God be the glory. So listen, we're going to have <laughs> <laughs> the Lord. That's not, and 
I'm yes. just excited to be here. Amen. Because truly, truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. And you know something? We are choosing to rejoice. And I want to say something else to you right before I decrease. You are all in the right place. Mm. So you yes. need to celebrate and salute yourself because you made a right choice to be at the place called there. Yes. And this is the place that God has ordained for us yes. to be here on this afternoon. So God bless you. I love you to life. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to the clerks. God Amen. bless you. Amen. Yeah. you know what? We have to, thank God. We have to have a little levity because she's about to bring it on. Oh yes. Right. We have to. Woo! We laughing now because you, you may not be laughing in a couple of minutes. You may be crying. You may be crying. So you may get mad. mad. Yeah. And you know, those mm. are all emotions that you have to go through. Be expressed. And you should be self-expressed mm. through the emotions. You should cry. You should laugh. You should do all those emotions because it's necessary. You're human. And when we try to suppress, and I'm not teaching, but to try to suppress some things, and this is what she's going down. There's some things that have been suppressed and went deep down in your soul that you don't even know. So we're about to go forth on this. May I introduce? Oh, please. I wanted to make sure I get your permission first. Oh, no. Right, because. Because. Because, because, the because. Going, the woman is going to talk, and the queen is going to talk right now. Oh, All yeah. right. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Let me decrease it. Let me go back. <laughs> Let me sip some tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be a great marriage. Uh, um, conference later on this in this year. I can see that now. But anyway, <laughs> I want to say that we... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I want to say thank you all for joining us on today. We have a great woman of God. Amen. She is a yes. bishop in her own right. Mm -hmm. She is, like my husband said, the princess of the church. Mm -hmm. She as she begins to move in this season to begin to break some things down and build us back up. She's going to begin to move in this season to bring the, us into m new enlightenment. So if you're ready, I want you to begin to get your pad and pencil, your paper, your, your whatever it is that you write on, take notes. Or just sit back and take it all in. Amen. Because this is a time where you're going to begin to shift some things. Something is going to happen to you. Just sit with it. And we're going to have to begin to move in this season. So we are going to hear, I want us to put our hands together right now to introduce the one and only, the queen in her own right, yes, Bishop Janine Hyman, Ph.D. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I am indeed delighted uh, to be here on today. Um, well, really, all this week yes. it has been mm -hmm. transformational, even in side conversations <laughs> and uh, <laughs> chatting here and, and uh, the fellowship. Mm -hmm. uh, I certainly give honor and esteem to my brother, the, in a few days, <laughs> Dr. Ebenard Jordan. Yes! Uh, yes! Yeah. And my sister, beloved, Pastor Deborah Jordan. That's true. Um, I just love them real good. I love real them good. real good. And to all of the prophets, and uh, I just say prophets. Uh, right. You know, I don't, you know, I ain't with the misogyny. Uh, all of the prophets uh, who are surrounding me on today, uh, I am honored to be here. And with all of my Zoe family, yes. Uh, and to the Kingdom Concept School of Ministry students who are uh, on with us and whoever else is on with us, all of you who have gathered here, uh, the fact that you are here Bye -bye. says to me, you are ready. Amen. You might not think you're ready, <laughs> but you are ready. So I'm, I may have to do a Harriet Tubman today. Mm. And uh, I, I don't have a shotgun in my hand. Mm -mm. No more. But I do have one in my mouth. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and get my people. Yes. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I like that. Shots fired. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, and God has always used prophetic and apostolic people um, to bring any people into new realms, new dimensions, uh, but to definitely bring people of oppression um, into a place of repentance and then promise. And so this is the hour that y'all, you know, we don't sing this stuff. Uh, tell old Pharaoh, 
Ah, let my, my people, people go. go. Mm-hmm. We don't do that uh, anymore. And so that is the mandate now, mm-hmm. uh, that we go and get our people who are in a type of bondage that they do not know of, mm-hmm. um, because by nature of our colonized Christianity, um, this is all some of us have ever known. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember uh, you guys that used to watch Good Times. Mm-hmm. You all remember mm-hmm. when uh, Michael came with this oh, black Jesus? Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. yeah, he comes Very with this militant, black yes. Jesus, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, he's trying to put it up on the wall and Florida mm-hmm. Evans is going, what is that? Mm-hmm. What are you doing? And he said, Mama, I'm putting Jesus mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, and she said, that ain't Jesus. Mm-hmm. She said, this Jesus right here been in my family for years. That's right, mm-hmm. I did say that. And she said, this is the only mm-hmm. Jesus I Jesus. know and Jesus. love. Jesus, Jesus. No. Ah. What and you? it was in her children mm-hmm. a revolt. Yes. Because something, something wasn't right. And for many of us, that Jesus has been in our family for years. Mm. And that's the only <laughs> Jesus that we know and love. And I could, uh, as a psychologist, I, I could do a whole four hours on just what the icon, the icons and the imagery um, has done to the conscious and how it has uh, rewritten some things in the brain. Uh, and it has redefined who they are. And it's also redefined to us who we are or who we are not. So I think we ended, uh, Prophetess Clark, our last uh, girl, mm, our girl. Mm. Oh, geez, I got traumatized all over again. <laughs> we ended our last session with telling us. He didn't say gal. He didn't say, come here, gal. <laughs> I think we ended our last uh, conversation on Thursday um, with. Uh, let's start with some of what we are not. Mm-hmm. And uh, we started with we are not adopted. Mm. Yes, we did. Uh, the doctrine and the, and the theory of adoption mm-hmm. is not for our people. Mm. Uh, historically, Africans, when they came over here, for the most part, were not Christian. The vast majority were not. Some were Muslims, some were still practicing. Mm-hmm. Um, ancient African religions and traditions, Mm -hmm. Uh, some handful uh, may have been Christian. Um, But when we go back and we look at the traditional um, uh, parts of Africa, Mm -hmm. you know, and certainly it's not monolithic group or anything like that, it's a whole continent, Mm -hmm. Uh, not not a country, uh, 45, Uh, (laughs) not not a country. (laughs) Um, Their names for God, may vary from one area to another. Mm -hmm. But the concept of God was always the same. Mm -hmm. And so while we were um, pegged as polytheistic, Mm. uh, serving many gods, we understood rank and order. That's something we have a problem with here Mm -hmm. as the descendants of slaves, Mm -hmm. rank and order. Mm-hmm. especially when the rank and order looks like us. Mm-hmm. Yes. Then we have a problem with it. That's one of the pathologies mm-hmm. that has traveled, the traumas that have traveled um, with us. But they understood rank and order. Every kingdom has rank and order. order. Mm-hmm. Every kingdom. Every kingdom. You, you know, so, so this would be no question, uh, 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 Prophet Anthony, it would be no question if I said, who is the queen of soul? Mm-hmm. 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 See, Aretha, mm-hmm. if I said, uh, who is the king of, of, of pop? Uh, Jackson. Uh, Jackson. Uh, uh, absolutely. Jackson. See, no, no question. Mm-hmm. No question. No question. Mm-hmm. Who is the king of golf? Tiger. Tiger, Tiger Woods. See that? Right. No question. Mm-hmm. I mean, ain't nobody getting the answers wrong. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, who are the queens of tennis? Oh, the oh, Williams sisters. The, the Williams sisters. Mm-hmm. You, you see that? Yeah. You see that? Mm-hmm. And so we don't have problem with it in any other arena except in our spiritual mm-hmm. formation or in our Christianity. Mm-hmm. We refuse to acknowledge and recognize and honor rank. Mm, that's good. 
it's, it is so antithetical mm -hmm. to our Africanness. <laughs> So while they may say, okay, this God is for the sun, this God is for agriculture, this God is for rain, all of these gods are working under the God, mm -hmm. the supreme being, the, the creator of everything. And yet we have been told that it's paganistic. Isn't it interesting that, that God says as he's formulating uh, this African and Afro-Asiatic people uh, in the wilderness who have come out of Egypt, isn't it interesting that he said, you shall have no other gods before me? Mm-hmm. That, that means that they're awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They just can't come before me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. That I am who I am, or I am who I always will be. It's also interesting uh, that as uh, Moshe, uh, in his name, his real name, Moshe, mm -hmm. um, Ask God, okay, now which, which, which one of y'all shall I say sent me? Mm -hmm. He said, you don't know nothing about this. Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to give you name. any name that you can recognize because you don't know me like that. Mm. You tell them that I am mm -hmm. so who I am. Or some translations, I am who I always have been and who I always will be. That, that's who you tell them. So I don't even want you getting in those systems. I'm going to give you a new revelation mm -hmm. of God. So all of this stuff is right in the Bible. But how, when it comes to us, how does it get demonized? Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. wow. It, it's no new thing uh, 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 for those who practiced voodoo or voodoo mm -hmm. to have animal sacrifices. You got a whole five books mm -hmm. of animal sacrifice. What are you talking about? Mm. Very so, but when we do it, it's a demon. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm. Ex explain that. They've been shedding blood. For years. They've been offering up animals. Yes. For years. Come on here now. <laughs> They've been evoking mm -hmm. the presence of the gods. So when we do, did it, how is it demonized? <laughs> the stuff we do right there in that Old Testament. Mm -hmm. But it's demonized because what we practice has been colonized. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's this whole thing of our African spiritualism, one thing that is relatively consistent um, across much um, historically of the continent was our spirituality did not come from text. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our spirituality did not come from text. Our spirituality came from the spirit. Mm -hmm. yes. Discerning versus learning. We are people of the spirit. Mm -hmm. And when we have been taught, trained, and bamboozled mm. God. that we cannot seek no spirit mm. unless it is in the confines mm -hmm. of scriptures that we have been presented, mm -hmm. When we have been sold that God can't say nothing mm -hmm. unless it's already recorded in a script, yeah. translated, mistranslated, transliterated, mm -hmm. a script that has been composed and compiled over time, God can't talk. How can God not talk mm -hmm. unless he can't go against his word? No, 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 this is history. <laughs> this is history. This is history. Mm -hmm. So how was he talking before there was a script. Woo! Mm. Hey! Before there was a script. How, 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 what script did he use to speak the worlds into existence? Mm. Yes. What script did he use with Moshe in the wilderness? He did not. There were theophanies. Yes. There were epiphanies. Yes, sir. Come on, Prophet Joshua. There were encounters yes. with the holy. And it was the encounters that thrust you into another dimension and defined your assignment in the earth. Mm. Our problem, we got assignments, but we have not had an encounter. Come on now. <laughs> say so. Yes. Come through, Bishop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm. Our problem is we make appointments, mm -hmm. we take on titles, positions, 
and we have not had a theophany. We have not had an epiphany. We have not had an encounter with the holy. We have not, an, we have not had an encounter with the God we don't know. That's good. Until you have an encounter with the unknown yes, God. Yes, ah. yes, yes, yes. Yes. And so we, we are leading from a place of biblical tradition. We're leading from a place of handed down. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. We are people of oral tradition. Yes, we are. In fact, oh boy, I hope we're ready. The scriptures are a compilation mm -hmm. of folklore. Yes. Mm -hmm. Myth, mm -hmm. history, mm -hmm. and oral tradition. What we have been bamboozled about, we act like God took his hand and wrote the Bible. Mm. And since God mm. took his hand and wrote the Bible, he cannot go outside of his word. So anything that God tells you, if it's not in the word, it's not God. Well, God ain't tell you to worship on Sunday. God ain't right. tell you to accept none of these uh, 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 days of the week that's based mm. on well. moon gods, sun gods, yes. all of this stuff that we that we don't even know. Right. So, so ain't none of that there. Y'all choir robes ain't there. <laughs> Praise singers ain't there. Well. Y'all copy that off TBN. <laughs> okay. Mm. All right, we done copy that. We done, co we done copy that. We done copy. As soon as you start a church, you got to have praise singers, and you ain't got God yet. Mm. <clears throat> God hasn't even descended on the place yet. Well. He hasn't sanctioned the place yet. Mm. There's been no experience with God. Just, you know, and so many of us have literally, on a psychological level, uh, Prophetess Cheryl, we have literally been raped of our normal mm. DNA, our psychological and spiritual DNA. And what slavery and oppression has done is created a new breed of Africans. Mm. Mm. It's created a new mm. breed of mm. Africans. A new yes, breed. a new breed of Africans. Mm to where, in, a, in terms of the study of epigenetics, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we know that DNA can be shaped. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. DNA can be altered. Mm -hmm. This is why uh, when the Caucasians went up into the Caucasus Mountains, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Their skin color, their skin texture, mm -hmm. their hair, everything adjusted for those cold temperatures. Yeah. Or some people say them the Neanderthals. Uh, they, 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 <laughs> all of that, yes. everything, you know. So we're closer to the equator. The hair got coarser. The hair mm. got tighter to protect the head and the scalp from uh, the sun. Uh, the melanin does something else. So by adaptation, uh, and this is, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay this out in just a minute. By adaptation, mm, people's mm -hmm. physical features begin to change mm -hmm. because the body is made to adapt to an environment. Jesus. Wow. So if we can physically adapt, and, and because I sure don't look like this when I've been in Africa for about a month. I don't be this color. I be this mm -hmm. color when I come here back here. <laughs> but if we can physically adapt, physiologically, adapt, then certain conditions, oppressive conditions, can also cause the body to adapt, yes. the psyche to adapt, mm. the, the neurology of the brain, the neural pathways are now doing things to survive, to adapt. So literally what these 400 years have done, it has literally made a new breed of people who no longer are spirit led. Mm -hmm. We are people of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Now we have become people, prophets yes. of the book. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. We have come, become people of the doctrine. Mm -hmm. We have become people of the denomination. Mm -hmm. We have become people of the religion, whether it is Muslim, whether it is uh, Jewish, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. We have become people of the script rather than people of the spirit, not understanding the order of God. I'm about to feel him today. Mm -hmm. Not understanding the order of God mm 
yes. has never been script before yes. it was spirit. Mm. It is first spirit, then it is word, mm. then it is script. Mm. All right? And so, so we don't understand word. that. We script first, not spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we got to get a word. Uh, 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 Prophet mm -hmm. Deborah is, is uh, uh, taking her homiletics class at uh, in the hallow grounds and oh, dear old walls. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> she, she's in there tearing homiletics up. Because we want to teach you how to preach. Mm -hmm. We want to teach you the method of preaching. Mm -hmm. That's good for certain doors and certain things. And after you mm -hmm. get in the door, you do what you do, and then you drop it on them. Mm -hmm. Okay? But, but this whole piece about uh, 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 professional preaching mm. versus prophetic preaching. Wow, ah. wow, 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 wow. See, That's see we good. become people of the script. Mm. Absolutely. That's good. We want to teach you the mechanics yeah. of ah, preaching. Sabarabus. We want to teach you the mechanics mm. of putting things together so that people learn and so that people feel. Mm. We want to teach you the mechanics, the methods of doing script but we have forgotten we are people of the spirit. Mm -hmm. And so ancient African religions and traditions, they were led by spirit, uh -huh. not by script. Yeah. So that's the first thing we got to get out of y'all. Yeah. We got to get the spirit out of you. Mm. Got to get it out. Mm -hmm. now, 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 I hope y'all about ready I'm uh, right. for what I'm getting ready to drop yeah, that, that the spirit revealed to me. Ooh. The spirit. The, the spirit revealed to me, mm. uh, standing in my kitchen making some grease. The spirit revealed to me uh -huh. that nations have gods. Mm -hmm. Historically, nations and regions have gods. Mm -hmm. So this is why, um, in one tradition, uh, God is Elohim. Mm -hmm. uh, in the next tradition, He's El Elyon. Uh -huh. In the next tradition, He El Shaddai. These not all the same people. You know, these are, remember now, these are oral traditions that are being written down, and now they're being uh, canonized, and they're being mm. put in a chron chronological order that they're really not in a chronological order. All of that's for, uh, all of that's for training y'all, us. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. All right? Uh, but this, this whole concept of a prophetic realm mm. has been hijacked mm. uh, by the doctrine. And so as I began to look, I, like I said, okay, uh, there's another cult. We call them the Yahweh's cult. These are the people uh, who begin to call uh, God Yahweh. That's how he revealed himself to them. Mm. And so different areas, mm. uh, or the sacred name, the Tetragrammaton, mm. YHWH, right. uh, they're, they're, they're areas. As you even go to Africa, they got these different gods and they got different names. That, you know, mm -hmm. so we we have not understood that the West has a God, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The West has a God. and that what that the West that has a God has a spirit, mm -hmm. and that spirit will speak in tongues, mm -hmm. and that spirit can see, mm -hmm. and that spirit is very heavy with word of knowledge. Mm -hmm. That's that spirit many of us got filled with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I knew I, I knew one about it gonna be ready. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. I knew one about it gonna be ready. That spirit. That spirit. That spirit, mm -hmm. that spirit uh, as as one of the slaves were recalling, uh, uh, was recalling in in his memoirs. His um, I'm trying to remember the name. The guy's last name was Ald. Um, uh, his slave master. Um, this this was this was I believe uh, 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 Frederick Douglass maybe. Um, but the guy's name was Auld, A-U-L-D, and he began to tell the story. Um, Douglas began to talk about the conversion to Christianity mm. of his slave master, mm. all right, conversion. and the conversion of, 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 yes, of his slave master. And um, uh, Thomas Auld, uh, this, this whole story is very chilling when you read these memoirs uh, of this slave. Uh, he started going to the Methodist church, and Douglas was very hopeful that this was a good sign that his conversion to Christianity, and I mean the man was devout, studying and everything, uh, would make his slave master more humane. Mm. More humane. Mm. So, so, wait a minute. Your slave master not humane? 
<laughs> so when did we become coons and apes and mm -hmm. and and heathens and mm -hmm. pagans? He, he's saying, so I, he, I hope this will help him to become more humane, uh, to be uh, more uh, honorable towards us as human beings. To his horror, mm. Christianity only fueled mm. all's cruelty and made him mm. even an harsher man. Wow. How could he leave services with his children in their little nice little clothes and come home and beat the bejesus out of his slaves? Ooh, mm. How oh, could you, baby. you're studying, you're, you're, you've had this conversion. But after you leave church, Rock, mm -hmm. you come home and you church. beat the bejesus out of your slaves until the meat Jesus. comes out of their back. What kind of God is that? Yes. If you follow the God of the, that people, you will see mm. that there is violence everywhere they've gone. Mm. It, it, Take the land, take go to Africa, mm. take the gold, mm. take the oil, yeah, take the people, mm. come, come to America, take the land, yeah. take the this, okay, go to the West Indies, take this, go to Africa, colonize them, take this, make them act like us, make them, if you go to certain parts of South Africa now, you will hear uh, the fusion of uh, African dialect and British dialect. You can hear the fusion of it. They they drive on the wrong side of the road with the wheel on the wrong side of the car. Why? Because they've been colonized. Ah. That kingdom has been mm -hmm. penetrated Lord by Jesus. those who call themselves missionaries. Mm -hmm. And so there is a long-standing history yes. of those who practice this even in terms of violence. The Crusades mm -hmm. yes. were characterized by violence violence, the insurrection that we saw in January characterized by violence. So what does, what does our chief man have on? He's got on all of this stuff that goes back to Romanism. Uh, he, he looked, all that stuff, all that mess came out of Romanism. And what I sat there and wrote the prayer down while they were in uh, the, the Oval Offices and in, in the Senate offices. Stop, let us have prayer. They started praying. I mean, I wrote the whole prayer down. Mm. So, so now, you done busted into something. Mm -hmm. You done broke protocols. You done planned to take over. You planned wow. to get America back. You're trashing stuff. You are turning things over. You are destroying things. And you do this after you pray. Why? Because because what you are praying to and the God we you. came from, mm -hmm. as I heard the master prophet say, mm -hmm. maybe did we get converted into a God that's not our God? Oh, oh. Right. That God allows you to be violent. Mm -hmm. That God allows you to speak in tongues, mm -hmm. to roll in the floor, to, mm -hmm. to hook a Messiah, ah. to jerk, to do all of this. And oh, here we go, here we go. Mm -hmm. And then come out and slander the man of God. Mm -hmm. That same religion, that same religion yes. that we have, that spirit of the, of, the, of the oppressor that we have taken on allows us to murder our own. It allows mm. us to join in with those who are picking apart and murdering a prophet Jeremiah Wright, wow. a prophet wow. uh, uh, Elijah Muhammad, peace yes. be upon him. Yes. It allows them, us, it, to, to go right into that same murderous spirit spirit to, to, to take our own people down to a Carlton Pearson to I mean the list goes on to an E. Bernard Jordan Deborah Jordan to an S. Janine Hyman I'm telling you it is a spirit and it is the God of this nation and the God of the West that allows you in your conversion and in your miracle work in Jesus <laughs> hallelujah glory wow. to God it allows you to keep your privilege it allows you to still 
still take money from us well, out of our community. Mm -hmm. It allows you to do whatever you want to do. We told you that a threefold cord cannot easily be broken. Thus, the United States that these people are fighting for is founded on Christianity, capitalism, uh, uh, and the Constitution. And so when the Lord said to me that this thing, that this nation, this western part has a God and that God is foreign to you. Yes. That God is, and I said, oh my God, if I did that the Holy Ghost I got, I don't want that. I don't want that. And he said, that's why I filled you as a Baptist child in your mama's house. I couldn't even get that out the church. I couldn't, I never heard tongues in my life. I never saw people casting out demons in my I never saw that. I got all of that in my mama's house uh, and my mama and dad had to be out in the street doing what they were doing. I'm home by myself at 17. I couldn't even be touched by any of it so that what I get is not something that I inherited. They're, they're not tongues that I picked up in the culture. This is not uh, uh, acts or anything I've ever seen in my life. This is why even then he had to pick me up and take me out of uh, my hometown and put me somewhere in the seat of the Confederacy mm -hmm. and develop me as a prophet, as an apostle in the seat of the Confederacy wow. with, with, with not even understanding because uh, 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 you know you kind of middle class, mm -hmm. you, you've been protected mm -hmm. from some of the ills of your people but in my 40 years of stripping, it is in my stripping, this is prophetic in my stripping I had to learn mm -hmm. what my people were encountering in my stripping uh, to the extent that I got to be on public assistance with a PhD. Y'all not going to talk to me with a PhD. Uh, I, I mean, and with a, my resume, and they say my resume, yay long. So my long resume, I couldn't, couldn't pay for a job. I couldn't find anything. And so I had to be stripped of that barrier between those kind of, mm -mm, and I'm this this kind of mm -mm, and shame on them for looking like that. Sh mm -hmm. Why is they coming up in here with bonnets on their pajamas? Shame on them. Lord Jesus, they, the churn ain't even clean. What in the world? Why are they coming up here cussing? Lord, I'm so sick of us. Ah, da, 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 da. Ah, and ah, God ah, had ah, to strip me. Are you listening to me? God ah, had to strip me until I knew what an EBT card was, mm -hmm. until I knew what having to go to the clinic was, until I I knew what having Medicaid was. And that's when I began to find out how bad my people were treated. That's when I began to find out how corrupt the system was. Even those of us who work on that plantation, we are nasty to our own people. You better go Come on here. You better go Come on. We, we talk to our people like dogs. Yes. And what, what, you know? And so, yeah. The, baby, it's the plantation. That ain't your money. That ain't your stuff. You're working for the master. Mm -hmm. And you are being told how to train your niggas. Mm -hmm. That's we right. Did, I did not know. This is how you talk to them. This is how you talk to them. And this is, if you don't do this, you're going to lose your job. Mm -hmm. And so here they're acting like My this God. is their land, uh -huh. their money, their system, they and, they, and they've been paying, paying pennies, pennies on the dollar Ooh. even for what they have to do. And so and so, I would walk in. I, I need, ma'am, do you work here? No, I don't work here. I, I, I need social service, ma'am. You, you don't look like you need any social what are you talking about? Wow. What are you talking about? And so what happened to uh, professional people in a pandemic, I went through it 20 years before it ever happened. Why? Because you got to be ahead of what is happening uh, in the culture prophetically. And so many times God will take the prophet and allow the prophet to go through exactly what he got a problem with. You cannot have a high priest that cannot be touched with the feelings and the infirmities of your people. People. And so I didn't know none about that because I wasn't raised in that. My daddy was Catholic. I would, you know, all of this, I didn't know anything about that. And so I had to begin to learn by experience. And I never forget the time I got stung by a bee. I'm allergic to, the, you know, and I had just left a meeting with a bunch of pastors and I got stung by the bee and I got in my Lexus.
places that I was hoping they won't come and take uh, uh, now that I lost my job and I done closed my church and all of this. Okay, uh, uh, so I'm getting my little Lexus and, and I feel myself beginning to swell and I stop at a clinic because I don't have no money. I stop at a clinic and the people look like bag people and street wow. people mm. <clears throat> and all of this and I go in at quarter to three and say, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling some kind of way. Ma'am, you got to wait in the back of the line. Mm. I, I feel, well, then you need to go to the emergency room. I ain't got time to go to the emergency room. I'm, 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 I'm swelling up here. I'm maybe having a little anaphylaxis here. Uh, well, we close at three o'clock. Okay, it's quarter to three. Mm -hmm. Well, you see all them people sitting in the flow and all them? We got to see all of them, so now we ain't got time to see you. Go to the emergency room. And I came oh, out, okay. and, I, and I, I went to my car, and I just cried. Mm -hmm. I said, God, I can't even get service at the clinic. Mm -mm. And these people are looking at me like, who is she? Mm. And the Lord said, look, mm. you are those people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are these people. In fact, they're better than you because they're going to get service and you're not. Mm. And I said, God, you're going to have to heal me in the car. I'm just crying because I'm like, I, I, I'm going to die. <laughs> and when I understood, mm. I says, okay, all right, these pieces are coming together. God, I understand what you're doing with me. I understand why you're doing it prophetically. I understand why I'm being stripped uh, to be equipped. I understand what you're taking from me that my religion and the ravishes of slavery has given to me. I understand all of this. I get it. They, okay, that same God that we, ooh, Jesus, glory to God, hallelujah. That same God allows these systems. That same God set up these systems. That same God uh, uh, allows us to stay on the bottom or squeezed in the middle or that same God has, uh, uh, even if we let you get up here, uh, OJ, if we let you get up here, yeah. Bill, if we let you in the club and you do not act like you not them niggas, if you don't follow by the rules, we're going to snatch Carlton, the rug from under you, and we're going to snatch your wealth, we're going to shut every door, and we're going to punish you forever. That's the same God that they're saying, hallelujah, Jesus, glory to God. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> We don't see same, something. The same. The same God. The same. We, we don't see something wrong with this. That's something wrong with that. How, how do we? How, how do we have all these experiences and come out and do to each other what's been done to us? Oh my God, it's good. It's embedded. How, how, how do, yes, ma'am. What did you say, prophetess? It's embedded in us. Yes. Mm. It is embedded Gosh. in yeah. us. Mm. It's down there so deep, it's and deep. we don't know it's there because mm. we've not seen anything else. Mm, don't know what else, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. And so the narratives have been rewritten to us, ah, for us, about us. Mm. This, this is some crazy stuff. And so when I begin to realize that, I say, okay, well, then uh, what I'm supposed to do with this, God? I, what I'm supposed to do with this? He said, okay, let me take you to the script. <laughs> let me take you to the script. He says, okay, uh, Abraham, I'm going to bless your seed. You and your wife. Mm -hmm. And out of that seed mm -hmm. shall all the ethnos, all the ethnicities of the world be blessed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There was no concept of race, mm -hmm. none. Mm -hmm. There was no concept of race even when we came here. Well, no concept, that's a construct, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, uh, he says, I'm going to bless you. And then you go a little further. He says, ah, but they're going to go in bondage for 400 years. Yes, yeah. yes. They're going to go in bondage for 400 years. And then as you begin to read certain things, certain part of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28, you begin to see all these blessings and cursings, and you'd be like, mm, that's kind of close to us. Wait a minute, hold on. We're going, we going, going somewhere in ships. Huh? Mm. That's in the Bible mm. about these people that's going to be in bondage for 400 years? We, they're going in ships? They're they, they going to have hemorrhoids in the, in the, in the bootay. They, 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 they're going to have gastrointestinal issues. Mm -hmm. What? Mm. They, 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 they're going to have problems in the childbirth. What? what, what? Mm. Are, are you serious? Oh, oh, okay. Uh, and you see all of these things that are going to happen if they forget God when they get there. Okay? Um, and so then he says they're going to go by ships into strange 
and foreign nations or lands. Mm -hmm. And there, and there, they will serve their gods. Ah. Mm-hmm. And it, it, you know something about that? You know something about that, Prophet? Yes. Uh huh. Yes. And then did you read that? Yes, I did. Okay, all right, because you quoted it right with me. He says, they're going to go by ships, their children are going to go by ships, they're going to go into strange lands, and there they will serve their gods. See, 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 it's quiet. Yes. Mm. Anybody saying nothing? <laughs> that, that, that's in the Bible. We told you history repeats itself. It's in the Bible. Yeah. Everything is circular. Mm -hmm. mm. There, they will serve mm. their gods. Let me, let, me, let me go back to shadow beneath our hand. hand. May we forever stand mm. true to our God, true to our native, native land. So wait a minute, hold on. What, what are you saying, Baldwin? True to our God. Our God. Oh, so there's an our God and when they get there, they'll serve their gods. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't even see the prophetic nature. Mm -hmm. We don't see the warning. Mm -hmm. We don't see the intercession mm -hmm. of a priest mm -hmm. saying, God, don't, don't, don't let us get crazy. Don't, don't, let, let's our feet, let them, come on, let's our hearts drunk with the wine of the world, the wine of the system. Yeah. We forget thee. Mm -hmm. And so somebody begin to forget D, mm -hmm. and we were born into the rest of this, uh, they're gone. And we don't, that, that, that's all we know. That's all we know. That's all we know. And now we're drunk with the wine. We are ah. intoxicated. We are asleep. Uh, uh, alcohol is a depressant. And a depressant slows down the nervous system. Mm -hmm. It slows down the brain. It slows down reaction time. It slows down judgment. The, drunk with the wine of the world. Drunk, our perception is off. Drunk, our, we, we are behind time. Our reaction yes. time is off. It, we're delayed even in how we respond to injustice, but we call ourselves prophets. Yes. Drunk with the wine of the world. We done forgot the, even the things we prophesy is from the God of this nation. It ain't the true to our God. Uh -uh. True to our native land. We don't know nothing about our native land. Mm, not a thing. Mm. And so we're here today to be uh, deconstructed. Mm -hmm so that we may get under those prophetic prayers and those prophetic words and get under the under. God of our fathers and mothers. Ah, yes. but I will shun yes. See, yes. That's, that's, that's where we got to go. Yeah. This, is why, go. This, this is why he praying people pray. They say, uh, uh, we're praying to the God of Abraham, mm -hmm. Isaac, yeah. and Jacob. We stop praying. We get to falling out. Why? Because there's an ancestry there. Yes. There's a succession there. They're saying, we don't even know that God like that. But we are praying to the God of our fathers because the God of our fathers has made promises promises to our mothers and fathers, and unless we stick with the God of our mothers and fathers, we will default those promises. We will devoid those promises. And so the way we have been brought, the way drunk with the wine of this world, we forget thee, and then the next generation don't know to forget because they don't know who it is. They'll not pass down. Uh, now we need to suppress the history. We need to suppress the trauma. We need to be quiet about it. We be, wait a minute. God say, Israel, you better tell it to your children and your children's children forever. And you have these, see, these are feasts that I ordain yeah. forever and forever and forever because this is the only way you're going to be brought into remembrance of the promises I made to your forefathers. My, 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 my. May we forever stand true to our God, true to our native land. And so you got to go back and wonder what kind of God God allows people to act like this. Mm -hmm. mm. You have to. Ooh. Yeah, you do, don't you? you see, by now you should be saying, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what kind of God, mm -hmm. what kind of God will allow you off of your Christianity mm -hmm. to become multi, multi millionaire mm -hmm. and give nothing to the people that you stole it from? Come on, man. What, 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 kind, what kind of God? Mm -hmm 
here's why they got in Christianity because millions and millions of dollars are it's Come about on. the economy it's about privilege it's about power it's about prestige and it's about economy even slavery was not just about racism it was about economy yes that's right that's good. it's about economy mm -hmm. and if we ever look at profits how much money mm was made off the backs okay. of just the, the slave trade, just, just chattel slavery. It would probably be something like $800 trillion in today's stuff. And we built that. We built it. And can't enjoy it? Mm. <laughs> Don't even, we can't even have participate really in it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if you develop a system like this man and woman of God have, a system within a system, now you a demon. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Now, now you a demon. Mm -hmm. Teach our people to hate us. So, so, yeah. uh, absolutely. So, 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 so now you the, you the prophet for profit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. You, 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 you know, this is, this is about money. It ain't about money. Mm -hmm. well, well, yeah, some of it is about money. Mm -hmm. If, if, the, if yeah. they ain't got no problem with us making Come on. the nation wealthy, mm -hmm. why they got a problem mm -hmm. when we getting that wealth that we created? Well. Well, what kind of, what kind of God is, what, Prophet Keller, what kind of God is that? Help me out. <laughs> You'll be here a little longer than me. Help me out. Because <laughs> I don't understand. Mm -hmm. And so we demonize people, and then we jump on the bandwagon. Yes. And we start putting the nails in the coffin. Wow. Ah. Separating those who have been called to the front of movement. Yes. From the people who need to be in the movement. That's wow. right. Amen. Jesus, that's right. Help us, Father. So we can't follow no Harriet because mm -mm. we scared. Mm -hmm. We can't follow no Harriet because Master going to get where we going. Mm -hmm. I don't know where we going. Just follow me. On, where, we, where we going, Abraham? I, I, God said, I'll show you when you get there. We're people of the spirit. Ain't no script for this. Mm. <laughs> see? Yeah. see? See see the pattern? Yeah. Ain't no script. Where we going? I'll show you when you get there. You just follow the anointing. Follow it. You fo and then we are told, follow them that are following the anointing. Mm -hmm. But now when it comes to people bringing us into another realm of, of prosperity, of money, of mental health, of anything, mm -hmm. now we're a demon. Now you are a heretic. <laughs> a heretic according to who? Mm. If I'm a heretic, you a hypocrite. Well. Woo! Well. See? So we, we, we got to go back and look at this. We got we to gotta, we gotta go back. Got to go back and look at it. And, and look at this because maybe, as Master Prophet said, the, the God we was baptized into ain't the God of, ours. of our silent Woo. tears. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe silent tears. We can't even holler. Mm. We can't even scream. Uh -huh. We can't even be angry. Mm. No. Wow. Be angry is sin. Jesus. See, 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 yeah. see. Mm -hmm. But that same Bible tell us to be angry. Yeah. Yeah. Be angry. Yeah. But we can't sin not. Yeah. Be angry. Be angry. But we can't. come on, prophet. We can't even be angry mm. because yeah. your Christianity won't allow it. Will not allow. You to do anything but walk in love. <laughs> oh, why you get beat? <laughs> yeah, what, what you say, prophet? <laughs> why we get beat? Yeah, yeah, yeah you keep walking in love and smile. Why you get beat? Mm -hmm. you, 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 don't you cry? Cause it's a sign of weakness. Mm -hmm. Don't you break down? Cause it's a sign of weakness. Mm -hmm. Don't you get depressed? Cause it's a sign of weakness. Mm -hmm. Don't don't lose it and snap. It's a sign of weakness. Come on. You can't do it. Mm -hmm. You gotta keep moving. And so part of our pathology mm. is in our ability to survive mm -hmm. and using survival techniques beyond their time. Beyond and so, yeah, uh -huh. so, so, so that pathology is there. So now let, let, let's play with this Jesus just a little bit. <laughs> I want to play with this Jesus just a little bit. Mm. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I can't 
skiing now. Give me love you. She said she came. The Nordic skier. <laughs> Have you accepted the Lord no Jesus? I'm like, okay, come on, bring the camera on this side. Now we got to turn it. Have you accepted the Lord Jesus oh Christ as your personal Savior? <laughs> Let me help you, Africa Americas. Mm -hmm. There is no personal savior. That's right. Come on. Come on. Say that one more time. There is no personal savior because African people are tribal. Come on. They are communal. They know no such concept until they got colonized. No such concept oh, of self. No it. such concept uh -oh. of individualism. Uh -oh. Individualism mm. is an ethos mm. or a worldview of Europeans. It is a Eurocentric concept of uniqueness and individual. And no, 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 no. We are part of a collective whole. So if one of us ain't free, none of us ain't free. Injustice for one, Martin, is injustice for every. Everybody. So where does this concept of a personal savior hey! come from? Come from where? But that's Help the word. That's the Jesus y'all know and love. Help us. Terrible. Mm. Help. Atasha. Where does it come from? See, see, Help. see. Yeah. And we pick up all of that. Have you? Now we say we say Saint Five filled with the Holy Ghost, five baptized. I got Jesus on my side. I'm running for my life. They said, Have you been born again? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we're going we're, we're gonna to give y'all this one. We're going to give y'all this one. We did this going off, and I'm, I'm going into it now. <laughs> you, you must, Nicodemus, mm. be born again. Mm. Be born mm -hmm. from above. Mm -hmm. Correct translation. Yes. Mm -hmm. You've been born from below. Mm -hmm. But in order to be sons and daughters of God, you must be born from above. Amen. See, so what they're calling born again is I've accepted Jesus oh. as my personal Savior. Ooh. Hallelujah. I love this one. Okay, repeat after me. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. <laughs> Dear Jesus. See, see, see. see? screaming. They say televangelists away right now. See, see? I don't know. He's doing so well. Like, it's just like yeah, you, so. You're, you're like, taking, like, you're taking somebody's televangelists away. Like, oh, God. Uh huh. Well, that's what we're going we, we to need the counselors after this. That's right. Uh, yeah, because when I taught this uh, at my school, I, I, I literally brought in a grief counselor. Because he had to counsel them. And you only gave him 15 or 20 minutes to tell them about the whole human experience uh, that you started us out with, Prophet Cheryl, uh, that you're going to have this gamut of emotions. Mm -hmm. All of it is your humanity. It's okay to feel that stuff. Mm -hmm. okay. But we've good. been told it's not. Yeah. That's right. and, so, and so we're going to feel all of this stuff. Your and so, it, it, huh? Your friend. Lord Jesus, thank you. Uh huh. Now, now watch, dear Jesus. Yeah. Dear, dear Jesus. Dear, 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 dear Jesus. D D dear Jesus. We got to do it. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Jesus. Got to do the inflection. Yeah, you got to do all of that. Jesus. Come into my life. Come into my life. I want you to come into my heart, Lord Jesus. I want you to come into my heart. Lord Jesus. Be my Savior and Lord. Be my Savior and Lord. Now, if you said that, that if you and you believe that, that, you're <laughs> saved. Oh, my God. You've been born again. Hallelujah. No. We're going to go save it, Lord. Save it, save it. We're going to put the body in it. We're going to put the soul in it. And, and even in our Christianity, the mothers would push as midwives until you broke consciousness, until you broke the flesh, until you surrendered to God, until you you repented of your sin. But now this new stuff, this evangel, dear Jesus, I love you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. My God. The best actors I've seen. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. See, see, see? 
Yes. See? No, no, no. We come the way of repentance. Yes. Even in little, 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 little shack Baptist oh. churches, mourners' benches, and all of this. Oh. No, 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 no. You, baby, that ain't it. You ain't got nothing. Mm -hmm. See, we done, we done said all of that was ignorant. It was unlearned. Oh. It was abusive. It was control. No, we got our women and some of our elder men who could say, no, that right there, that's, that's that, that, that ain't God. Them, them, them pseudo tongues. That's not real. Because uh, you done got D -D filled with the E D D I E. Come on. Or E D L L D L D A D H D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D Come on. We have said all of that was abusive, and we have relinquished uh, the, the, the little bit of Africanness we did have as a community. We relinquished that now for TV Christianity. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And so now we got plexiglass yes. lecterns because mm. we saw the slave masters with the plexiglass lecterns. Hey. Now we got dead flowers in front of the pulpit. All, all these dead flowers. To, Mm, I can't say that. But all these dead flowers. <laughs> so then we go and get that. Then we saw them singing with the mics, something go. good is <laughs> going <laughs> to happen <laughs> to you. <laughs> this yes. to Come on, sing it, children. <laughs> something good. <laughs> to happen to, to you, Jesus oh, yes. of Nazareth <laughs> is passing your way. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> We got some kind of <laughs> some, some, some kind of unholy ghost off of that. Jesus. And so we like the way they look, you know. Oh, okay. And and so we gonna get us some praise. Come on. That's my whole childhood. See, see, you see, we're born into born some of it. And the the younger you are, the more born into a progression that goes against who we are. And so we bought that hook, line, and sinker. Mm -hmm. So now our churches look like theirs. The pulpits look like theirs. Mm -hmm. Our my praise God. singers look. Now, now our praise singers is dirty looking. They just they're just dirty looking. They're just, <laughs> just dirty looking. You, you know, with the holes in the jeans and the tats mm -hmm. and the, all of this and the that. We call it being relevant. We got relevant. to be relevant. Mm -hmm. We got to be no. We got to have a standard. Yeah, because that's who we were mm. coming out of Egypt, of Africa. Out of Egypt. That's who we were going into Canaan, Hamitic territory. Yes. Uh, that's who we were. Uh, every place that we have been, even in Israel, that was once a part of uh, the tip, very ends of uh, outskirts of Africa that was separated uh, geographically. Egypt separated geographically by the building of the Suez Canal, re-geographizing uh, things so that they are disconnected from Africa. Mm. And we just shouting and speaking in tongues. Mm. Just didn't know. I see the Lord Jesus <laughs> getting ready to come into your life. The Lord Jesus is getting ready to save your on, son. And oh, we just crying. Mm -hmm. We just are crying. The Lord is showing me that there are 10 people out there. I hear the Spirit saying your ear is going to open up. There are 10 people. God is going to uh, uh, lower your blood pressure. Baby, you got 80 eight million people watching you. Uh, probably uh, 5 million of them got high blood pressure. A whole million of them can't hear. Mm. Come on now. And we thought, he healed me, Jesus healed me. Oh, think of Jesus. No, your faith healed you. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> we're not ready. We're not ready. We're not ready. Uh, uh, we're not ready. We're not ready. We're not, we're not ready. We're not ready. So we got to look at this thing again and say, okay, Lord, uh, if we're not following the gods of our ancestors, who, who, who we found? 
What, what him name is? Mm -hmm. What him? Why, why him name can't be I am? Mm. Ah. Mm. Why, why, why him name can't be I am? Mm -hmm. Huh? Why he still can't be I Elohim? Come on. Come on. He didn't change it. <laughs> See? Why? 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 If you notice, people of God, mm -hmm. as we deconstruct this, almost all of our worship is directly to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all of our prayer is directly to Jesus. Right. Uh -oh. Yes, Lord. yes, uh -oh. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Now we go. All, all of our praise. Mm -hmm. right. Now you ain't gonna get this out of black folk. No. You ain't gonna get, thank you Jesus. You ain't gonna, you gonna hit that toe rather than, thank you Jesus. <laughs> you ain't gonna get that out of us, mm -hmm. okay? All tradition ain't bad, but you need to understand how your mind has been captured yes. and bamboozled oh, and how mm -hmm. we have been put to sleep drunk with the wine of the world. We forget thee. That person. We forget Jesus. thee. Didn't Jesus say when you pray? Come on. Yes, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. When you pray, watch yeah, this. When you mm -hmm. pray. Watch it. These are avid Come on. worshipers. Yes, yes. And they saying something we doing when we praying ain't doing the same thing that it's doing when he praying. Mm -hmm. So we're raised in this, mm -hmm. but we're not getting your kind of results. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. We're not becoming the kind of men and women that you are. Some ain't, right. Some ain't right. Can you teach us how to pray? He says, when you pray, according to the narrative, pray like this or with this model or this paradigm. Yeah. The first thing he goes in, our mm -hmm. Father. Mm -hmm. our. Yeah. our Father. Not my personal yeah. God. No. Our. Our. Our, 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 our Father. Sacred, holy, hallowed be thy name. Your name is holy. Yes. Your name also means characteristics, authority. Your character is holy. Your authority is holy. It is to be hallowed because you're the God of our fathers. Come on here, the God of our mothers. Sacred, holy is the sacred name. Come, thy kingdom is an imperative. Be done, thy will. Watch this. Forgive us, not me. Mm. Not God, I screwed up. Oh. Yes. Not, not God, oh, I, I slept with him, God. I'm sorry again. Lord, I done cuss wow. again. Mm. Lord, my sin. Oh, I'm such a wretch. No, forgive oh, us uh -huh. our debts. Lord, have mercy. Oh, yeah. As we forgive oh, yeah. our debt, <laughs> lead us mm. not into temptation. temptation. Not me. Yeah. Not I got a personal yeah. demon, mm. uh huh, but deliver yeah. us. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Deliver us from evil. Yeah. Well, and then this is stuck on later. Mm -hmm. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. This was pulled from some, some of the songs. Stuck on in a, in a later transition, translations. But the whole idea is a collective deliverance, mm -hmm. a collective sanctification. Oh, it could give us this day. Mm -hmm. oh, dear. Not me and mine, no not my phone no more, Us. not my ministry, Us. not my church, Us. not my vision. What? Us. Oh. Give us mm -hmm. this day because if one of us is hungry, oh. all of us is yes. hungry. Yes. If one of us is yes. broke, yes. all of us is broke. Yes. Injustice for one, there it is again, is injustice for everybody. Yes. Give us this day our daily bread. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You yes. see it? Mm -hmm. It is a collective. Yes. Here is the mind. But Eurocentrism colonized Christianity. Lord, it's me. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Not my mother, not my father, but it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Not the, pre not the preacher, not the deacon, but it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. See, see how we went in, see how we went in, see how we went in. Okay, you ain't, gotta, you ain't gotta take all of it out. But at what point is he our father? Mm -hmm. What yes, point sir. are we jacked up? Mm -hmm. yes. What point are we in bondage? Wow. We in exile? Wow. We drunk with the wine oh, of the world? We. What point are we asking for the forgiveness of our sins? The forgiveness of sins of our forefathers and foremothers who led us out of the way? When, are, when do we have a collective God? Mm. A collective God. And we, he said, when you pray, pray like this. That's what he said. But how did that become dear Jesus? Mm. Mm. Dear Jesus, I didn't know he was writing a letter. 
here, Jesus. Mm. <laughs> wow. Mm. See that? No, you got Jesus. it. It's the truth. When Our Father. did that change? Our mm. Father. Mm -hmm. Our source. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's take the misogyny out of the text. Yes. Because Abba in his earlier form mm -hmm. was parent, not male or female. Androgynous. Right. Huh? See? That's right. I told y'all last night. Right. God is, is neither male nor female, but he both and. Come on. Yes. Only God. Yes. All right? So, so our source. Mm -hmm. Our source. Yes. And when you are removed mm -hmm. from your source, mm -hmm. Come on. you function in a realm mm -hmm. of your animalistic nature oh God. that God never intended for you to function in. That's why many of us who say we are born again have not been transformed in our nature. We are still functioning out of the lowest part of our nature. Say so. oh God. Say so. Our instinct. Mm -hmm. our emotions, um, our reactions, mm -hmm. rather than living out of the spirit realm. That's yes. so good. That's so good. Yes. Mm -hmm. The only way you can leave from the future spirit. is you spirit all the way over there already. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, my God. Yeah. This is our stuff here. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so let, let's go a little bit deeper. Would you, you find me something? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, shut up. Don't you find me something. We, we, let, let's go a little bit deeper. Let, let, let's go a let, let, little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. Because you got to be born from above. Yes. You got to have the very DNA of your source. Yes. You got to have the character and the nature of your source. Of your source. And so the first thing we do is redefine your source for you so that you can't be like your source because the only way we can subjugate you, mm -hmm. the only way we can dominate you is to remove you from your source. What we are practicing mm -hmm. That's what they did. Mm -hmm. continues. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, mm -hmm. Pastor mm -hmm. Deborah. Yes. What we are practicing what we're continues practicing. to remove us mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. our source. Mm -hmm. let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me show it to you this way, because y'all need text. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, they don't think you're a heretic, right? That's right. Because I'm, I'm a whole heretic, and you know, Hamlet, wait a minute now. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe Jesus is God, you're going to hell. Mm -hmm. That's right. Did you know okay. what she's saying? If I don't believe something that you don't, that if I don't believe, <laughs> what you believe, mm -hmm. then you're telling me because I don't believe mm -hmm. what you believe, then I'm in some kind of cursed state mm -hmm. because I don't believe. Right. I don't believe. You don't believe. Because all of this is belief. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes. You know how I know all of it is belief? Yes. Because won't none of us there when none of it happened. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm. Yes. Now see how see 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 how we looking? Mm -hmm. Y'all like that? Uh, for real? Well, none of us there when none of this was written. Yes. None of us were there when it was all tradition. Mm -mm. That's right. Even who, whoever wrote the three versions of Genesis that are in there, the, 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 the three versions of Genesis from three different uh, at least two that we can track uh, uh, traditions. Even the, they weren't in the garden. They don't know. They don't. Mm. Well, well, well. Now then here's the next one. All scripture. <laughs> Is given by divine inspiration. Inspiration. Uh huh. Well, they won't talk about no New Testament because it won't one when they said that. No. Mm -hmm. See, see. Now, now y'all are New Testament Christians. Uh -huh. Now. There, there was no New Testament. What are you talking about? They're talking about the law and the prophets uh -huh. given by divine inspiration. Now let me clear this up. Uh, what goes in a man is not what defiles the man, nor out. is it what sanctified the man. It's what comes out. So even though divine inspiration may have gone in, it is subject to the condition and the acumen and the sanctification of the vessel. So while it may go in pure, what comes out ah, is subject to the limitations yeah. of the vessel. Yes, so let me yes, just throw yes. that in there. All right, so let's move on. Let's move, let, let's move on. I'm through, baby. <laughs> you're you through, baby. There's some script in there. I'm through. you through? And I said, come through. Oh, she said, come through. I thought somebody knew you came me through. Let me back up with me. She said, come through. <laughs> come, come. Same God that breathed in them is the same God that continues to breathe in us, but we are told he don't breathe no more. Mm. Uh-huh. 
God don't breathe no more. Come on now, you tell. So a me. canon, uh-huh. a testament, testament, has changed who God is. My God. Changed how God functions. Yeah. Changed God's nature. Ah, y'all, y'all ready? Now, 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 you gotta be born from above. We gave this to you. You must be born okay. of the water. Well, that ain't baptism. We told y'all that not baptism. Praise Jesus. It is born of the amniotic sac. Born of the water. Breaking the water. Everything get co- water. <laughs> Matter of fact, your body more water than it is mass. Right. All right, you must be born of a water from the woman. You're born from here and born of or from the spirit realm. That is salvation for us. For a us. birthing beyond that consciousness or that sin consciousness or that human consciousness into a realm of the spirit where we are literally regenerated, means regened. So even though you may have the genes of your mama, the hips of your daddy, yeah. you ain't got no tail because your daddy ain't got no tail. You, you know, you got your mama hair. You got big mama lips. You got all of that. And you got all of these limitations, Moses. Yes. When I regene you, mm-hmm. The regening or the DNA of God supersedes every limit in your humanity, every limitation. Every limitation. Your regening uh, uh, supersedes. Uh, I was telling Prophet last night, I said, you know, I'm really an introvert. He was like, it's okay. I'm really, uh, you know, the first time I came over your house, I was so scared. <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> I was really scared. I said, Lord, I better not touch nothing because I can't pay for nothing. <laughs> I'm like, I, ain't, I can't get these blinds down. I ain't touching these blinds. These blinds probably remote control. I ain't going to see my naked tail tonight. I ain't putting these blinds. I'm scared. I was, he said, well, you know, yes. I'm not like that. But you would not know that unless you know me. Yes. Because when I'm regened for my purpose, then the regening supersedes my personality. It supersedes, Moses, my inability to speak the language. It supersedes everything that is in my uh, 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 background, everything that is in my bloodline. When you are regened for purpose, it supersedes. And then when you come from under the anointing, you can't do none of it. You come from under the anointing. I, I got to go. I got to go shut down from people. All y'all problems. Y'all know how we are. We got kind of shut down a little bit, mm-hmm. and we got to get regened, retooled, and, and refueled, and all of that. Then we can come back, huh? Because we now have to settle back into our natural proclivity. Uh, so we have two natures simultaneously existing. True. You exist in two worlds simultaneously. You exist in the physical realm mm-hmm. and you exist in the spiritual supernatural realm simultaneously. And when you are removed from your source, let's watch it. Let's, let's go to the Genesis account. When you are removed from your source, you start dying. And when a person is dying, yes. they will do things out of desperation yes. to try to hold on and survive in life. Mm-hmm. That's why it's difficult sure. to save somebody who is in the process mm-hmm. of drowning. Yes. My uncle drowned because first they thought he was playing because he could swim so well. Mm. They th- and they said, oh, wait a minute, Marvin ain't coming back. The guy jumps in and tries to get my uncle. And be- at that point, he is doing this. Mm. He is re- at right because he's on his way out. And so the man could not save him because he was fighting. And so many of us can't be saved we are, we make a, because we're fighting. And this, this whole, this generation behind us, this is, they're just doing this. They're doing this because generation after generation after generation, the life is being sucked out of, of people of color. So let's look, let's look at the Genesis account. Look at it. Let's look at it. So... God said, according to the first account, <laughs> let there be light. Mm-hmm. Poof, poof. The discipline, mm-hmm. power of discipline. Talk. Let there be light. And there was light. There was yes? Light. There was light. Yes. And so it was. Mm-hmm. Let there be a firmament mm-hmm. in the midst mm-hmm. of a firmament. Mm-hmm. That, that's a whole pattern right there. Yeah. You're supposed to be a people in the midst of a people. Yes. You're supposed to be a church in the midst of a church. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to be in the world. And now they're the same concept, mm-hmm. the same concept. Let there be a firmament in the midst of the firmament and all of this stuff. Okay, then it's the, he started making uh, different things. Mm-hmm. All right. Then he started making different things. Mm-hmm. 
He said, all right, uh, let, the, let the waters mm -hmm. bring forth uh -huh. swimming creatures. Mm -hmm. And it was so. Mm -hmm. Let the heavens, or the shamayim, bring forth winged creatures, flying creatures. And it was so. Now watch the pattern. You gotta watch the pattern. Mm -hmm. This is why you need apostolic people with pattern diggers. Mm -hmm. Watch the pattern diggers. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Let the waters mm -hmm. bring forth. He does not say let there be swimming creatures. Well. He says, let there be a light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to life, mm -hmm. he says, let the waters mm -hmm. bring forth swimming creatures. He speaks to the environment mm -hmm. and calls the thing out of the environment mm -hmm. so that their makeup is the same as the environment. Mm -hmm. If you take a fish out of water they can live for a little bit but you start seeing them doing like this fighting they just ju what out of the environment they are out of the environment from which they were created Bullshit. and from which they thrive right here no no don't push me man. Don't, don't push me prophet don't push me prophet right I'm about to go I'm about, I'm about to go okay celebrate okay. now accelerate yes. okay okay yeah. Again, let the shamayim, let the heavens ah. bring forth winged creatures. He don't say let there be birds, let there be eagles, let there be sparrows. Oh, he speaks ta -ta -ta He speaks to the environment and tells the environment to bring forth, and then tells what it brings forth. Reproduce after your own kind. Reproduce. Mm. You can't produce. God is the source. Yes. Reproduce. Mm -hmm. Then he says, okay. Let me speak to the earth. Let the earth bring forth uh, 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 four-footed creatures, uh, furry creatures. Let the earth bring forth. He speaks to the environment again. Lord Jesus, help me here today. Get this out of my belly. Then when he comes down to the Psalm 8 of the Bible, what is humanity that thou art mindful of him and the son of humanity because he's reproducing after his own kind that thou would visit him for thou has made him a little lower than the Elohim. Not the angels. They took it out, people, so you wouldn't know you were just a little lower than the God. And what makes you lower than the God is a physical body. That's the only thing that makes you lower than the God is your physicality. This is why God is seen in the collective because we are limited by our bodies, but when we are a collective, we are more God together than we are. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Lord, I got the con. I told you not to push me, promise sir. I got you. Come on. Society, how they have always tried to keep us apart, separate. Yes, ma'am. Even in Genesis, as you talked about, it talked about let us. Mm. Come on. So it is the usness that needs to be brought back. Like Say, so oh. We can, so that we can reproduce, so that we can do what God has called us to do. My, my. Yeah. See, not the me, see, not the I. Yes, yeah, see, see, even with God, mm -hmm. that's the African concept of God, yeah. that God is everything, but he's one. Yeah. So ah, Elohim ba, 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 ba. is plural of Elohim. Yeah. But it's one God. He's in everything. Let us come on here. Woo! Lord, have mercy. My God. Let us hurt The usness is the weakness, not the meanness. See? See? You see that? Now, now he gets ready to make us. He's going to make usness. He says, let us make humanity a dumb. That I told y'all that's not the name of a white dude. Dude, it's not. Uh, let us make a dumb in our image, plural, in our likeness, plural. What did he did not change the pattern? Never. He did, when, he did not change the pattern. 
when he wanted to create that which was swimming in that kingdom, then he called to the, 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 the universe. He speaks to the environment and calls the thing out of the environment. When he does it in the Shamayim, in the heavens, he calls the things, the flying creatures, out of the environment. Birds can land, they can sleep in a tree, but if they don't ever fly again, they're going to die. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? They can only thrive in the environment from which they were called. And so when he gets ready to make the crown and glory of this celestial ball, because it's only the creation story of, it, of earth, because that's the only one we know. We ain't been nowhere else. And so he does the same thing. Now he doesn't just speak to the ground. He speaks to an environment called himself. He calls us out of himself. Let us make man. Let us make humanity. I'm calling it out of us. I'm calling usness out of usness. Oh my God. You see that? And then he uses clay. He uses the clay of Africa to put some manifestation on us. Come on here. And he puts manifestation and he puts us in an earth suit and he breathes nefesh. He breathes the ruach. He breathes it into us. The breath of God. This is how Africans existed off of the breath, not the text. God help us. And when you come on here, Jesus. And when you do not stay aligned with what you came out of. You gonna die, mm. and we see you doing all of this. You fighting up, you fighting us because you're too scared to fight them. You is displaced aggression. You fighting your own people. You shooting your own people. You raping your own people. You calling your own women who are the mothers of all civilization, bitches and hoes. I'm sick of y'all. This is not who we are. That's not. Yes. That is not. Not the other. No. We are. Yes, Shabbat. And we ain't girl either. Come on. Hey. And we ain't girl either. Amen. We are Isha. Ah! That's right. The mother of all. Come on. That's right. That's right. Come on here. That's right. They even crafted that story so that you women would be subject to your men. Mm. Mm. The story is crafted to keep you subjugated. Mm. Y'all not gonna talk. Mm. Come on, talk to Y'all not gonna talk. You and your desire shall be unto your husband. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your desire shall be unto your husband. Yeah. And so we go back and look at some of that stuff in, in, in Hebrew. I said, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Let me make for you a help me. Mm -hmm. That don't mean help me to build, mm -hmm. help me to vision, help me to children, help me to your sexual drive, help me this, help me that. No, 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 no. Help me is the same word that says uh, in Psalm 34, I will bless the Lord at all times. The same kind of co concept as there. It means helper. It is the same word that is used for Elohim when they say God, my helper. Uh, 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 we will name the name of this place Ebenezer. Hitherto hath the Lord Ezer, hath the Lord helped us. And so the help me is an ezer. It means God has help. Now, if God is the one that's helping, who really is the weaker? Ah, it ain't the one that's helping. It's the one that need help. Let me move on. Okay. All right. Let me move on. That, 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 that's, that's why y'all can't bring forth. That, that's why you can't bear forth. You won't design to do that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It ain't no help me. It's the same word as the Lord. If God be my help, it's the same word. Word. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Look at that. Mm. So the same spirit that has subjugated us as a people is the same spirit that subjugates women. Mm. The same system Jeez. that operates racism, mm. capitalism, Christianity, <laughs> and the Constitution is the same one that subjugated women. Wow. Uh, Y'all all right? Yes. yes. So long as we remove you out of your environment, yeah. you're going to buck, you're going to fight, you're going to cuss, you're going to raise up at authority, you're going to raise up at your elders, you're going to holler, you're going to scream, you're going to take it out of each other because you have been removed from the environment from which you were created. Right. And so when you do not treat your earth right, you're going to die. You, 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 because this has to be sustained 
out of the same source that it was created. Come on yeah. here. Yeah. What, what, it, it's it's yeah. got to have water. It's got to have minerals. Yeah. It's got to have vitamins. Yeah. It must be sustained by the same source from which it came. Your spirit man, your soul have to be sustained in the environment from which yes. it was created. When you are moved from your source, you are dead men walking. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and call that sleep. Mm. Call that sleep. Cody, when we came out, you were sad. You better go back and do a, a strong concordance. There ain't no hole in your side. No. It's a metaphor mm -hmm. for the process of meiosis and mitosis. Mm -hmm. The same thing still happens. Mm. Everything is conceived as X. Mm -hmm. When the male chromosome is added, mm -hmm. He adds either another X or a Y. Mm -hmm. It all started as X. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then through the process of differentiation, mm -hmm. now it determines wow. our sex gametes. Mm -hmm. It determines all of this. And we done made a whole doctrine out of that. Mm -hmm. Suppressing mm -hmm. the mothers, suppressing the carriers of life, carriers of the movement, carriers of the culture. We have suppressed them and shut their mouths and abused them with the same Christianity that beat our tails and hung us and lynched us. The same Christianity that allowed them to rape our women with their white wives, missing, looking on. That's how much they thought of them. Uh huh. That the same one. <laughs> Mm. You know you better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Y'all ready? Y'all won't go yes. look deep? Yes. Mm -hmm. Go deep, go deep. Go deep. So, 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 you, 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 you not know, you, you not know adoptee? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Come from the source. Mm -hmm. You come straight from your source. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All regeneration is, is getting through your humanity mm -hmm. back to your source. Mm -hmm. oh, That's more. right. Come on. So you got to maintain the two worlds that you live in simultaneously. Yes. You live in the world, but you live in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And they both got to be maintained and brought into alignment. Yes. This time us, with us together is about bringing you out of something you can't breathe in. Mm -hmm. it, 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 this is mm -hmm. that reason. That reason Floyd took off with I can't breathe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is why I shook the world, because mm -hmm. they used to us getting shot, mm -hmm. they used to us getting jailed, they used to us getting whipped, they ain't never said we couldn't possibly be those people. Oh my God, we couldn't possibly be those people. My Black God. Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. My God. All this marching and all that stuff in the legislation ain't changed, the Constitution ain't changed, the Christianity thing, ain't changed, huh? Right. The capitalism ain't changed. Mm -hmm. right. Ain't, ain't nothing changed, right? So Sister Matilda, ain't nothing changed. Nothing changed. Mm. Nothing changed. They little princes want our little men. Mm -hmm. And, and, and then when book. they can't get them, oh, they, they on, call it rape. Oh, come on. Come mm -hmm. off of it. Who oh, he raped me? Yeah, you got to explain, because you've been wanting him all this time, mm -hmm. and you done rode him like a horse. Mm -hmm. Come on here. And now you got to explain this mixed baby that may come, because you done enjoyed yourself, because you've been secretly wanting it. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. My God. You and we got the nerve to secretly want their princess. Lord have mercy. Please. Now, I, I really could go deep why they really like that stuff. Ah, Jesus. Because we are built a little anatomically different. Even our vulva is, is different. It feels different. I got, no, let me move on. They're not ready. They're not ready. They're not ready. That's why they say if once you go black, you can never turn back. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, that's right. This is not for the Sunday school cheering. No, 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 no. <laughs> we got on a Saturday. He that has an ear, let him hear. Let him hear. Let him hear. We that has an ear. What did you say, Providence? He that has an ear. Let, let him hear. Yes. All right. So, so, so understand what you hating. They secretly craving. Mm. Okay. <laughs> All right. What, what you're denouncing, they trying to do. Yes. They trying to add them. Give it trying to add them. They trying to add them. We trying to decrease. They trying to increase. Yes. Come on. What kind of fool is it? What kind of? No, okay. let me let me let me go a little deeper. So y'all 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 not know why, why would you have the DNA of your creator and then need to be adopted? Oh, that's good. Mm. That's good right there. Can I further Not say to you 
you are not Gentiles. Ooh, ooh, now look, come on, come on. teach us. Uh -oh. One of the biggest lies ever been told. Hey, hey, no. this is There's some peoples over there in Israel, preachers for Israel, Christians for Israel, because mm -hmm. they think Israel is a cash cow. Yep. They think it's a cash That's cow. Correct. It ain't got nothing to do with respect. Uh-huh, those that are of the synagogue of Satan. Yay. who say they are Jews and are not. Yes. Oh my, I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to leave that right there because you know Hebrew as we have it today is a reconstruction of a white Jew, of an Ashkenazim, not none of the 12 tribe, none of them. Uh, uh, it, it, it's a new language reconstructed. The geography has been reconstructed. It's not even the same land. Come on here. It ain't enough land for, to, to put none of us on in the first place. Come on here. Uh, we are still a scattered people, so who is that over there? Oh, Lord, have mercy. We're on every continent, every ethnos. What a, what, so who is that over there? Okay, well, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm, I'm going to move on into this and show you or uh, how uh, you not no Gentile. See what happened, Mark. Oh. Uh, See, hey, baby. they put something in the Bible mm -hmm. called uh -huh. the Table uh -huh. of Nations. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And they told the story that we have yet to prove. Story of, wow. as old folks say, Nora. <laughs> Nora and Nora's ark. Mm. So after the great <laughs> <laughs> Nora, Nora, yes sir, I love my people. I don't care what y'all say. Nora, Nora and Nora's ark. <laughs> so after the great flood, so the scripture says, you got to have grandmama's Bible to get this. Yeah, uh, yeah the older versions because it mm -hmm. done some kind of way slipped out the newer ones. Mm -hmm. So which one of them is the word of God? But anyway, uh, so then there was Nora and his three sons and their sisters who are not named. Okay, wow. so now there are Esther, two. Esther, you better slow that up and <laughs> say that again. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes indeed. Yes, 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 indeed. They had wives and sisters, none of which are named. I got to write this book, The Silence of the Black Woman. I got to write it. Mm. I got to write it because we've been snubbed out of history for over oh. 6,000 years. Wow. Oh, Jesus. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. And then I watch. They said, uh, let, me, let, me find my, let me find my scripture. Let me find my scripture. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I need a reader. I need a reader. I'm going back old school. I need a reader. I, I believe it's Genesis 10 that talks about Nora's sons, Shem, Ham, Ham, and Yafeth. All right? Uh, ain't no ham. No, yeah, that, that, no ham. That, that, oh, there's a guttural. Hum. Uh, and a ham. That's the first thing you say. He said ham. Ham hocks. Mm. Green hocks. eggs and ham. Sam, I am ham. All right? Ham. <laughs> Ham. Shem. And Yahweh. All right? All right. Uh, J. Peth. All right. Is that in there? That, that, that chapter 10? Yes. All right. Uh, uh, read. <laughs> These okay. are the descendants of Noah's sons. Uh-huh. Shem, mm -hmm. Ham, uh -huh. and Japheth. Uh-huh. Read. Children were born to them after the flood. After the flood. Mm -hmm. yes. After the flood. Uh-huh. Not on the deck. Mm -hmm. After the flood. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Continue reading. Read. The descendants of Japheth, Gomer, Magog, Madai. Wait a minute, hold on. Mm. Y'all heard of Gog and Magog mm -hmm. in Revelation? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anybody know where that's at? Mm. Mm. Africa. Huh? Gog and Magog? Yeah. Uh-uh. Where is that at? Uh-uh. Gog and Magog. Y'all use your phone. Use your phone. Use your phone. See where, see where Gog is. Use your, mm -hmm. use your phone. See, see where. Y'all got y'all phones out there. Use your phones. Because, <laughs> because y'all will not believe me. Magog and Madai. You gonna believe dead people who wrote stuff that you don't know nothing about. Wow. You don't believe in living epistles <laughs> written to men. Amen. It's all right for Paul to say that, but if we say that, we heretics. Uh, anybody find where Gog is? Gog. Or oh, find out where Gomer went. 
where his people at. I ain't talking about Gomer Powell. You don't do mind you of that though, Gomer. Gomer, Gomer Pyle, Gomer. Is that it? Uh huh. Y'all find anything? So Gog being at the four corners of the earth. Is that what? Gog, G G O G, Magog, Gog. Uh huh. Right. And will come out to deceive the nations at the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, in order for them to battle. Well, I want you to look up. I want you to look. Yeah, I want you to look up. Uh, where it is? Yeah. Where, 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 where did Goma? Where, where is Gog? Uh huh. <clears throat> Google your friend or Lexus. <laughs> Lexi. Lexus. Lexicon. So. Babylon. What? What y'all say? Babylon. What you got? Maybe code for Babylon. A code? Earth, yeah. That's what I said. The first time I heard that one. Is, uh, the Black Sea, is that true? Iran? Huh? Black Sea? Near the sea? Northern the Africa. Associated Near to the Black Sea? Come on. That's what they say. Okay. So the some. Dog is Russia. Go, come on, oh, sir. Oh, the my shield. Hold tight. Uh -huh. I feel God about to come back in the room. Uh -huh. Let's study now. Let's study. Uh -huh. It's the king of the north. Oh, my goodness, Russia. Mm -hmm. The king of what? The north. Mm -hmm. Now who's rising up now? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Russia. Russia. Who's ri it ain't about Ukraine. That's right. It ain't about Russia. coming against their own kind. Nah, 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 nah. Who, who's rising up now? Russia. Russia. Gog. Mm -hmm. Russia. Mm -hmm. Russia. Mm -hmm. That's what it said. Terroristic. Mm -hmm. the murdering. South is war criminal. Mm -hmm. Russia. Yeah. The ice people. Russia. Yeah. Okay. It's a battle. Ice. Ezekiel. Yeah, yeah, ice, ice people. Yeah. That prophet mentioned mm -hmm. the ice people last yep. night. <laughs> okay. So so Russia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who 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 next? Uh uh Prophet Club? Javon and Tubal. Okay. Get about to find Javon. <laughs> mm -hmm. you say, yeah, he must have been a black dude, him named Jovan. <laughs> I love Western the lies in this whole Bible. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can find it. All right, let's split this up. Somebody find Jovan, Jovan and somebody find Tubal. Tubal. Uh-huh. Oh, I got Tubal. He's from Turkey, right? Turkey. Mm -hmm. yeah. Turkey. It's Turkey. Gobble, gobble. Turkey. Mm. Uh huh. Let, 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 uh, what, what, two ball from? Where Dodanim? Uh, all of them. Everybody take one, and we can get through this a little better. More better. More better. Mm hmm. Lord Jesus. So we got to do a little studying because they just think apostle just talking. Mm -mm. No, honey. Mm mm. I'm not. I told y'all the gun was coming. Turn back if you want to. <laughs> Uh, Mind getting ready to turn back here and say, you, I'll shoot you. You turn back, I'll shoot you. Because if you turn back, you're going to be a turnkey. Mm. Mm -hmm. You're going to be a turncoat. You're going to be a danger to all of us who are part of the movement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you will. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, we, we find anything? If you find anything no. that... Shouldn't be, huh? Joe, what's the what's the name? Joe Vaughn, you said. Is it is J O V A N, right? J A N. Yeah, J A V A N. J A V A N. Okay. Wow. Uh huh. Let's let's just see something. Uh, I'm gonna show you who you not today. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> this is what happened when you stay up with your brother all night. We are too. The daybreak, and you had no sleep. You don't have no filter. From Greece. <laughs> Who that? Greece. Greece. The Greco-Roman Empire mm. that took over the world mm. and wrote your scriptures in a Greek Septuagint. That time I. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Got a new language for that too. Modern Greek ain't the same thing as Biblical Greek. <laughs> Y'all think because we took some Greek. We <laughs> I took it too, don't worry. <laughs> wow. mm -hmm. So we got Turkey. Uh -huh. We got Russia. Uh -huh. We got Greece. Uh -huh. 
Mm-hmm. Anybody found anything else? Wait, do that name. Who else, who else we got, Prophet Clark? Oh, we have Antirias. Antirias. T-I-R-A-S. T-I-R-A-S. Tiras. Let's see. But Tiras, give us another one so we can split it up. Let's see. And the descendants of Gomer, well, they start going into the descendants of Gomer, which is Ashkenaz. Ashka who? Ashkenaz. Ashkenaz, from which we get the term Ashkenaz. Ashkenazi. Ashkenazim. Mm. Uh, in Hebrew, I-M's are indicative of a plural ending, the Ashkenazim. That is who we call European Jews. Wow. European Jews. Ger is that um, Germany. Germany again? Germany? The Ashkenazi. Is Germany. My name is Hyman. When I meet Jews, they ask me, how do you spell your name? Mm -hmm. If I spell it a certain way, they say, no, you're not Jewish. If I sp sp spell That's it a, a certain other way, in the, in the way that it's spelled, they say, oh, that, 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 that's, a, that's German Jewish. You got German Jew in your family. It's true. Mm. But let's go for Clark. Clark is Irish without the E. We were the E. Uh-huh. Uh See? So it means wow. that you identify as the black slave. Uh-huh. With the E. Uh-huh. See that? Mm. And so when I, when I say Hyman on the phone, and I put on my voice like this, this is, yes, this is Janine Hyman. <laughs> How are you? Okay, I'm calling because so-and-so. Oh, God. And they think I'm a European <laughs> Jewish woman. Oh, God. And when I walk in, they be like, wait a minute, hold on, she black. <laughs> yeah, man, let me talk my ghetto I can get in the door. <laughs> All right? Uh-huh. They say you can't claim Jewish heritage because it's on your father's side. You have to claim it through your mother. Uh, wow. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a political reason for that too. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna mm -hmm. find out if you really study African culture. Really? It is matrilineal, not patrilineal. It is. Mm. Mm. Wow. Black people here are matriarchal. It's the mamas that really run the family. Right. The daddy provides and, mm -hmm. and protects. Absolutely. And your daddy may come home and exercise some discipline, even though he won't dare. Mm -hmm. It's the mamas that ran them families. But that's wow. why it's interesting, especially in most, I would say, those who really ascribe to the Spanish language, they'll have their mother's name as part of their name. Mm -hmm. It's not just their father's surname. Their mother's surname That's will true. also be part of their name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They That's know why something it was we part don't. Of the controversy when they said that, you know, uh, certain individuals will say, well, I'm under this last name, or I could be under that last name, but mm -hmm. it's the same name. It's the same name. <clears throat> now, if we got married and used both names or hyphenated both names, mm. well, that ain't, God. that ain't God. You gotta take your hood and name. Yep. That's part of the patriarchy. Mm. You lose your name, you lose your family. But I thought a man was supposed to leave his mother and father and, and cleave to his wife. Mm -hmm. How did it get reversed that the woman is doing all the cleaving and leaving? <laughs> okay. Oh. I just want to. Somebody. Oh. Somebody lied. Oh. Somebody lied. Somebody lied. Y'all finding him out there? Look, look, he's stuck, he's stuck. He's stuck. <laughs> Prophet Clark said, he said, Ooh. he was trying to get wow out, but he wouldn't come. He's like, yeah. But what happened to the leaving and the cleaving? Because mm -hmm. now we're, that's your husband, honey. You have to go with him. Okay. Miss, help me. Mm -hmm. the, uh, she'll tear the whole family up. Okay. Ashkenaz. Who that? It says the origins of Ashkenaz is of the seven sons. Gomer can be identified with the inhabitants of Asia Minor, known to the ancient Assyrians. And it says that um, as the Jim Moriah and to the Greeks as the Kim Moriah. Um, it says that the region of Askenai was centered in Palinate, notably worms, and in what is now uh, part of Germany. Its geographic extent did not coincide with the Germans, Christians, pr principalities of the time. All right, Germany, mm -hmm. Hitler, mm -hmm. violent, mm -hmm. barbaric, mm -hmm. stealing and taking from mm. Germanic Jews mm -hmm. who was not pure white. Mm -hmm. 
They was white. Come on, right. but not but they're not white. pure white. Oh, so we gotta take them out. Yes, yes. <laughs> so Tarias yes. is Persia. Mm-hmm. Persia. Mm-hmm. Wow. See, see, the sons of Gomer mm -hmm. takes you all of these oh, different man. places. Now, what do these places have in common? Understand, people of God, that Yapeth or Japheth mm -hmm. is considered by this narrative the father of the Caucasian race. Mm. Mm. You, you with me? Yeah. Yes. With you. Germans, mm -hmm. Greeks, mm -hmm. Russians, Repopulate. Assyrians. Are you seeing it? Mm -hmm. Yes. I see it. Uh, one of those places no, uh, with the sons uh, goes to Tarshish. Paul of what? Tarshish. Mm, mm, mm. Paul of what? Did you say Tarshish? Tarshish is in there. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. The Tarshish, the pattern is the same. He already, mm. by geography, mm -hmm. is already tainted. Come on, mm -hmm. already. That's he good. come. <laughs> <laughs> like a certain parts we yes. live, is mm -hmm. only other folks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're going to assimilate. Mm -hmm. So we don't, even though he calls himself a Jew. Jew. Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. Of the tribe of Benjamin. Benjamin. Mm -hmm. Benjamin. Circumcised on the eighth day, a Pharisee of Pharisees. He is working for the Roman, which is part of the sons of Japheth. Mm -hmm. He is working for the Roman government in the annihilation of his own people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. So that ain't no. nothing, nothing new either nothing new. for us to think we have arrived because we are part of the system mm -hmm. and we hold positions of authority in the system. We think we are not those Negroes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so now here it is. It's, it's old as dirt. We're going to do the work of the slave master in annihilating and controlling our own people. Wow. Sure we did. That's so good. Wow. Here we go. My God. Paul says, hey, I sat at the feet of Gamaliel. I sat with the apostles. I did all of that. And according to these narratives that I'm suspicious of, since then none of the other apostles uh, or tradition hardly make it in the book, no, why is it all Paul's writing? Yeah. Who does that? He ain't the only one that had a word. He never even saw Jesus. Mm -hmm. No. My God. <laughs> oh, that's straight up. And you're persecuting, not Christians, the followers of the way. Because yes. there weren't no Christians no. then. That's they right. They mocked it. You, you persecuting your own people because they are following a political movement to overturn Russia. This is part of why Jesus came. Y'all are not ready. Mm. I am only come. For the lost sheep. That's right. Of the house. How they lost? <laughs> They're scattered and they are being Romanized, mm. Grecianized, Hellenized. I am only come for the lost sheep of the house of it's Israel. Good. Yes. And I'm trying to figure out when he became the savior of the world. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, goodness. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, master Jesus. teacher. Jesus. What is a master prophet? Go somewhere and sit down. What is, what is a master prophet? Master teacher. Rabboni. Master. Yes, yes. yes. Master teacher. Yes. Master prophet. When will you restore the kingdom to Israel? Yes. When will we come from under domination? When will we come from under subjugation and be restored to the nation that God said we would be? Mm, I'm on that. It ain't had nothing to do with y'all. I'm going to die so y'all can, can't go to hell. Mm. Wake us up. Mm. Roll in fact. Mm. Jesus. So when we, when we mystify wow. the, the Christ model mm -hmm. and take mission and movement and mantle from him, since he's our perfect example, now we are following an example that he ain't. Mm. Mm. That he ain't. He Help. ain't. Help. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Behold the Lamb of God to take away the sins of the world. Of the age. Yes. Mm -hmm. Of the age. The mouth of this prophet, the government of this apostle mm -hmm. is going to purge Israel 
of her sin and it's going to purge and judge Rome. Mm. This is why he killed for treason. That's right. Y'all have made it something right. else. Mm. Wow. Well, that's right. He prophesied his death just like Martin did. Yes, he did. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, Lord. So we don't, we, we, we don't even have an example because he's been, he's been colonized mm. and, 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 and Christianized. Let me, where my thing at? Mm. I mean, I, I want, if I hit this with some. Yeah, it's going to move. See, see, y'all see this? I want y'all to see this. Mm-hmm. Look at all the amount of deaths yes. in transit. Mm -hmm. To Spanish. Look where we went. North America, the Caribbean, to Brazil. See? Mm -hmm. 18. My God. So Look at this. This, 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 this here 300 years right here. Mm. Well, this, this, is, this is where we scattered in, in, in large groups. Jesus. Wow. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. uh. That's how they brought us. Bullshit. Just like that. Mm. Disgusting. Tween decks. Yes. Where you store cargo. Disgusting. Tween decks. Disgusting. Wake. Mm. Mm. Come on. Come on. That's Heads this way, feet this way. way. Mm -hmm. And our own excrement, and our own placenta, and our own uh, vomit, uh, 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 intoxicated yeah. with, with toxicity, with, uh, with sweat, blood. Come on here. Disgusting. With chains, too. Y'all not ready. Dear Jesus, what? Mm -hmm. Dear Jesus, allow this. <laughs> mm hmm. Wow. My God. Mm. I, I, I just, I'm, I'm going somewhere with all of it. Come all on. black bodies. See all them black bodies? Wow. Lined up like cargo. Mm -hmm. Product. Property. Property. You came here as property because they broke you down in Ghana and places like that before they put you. They had to strip you and yes. whip you in order to be able to do this to you. Yes. Jesus. Naked. Come me, on. Me, 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 me and Prophet had a long discussion about our Roman clerical attire. We can't wait for a collar. Mm. Look at your collar. Mm. Roman choco. We can't wait Choking. for a Roman mm -hmm. choker. Mm -hmm. We can't wait. Mm -hmm. We can't wait for it. We can't wait to get the bishop's collar. Mm -hmm. There's your collar right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's your collar. Look, 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 look at it. Mm. The head right. down. That's look look it. up. We're going to put your head in this. We're going to lock your head in. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to, to, to lock your women yep. mm -hmm. and drag them behind you. you. And we are still women being drugged behind them. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at that. That's branding. We're going to brand you like cattle. This is why, I don't mean no harm, because I'm yeah, a little Delta. I, this is why a lot of the Pentecostal mothers and fathers were against branding mm -hmm. of, of, of the skin for uh, fraternities. Mm -hmm. Because this right here, why would you go back yes. mm -hmm. to your history like this mm -hmm. and be branded by your own people? Wow. Mm. That's, that's why they had a problem with it. You better teach. Lord have mercy. Let's move on. Look, 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 look here. The, 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 the slave auction block is the same as the pulpit. See? Mm. Mm. Fully. Same thing Ooh. as the sales sign. Y'all had to go get y'all one of them to preach from. Mm. Oh, Lord. Uh -huh. that, that whip is the same design of the whip that beat Yeshua. Mm -hmm. It's the same whip. Mm -hmm. You see that? Mm -hmm. It's the same construction. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay. Look who at the forefront. Look at the women. Mm. Look at the women. Mm -mm. 
Oh, look at the people. Yeah. Oh, look at the people. Oh, look at the people. Standing at the judgment. I love my people. Mm. They got to be tried. Uh-huh. Look, 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 look at look at the clothing. Look, look at mm. the women. Look, look. Please look at that back. Jesus. That's how Jesus back looked just like that. Mm. Them same the same number of whips, the same number of licks, the same number. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. My brother has arrived. Too. The master prophet. Mm -hmm. My brother has arrived. The Archbishop. Mm. My brother. Look here. Look. Muzzle. Mm. A muzzle like a dog. Mm. We still muzzled. Mm. Look. Shut your mouth. Mm. Look. We're going to muzzle your mouth. We're going to squeeze your brain, altering your neurological processes. We're going to muzzle you. You can't even move to the left or the right. This is used to punish and discourage running away mm. and to discourage freedom. Muzzle. Mm. Muzzle. Now we use your Christianity to muzzle you. Mm. We use the Constitution to muzzle you. Mm. And we use capitalism to muzzle you, to discourage you from running away and to mm. discourage you from being free. Wow. Look, 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 look on the net. Look on the net. Look. Mm. Look. Them cheeks, them cheeks almost look like Pastor Deborah cheeks. She had the only cheeks. Oh, God, she got wow. the only cheeks. Look, 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 on our necks. Huh? It ain't just the men, people. That's a lie. Women, too. Thank you. Mm. Y'all see that? Mm. Y'all see that? Wow. Wet nurses mm. forced to feed white babies while their own children waited or died waiting to be fed. Mm. Wow. This one got smart. She put her baby on one and Mrs. Baby on the other. Mm, mm. Wet nurses, why do you want our milk? Because mm -hmm. you already know our milk helps you to develop cognitively faster. Mm -hmm. Come on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our milk helps oh, you to man. develop motor skills faster. Hey, Jesus. Mm. Lord, I could teach a whole thing on psychomotor development. Y'all not ready? Yes. Look here. Mm. Mm. Look here. Look, look who we carrying. Their babies. Look who we nursing. Their mm. babies. Look who we're called to discipline and train. Yes, their babies. Y'all gonna hear me in about five minutes. Look here. Look, look, look at the expressions of our people. Look at what's on this man's neck. We're out of a bella right now. Hmm? We're just out of a bella. We're still on, live on all the other social media um, platforms. They'll be back up in a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Because this, this is a powerful imagery that we all need to experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as we stated earlier, we know that this is going to generate and it's supposed to generate certain emotions. It's supposed to generate a conversation, internalized one and also an externalized one. And so if you know that some of this imagery may be jarring or considered to be effective or just putting you in a different vibration, um, that is why, as Master Prophet has done, especially if you are a member of the Blessing Plan, you have the opportunity to come and have a conversation with one of the prophetic coaches that will help you to unpack and be able to deal with that as we, uh, just, we're just allowing ourselves to get back into one of our platforms because we, we need this. And at times, you know, they would say that, you know, medicine is good for the soul, and sometimes we don't want to ingest it, but you need it. This is something that we all need. 
and I, I decrease to bring it back to um, Dr. Janine, who's going to continue the imagery that she's sharing, because these are the moments that we need to get our minds decolonized. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dr. Janine. Look at the expressions. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Life gone out of a people. <laughs> hmm? Yes, indeed. And you know, Dr. Janine, um, when they were looking for a picture for the $20 bill, and they were looking for a picture when they were going to put Harriet Tubman mm -hmm. on the $20 bill, and mm -hmm. The Trump administration shot that down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They said one of the problems were that they had no picture where Harriet was smiling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And someone had to begin to say, there was nothing back then smile. for slaves to smile about. Absolutely. You know, so you kind of wonder about when you see those pictures of, you know, zippity doo da zippity day. I wonder mm. what was the cost mm. of that individual to have to put on that smile or black people whistling while working, you know, mm. that this, you know, the, the, the romanticism yeah. that tried to be attached to what was happening there, but these images That's good. begins to bring us a truth. That's why these stories got to be told by us. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yes. We got to tell our own story. Yes. Absolutely. See, look at the children. Now, all this, we take the picture and we put on the fake grin. Mm. But even up to the 50s, Master Prophet, mm. the 50s and 60s, when you look at uh, black women taking pictures, they're never smiling. Mm. Wow. Mm. Never smiling. That would be something, Dr. Janine, to see. When did smiling even begin in our culture? <coughs> mm, it's true. And did we have to be taught to smile? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah? <laughs> wow. I'd be like, can you please hurry and take the picture? My teeth getting dry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See? Three young white men and a black woman. Wow. wow. Running trains on our women. Jeez. And even look at the artwork. She's so black you can't see her. Mm-hmm. See that? Yep. She's a spook. She's yeah, a sambo. Symbolism in that. All this stuff that we call our own dark skinned people. Almost like a shadow. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm See, 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 look at that. White, black, wow. Uh-huh. We taking care of them and ours and preferring theirs before ours. Mm. See that? Wow, psychological. A man was lynched yesterday, 150 masked Mask. men with crosses, burning crosses, lynched two Negroes in Jacksonville. Wow. Mob was after another Negro but not finding him, lynch these two. Is not the current judicial system operating the same way? We can't find the nigga we want, so we're going to put him in jail because we need the slave labor. Yes. And we're going to get two for one. It's the same system, people. The penal system is the modern day plantation. New Jim Crow. Negro boy lynched by Georgia. Come look, look at this mess. Wow. Mask mob. Spirits. Spirits him. Come on. Hmm. This is the God of this nation, people. Now maybe you don't believe this, believe you don't believe me, believe the history. Mm-hmm. Mm Look at here. Over five. Look. Thousand. Look. We're hanged. And look, look at the, that look like church happening right here. Look at the bottom. Jesus. Look at the address. Look. Over 5,000 were hanged and then dismembered. They're violent by nature. That's right. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't got no help here today. And taking pictures. That's right. See? And when our children get to fighting and they're pulling out their phones, they're taking pictures and all of this. See where we got it from? Mm -hmm. You know, we didn't take the pictures. 
Jesus. Let's take the picture of the violence. We don't even know we're copying that. Mm -hmm. It's the same behavior. Same behavior. Look. Oh my goodness. One, two. Curse is every man that hangs on the tree. Burnt alive. Gotta be oppressed. Burnt alive. Jesus. Who does that? Children hanging, women hanging, whole families hanging. And we want to keep celebrating the cross, mm. the lynching, mm. the whipping. Mm. It's the same thing we took by a Romanized system. Girl, 15, guilty. Look at this, in a bus seat case. Now, now, you see, you see, Martin. Look what you said last night. Look, Martin. Look, look who's surrounding the movement. Mm -hmm. See it? Women. Y'all ain't got to believe the master prophet. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> I don't believe nothing we say. Yeah. <laughs> look, 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 look at this. Jail, jail, jail. Uh huh. Criminal. Spraying them with hoses. Like they criminal. Like dogs. Mm. There's it, man. Yep. Mm. From Emmett to Trayvon, same demon. Spirit and same. pictures. Same demon. Same. That's right. And look at our women trying mm -hmm. to protect the children. Not the men, the women. And we stand in here with the rope, ready to lynch. Look, look, look. That's right. Look. This is what has caused particularly black women to smother their male children. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yes. It comes out of slavery. It does. Mm. Mm -hmm. And what it ends up doing, because we're overcorrecting, is a sense of emasculation. Teach, teach. Mm. teach. Mm. Oh, God. Teach. Wow. Yeah. Help us, master. Teach. Mm. Here we go. Slavery ended, but when will justice begin? Black Lives Matter. All of this after George Floyd. Mm. Wow. Yeah. He's saying, get your knee up. <laughs> get... And now we got knees on each other. Mm. This system, capitalism, Christianity, the Constitution, mm. have knees on our necks. Mm? When all we telling you, I see a car in your future. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. After I get my car, can you please help me get these knees off my necks? Mm. <laughs> Uh-huh. No justice, no peace. This is a whole Black Lives Matter. It don't matter until we see the shocking, repetitive yes. uh, 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 of the violence, the heinous crime. Now you can't deny that this is what your, we've been telling you for years we've been going through this. True. You always come for our necks. Come on. Whether it's a knee, whether it's a gun, wow. whether it's a rope, yes. it, it, you always yes. come for our necks. Yes. Mm. Trying to cut us off from our source. There it is again. Mm. Do not shoot everybody holy. Now all the, I couldn't even get through Richmond. Mm. All the folks are privileged with signs blocking my street. Mm. Mm. Black Lives Matter. Ain't a law changed. Mm. Not one. Here's a pandemic. Yes, indeed. Did I hear you say that? Did I hear you say something like that? Sure, yes. We... <laughs> okay. I mean, maybe they'll, they'll receive the visual profit. I, it, it, yeah, this is real. At the ocean floor off the coast of Granada stands uh, underwater the sculpture of 26 uh -huh. children holding hands. Jeez. I'm going Tilted vicissitudes, many have attributed to a monument to those lost in the Atlantic slave trade, bodies in the water Rolling that have over. never been Rolling accounted over. for. Yeah. Bodies under the ground mm -hmm. that have never been accounted for. Mm -hmm. Bodies burned to smithereens mm -hmm. that have God. never been accounted for. Say it loud, I'm black and I'm tired. Mm. I'm black and I'm tired. That is the condition of my people. Yeah. We black and tired. tired. Mm. Wow. Uh -huh. uh, can uh, 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 can y'all find my second presentation, please? Can y'all can can y'all put that in for me? Okay. All right. Cause now I got to show y'all. Oh, here we go. I got I got 
Okay. Here we go. Can I say something here, too? Uh-huh. Um, Elena Thomas says not one law. Asian and LGBT. TQ have laws recently passed to protect them, and nothing for people of color. Absolutely. But I want to go back to this. Yes. This is why the message on economics Mm -hmm. need to be taught. Mm -hmm. I propose that it's not until a prosperity gospel is preached, we can't be free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because there can't be liberation without wealth. And I like what Dr. Claude Anderson says. You've got to begin to build wealth in the community. You're not a community until you build factories, until you have businesses. Mm. And then from there, you start to buy the judicial system. You control the elections. You control who gets in office. Mm -hmm. Not one Asian is in politics. That's right. But they shift the laws because they have businesses in their community. Yes, they do. But see, we make money wrong, Mm -hmm. right? We do it subtly. We don't even realize that we actually believe the love of money is the root of all evil. But capitalism mm-hmm. is going to be our exit strategy, yes, but not until we embrace it. Yes. It wasn't until the children of Israel took the wealth. Uh-huh. That's right. It came out with wealth, great wealth. And they came out with Come wealth. Come on. Yes, sir. And this is why there's got to, this is why if you notice at Zoe, we'll preach an hour on money. Yes, we will. Before we will preach an hour on just the cross. That's a fact. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. But today, all of you here have houses. Mm -hmm. That's That's not the norm in most churches. It's not. Which means that you're now starting to control voting blocks Mm -hmm. and encouraging your people to own houses and to begin to have your own businesses. Mm -hmm. But it can't just happen here. Mm -mm. It's got to become a community conversation. Yes. But the stigma and what we were talking about last night, the money script Mm -hmm. that is in our ancestors that keep coming on. You don't discuss money like that in church. This is too much preaching on money. Mm -hmm. And when you make Mm -hmm. that wrong, you are going to remain forever Mm. a slave. Yes. Forever a slave. Forever a slave. Right, right, Right under this man right here. That man right the Nordics there. Nordics here. Yeah, that, that man right uh-oh, there. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, we going that, that, to that, oh, that, that man right there. That, that, that this man. Painted, blew up. Who that is? Somebody's cousin. The, the, Who that is? This, this man right Somebody's here. Somebody's cousin. Now him got blue eyes. Come on here. Mm-hmm. Surfer. Uh huh. Look, look, look. I, 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 mm, <laughs> I like the surfer. I can Y'all don't even know that that beard is cut. Mm. Uh, in the form of female genitalia. Let me move yeah. on. Y'all are not ready. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yes, it Y'all is. Y'all are not ready. I'm just saying this. Is dear Jesus, mm. I love you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, can you give me the rent? Lord Jesus, I worship you, Lord Jesus. I praise your name, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God, that you died for me. God came down, silly. Mm. God came down. Listen to yourself. Right. Look, look at him, the yeah. shepherd and the bleeding heart. To thy precious bleeding side. Mm. Oh, Our God. whole religious experience. Mm is brought to the lynching post. Yes. At the cross, I told y'all. Now, I learned this here in the Catholic Catholic Church. Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. Hail Mary, Mm -hmm. full of grace. Full of grace. Wow. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among all women. Blessed. Mm. Holy Mary. Mother of God. Mother of God. God. <laughs> Catholic That's school, the Catholic, Catholic school. school. Pray for us sinners yeah. now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women. Blessed are thou among Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now. You're going to say a hundred Hail Marys until you get sick. Okay, I can do it in the backwards in my sleep. Please listen. Hail Mary, full of grace. We took it out of the scripture. The Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among all women. Who is blessed among all women? Look. Hmm. My, my who is favored mm. among all women? Mm-mm. Lord help. 
somebody else's cousin. Who is preeminent mm. among all? How many dogs? They got the same little heart little that Jesus had. Ain't that nice? Mm -hmm. Look at her mm. heart with the spear through her. Even that's violent. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, if I ain't seen pathology before, this is pathology. Oh, God, this is a psychologist's dream. Oh, look at me, the little Jesus, baby. Dear Jesus, Jesus in the manger, glory to God. <laughs> Hail Mary. Sold it, sold it. Full of favor, grace, mm -hmm. favor, missy, favored, white lady, mm -hmm. favored. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thomas's wife favored. Y'all do something with me. <laughs> ah, boy. Oh, isn't she meek and mild, holding little baby, dear Jesus. Oh, he got a few curls. Look at him. Got a few locks. He done got something in him now. He done, eh, yes, sir. Yes, we got a halo. Everybody got a halo. All God's children, except niggas, got a halo. Mm. Let's move on. Mm. Oh, they got halos. Look at him. Mm. Mary and Joseph and baby, come to Jesus. Come to Jesus just now. Uh-huh. He will save you. He will say, come to Jesus. Uh-huh. And stay right there at the whipping post. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the holy apostles. Glory to God. Oh, they have halos. Look at the men. All the white men. Well, I did a study recently about the iconography mm. of Christianity to find out that people believe mm -hmm at both a conscious and unconscious level, mm -hmm. that he who rules heaven mm. also rules earth. Mm. Did y'all get what I just said? I yes. heard what you said. Whatever rules heaven, we believe have the right to rule earth. So you don't have a right to have none of this, uh, Master Prophet. Mm. You don't have a right, because you don't look like this. Mm. Mm. You, you, you don't have the right to own Blocks and blocks. You don't have a right for no, 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 no Black Wall Street. We are gonna burn that down. We go and burn it down. We are gonna burn down your businesses. We gonna, right. we gonna have a whole massacre, and we're not gonna answer for it because we're not under law. We're under grace. Come on now. Come on. Yeah. You, you watch that grace message. That's right. That's yeah. Whoever stand to benefit has a grace message. We don't need to pay for our uh -huh. sins. Mm -hmm. Jesus paid it all. Yeah, all yeah. to him I owe. We back at that cross. We don't have to do nothing. Mm -hmm. We ain't even got to go through the tribulation. We're going to be caught up to meet him. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. In the air. Let's move on. <laughs> oh, look at him teaching his boys. If you hear any noise, it's just me and the boys getting it. Come on. <laughs> Me and the boys, getting it. Getting it. She heard that. Mm -hmm. Move on. Look, look at all of the icons. It's everywhere. It's on stained glass windows, fans. Yeah. It's in your Bibles. Mm -hmm. yeah, Florida Evans, this is the only yep. Jesus Florida. that we've ever known and loved. Mm -hmm. Come to Jesus. He's waiting for you at the cross that we burned in your yard. Mm. At the cross that we burned and burned your house down. At the cross, we got to keep you people at the cross. Mm. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, his breast is out. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's showing his breast is. <laughs> his breast is. Oh, <laughs> yes, I want to rest. Rest on Jesus' breast. Rest on Jesus' breast. Mm. Uh, no, baby, I, I'm sorry. I don't want that. That don't appeal to me. Oh, look at the little small scar. Okay. All right. Oh, wait a minute. If Jesus was say, white, Moses was white. Mm. Mm -mm. Charlton Heston. <laughs> Come on here. The Ten Commandments that Jesus, <laughs> Jesus wrote with his finger. Mm. A whole finger came down from heaven and wrote. Yeah. There you go. There go y'all boy. Charlton. That's it. Charlton Heston. The Ten Commandments. One of the greatest movies ever made. Mm. See? See? Hey, hey, look at all of the imagery. Look, look. 
Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa wow. Claus. Run down Santa Claus. Okay. Yes. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, the, the Ten Commandments. Uh huh. Uh huh. See, see, see. Even the cartoons, the caricatures, it's everywhere. Mm. And your be your consciousness is being seared. Mm. Yeah. Yes. With a hot iron. That's right. Ah. That's what we call shock therapy. See, so we have to bring all of the icons that have been going in your head out. Generations and generations and generations. And so the trauma has passed through the genes, epigenetics. Mm -hmm. Epigenetics. So that in adaptation to all of this, they have made a new man. Mm -hmm. But when Yeshua comes, he says, I'm another Adam according to, to, to Paul. Yeah, second Adam. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm another breed. Mm -hmm. I'm a son that's restored back to my source. Yes. So our preaching must bring our people back to their source. May we forever stand true to our God, true to our native land. True to our native land. And then watch, and then watch, y'all think God and forgot where I was, Dodanim, Javon, Gomer, uh, all of them Ashkenaz, all of them Greeks, all of them Turkish people, yeah. all of them Russians, God, may God, raising up again. All of that history repeats itself, prophecy repeats itself. I ain't no John, no, no John that was with Jesus wrote that from the Isle of Patmos. But anyway, anyway, watch. Paul says, I am an apostle. Mm. to the Gentiles. I need you to read for me, Prophet Clark. Can you go back to oh. Genesis 10 and let me show you where uh, the Gentiles originate in the script? Mm. Mm. Go, back to them, go back to them Japhethites. Oh, oh, I'm right there with you. Mm-hmm. What does it say? Uh-huh, read. Mm. From these, the coastlands, people spread, and this is verse number five. These are the descendants of Japheth in their lands, with their own language, by their families, in their nations. Is that King James? Oh, this is nope. RSV. Nope, because they took it out. Go back to your grandmama's King James Version. Mm -hmm. Read the Bible, sir. No problem. By these were the isles of the Gentiles. What did you say? Hold on. I know y'all use this for, for seed. Bread! <laughs> Master Prophet. Oh. Uh-huh, somebody go ahead and drop that 1,000. Come on. <laughs> go ahead and drop it, because I'm getting ready to get you free right here. Mm. Genesis 10 and verse number 5. <laughs> mm -hmm. You see, these other versions took it out. Mm. Wow. I found this in my grandmama's Bible with food and grease and stuff all in it. <laughs> My new King James didn't have it. Read the Bible, sir. Read. By these were the isles of the Gentiles. The who? The Gentiles. The who? The Gentiles. And Paul says, I'm an apostle to the Gentiles. So you will see in uh, the places that he went. Tarshish was one of them. He's from there. Mm -hmm. Colossae, one of them. Yes. He's from there. Wow. Book to the Romans. He's there. He working for the government. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. wow. Corinth, you see it there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all of these places that he visits, are many of them are the descendants of Japheth, who we say is the progenitor of the Caucasian race. They have migrated into the Caucasus mountains by the isles, and they are called Gentiles. You are not the descendants of Japheth. You ain't no Gentile. Sure. Okay, good. You ain't no Gentile. You Hamitic people. Ah, yeah, yeah, come yeah, on. yeah, yeah. You Cushites. Right. You come from Kemet. Yeah, you come from Northern Africa, Southern Africa. The Middle East was part of Africa. Dr. Janine, may I read verse 6? Yes, please, sir. And the sons of Ham. Uh-huh. Cush. Who? Mm -hmm. Mizram. Uh-huh. Y'all need to look them places up. So, so, so. And Canaan. Yeah. And Canaan. Ethiopia. 
Huh? South Sudan. Well, what you say, sir? <laughs> Ethiopia, South Sudan. Ethiopia, some of the oldest people practicing mm -hmm. Yahudaism mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. are Ethiopian, the Falashas. Mm -hmm. And we have the unmitigated gall and the bodacious audacity mm -hmm. to call them the lost tribes. My God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mitigated gall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to call them the lost tribe mm -hmm. that you discovered, Ashkenazim. Oh, Roche. <laughs> wow. Mm -mm -mm. That, 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 ain't even, that ain't even anatomically and physically possible. Mm -hmm. You cannot get black out of white. Mm -mm, you can't. Say that one more again. You, prove that. You, 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 you cannot get black out of white. Uh-huh. Yeah, they proved that. Oh, God. Did they, did, what'd you say, sir? They proved that through anthropology. They proved it through anthropology, and they proved it through the physics of color. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. You cannot get melanin out of what is not melanated. Mm -hmm. So how are these Falasha in Africa? There's a whole t group of them in South Africa. They are everywhere because in Deuteronomy, they were scattered everywhere. Hmm. We are scattered everywhere. Everywhere. You ain't <laughs> no Gentile. Mm -hmm. Period. <laughs> Quote unquote. Come on. Paul is sent to the descendants of Japheth primarily because he was never fully received by those he was Uncle Tomming to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And y'all done made a whole gospel. Oh, gospel out of Paul. According to Paul, uh -huh. who never saw Israel Messiah. Political stuff. Mm -hmm. So y'all stay out of the money, mm -hmm. and you stay out of politics. Mm -hmm. Shut your mouth. Hmm. We need to be there. Now. See? Mm -hmm. See? 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 Uh, 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 y'all all right? Yeah, no, you no, gonna need, you gonna need these prophets in a few minutes. You gonna we need good. some help. We good. I'm telling you. I, I'm telling you, because my people got Stockholm Syndrome, mm -hmm. where after you have been captured yes. and kidnapped yes. mm -hmm. for so long, yes. when you are finally separated from that culture or that cultish area or that person, that leader, mm -hmm. you will defend that leader to the death. Mm. Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm Syndrome. This is what we suffer from. This is what Stockholm our clinicians syndrome. need to understand. They need to understand the psychology of oppression and that you cannot use Eurocentric tools to diagnose and properly assess and address the pathology right. of an oppressed people because the pathology of an oppressed people is not the same pathology as the oppressor. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right. That was good. Them two different pathologies. Two different baths. Mm -hmm. See? The one with the chains on the neck. Different baths. The, 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 the muzzles on oh, the bullshit. face. Rape robbed. Beat down. Wow. Mm. Language stolen. Mm -hmm. oh. Custom stolen. God stolen. Wow. Standard stolen. There's a different pathology. Don't call me paranoid. Mm. I got a reason to fear you. Come on. Because you are barbaric. Come on, show that image. Show that image. You got a history mm -hmm. everywhere you go of taking by force and by violence in the name of your God. And so now we're paranoid? Really? Schizophrenic. You wonder why we now more bipolar than we ever been? Mm. Some in the dirt, some in the water, some in the food, mm -hmm. and some in your Christianity. Mm -hmm. It literally suppresses yeah. who you inherently are mm -hmm. as descendants of Ham mm -hmm. and Shem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It suppresses your immunosystem. We got more autoimmune diseases than a little bit.
Yes, now they're trying to give me some lupus. 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 They're trying to give you that here. Yeah, they're trying to give me some lupus and uh, some scleroderma, which is the, I'm like, screw what? It is, you know, the, the degeneration of the connective tissue of the body has a very short prognosis. You're trying to give me something because you don't understand what oppression has done to my body when I carry the burden of my people on my shoulders, what it does to my side. Psyche, what it does to my body when I have to suppress my mouth, when I have to suppress my knowledge, when I have to dumb myself down, when I have to do that, and you keep taking me from my source and bringing me to dear Jesus. You keep taking me from the God of my fathers and mothers and keep bringing me to dear Jesus. You keep taking me from the God that our God through the, our native land. You keep taking that yes. from me, and this is what you do to me when I express black. Mm. This is what you do to me when I advocate for my people. This is what you do to me when I look black, act black, talk black, work my neck like a black woman. Mm. This is what you do to me. And so because I'm going to be beat, I'm going to be persecuted, I'm going to be outcast, outsourced, I'm going to be demonized, then I say I'm not an African. Mm. I'm an American. I'm not. Uh. I'm not. Mm. I'm not. No, I'm not them. I'm not. And so now in order for me to be accepted. I've got to change my dialect. I've got to say me, God bless you, you too. Glory to God. I got to do all of that. I got to, I got to, I got to talk like you I, to be accepted as you. I got to act like you to be accepted as you. I got to do all this stuff that is antithetical to my whole being to be what I need you to accept me to be. I need my oppressor to tell me you're good. You're a good nigger. I just say you're good. You're good. You're Matter of fact, like we can. Yeah, you're not like the <laughs> other <laughs> niggers. You know, no, no. You're you're a different kind, Bill. You're a different kind. You're, you're a different kind, Clarence. You're you're a different kind. You're a different kind, Kamala. You're a different kind. You're a different kind. We gotta do all of that <laughs> to fit in. Say Kamala. Kamala. Yeah. And then we we feel we 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 we, we feel Condoleezza. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Why you can't look like Shirley Chisholm with your wig on? Come on. <laughs> she Asian. You, 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 we can't even put Shirley picture in the, in the thing. We can't it. put yeah. Mary McLeod Bethune picture yeah. in the thing. We can't do, oh. we can't do, no, 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 we can't, we can't do that. We can't put none of their pictures there because they're too black and they're not black. smiling. Mm -hmm. Come on. The they're not, yeah. they're not seductive oh like Mary, the mother of God. They're not seductive like the princesses. And so when we get like this, Archbishop, then our women become loose. Our women become nasty. Our women become exhibitionistic. Look at my body, baby. You ain't got to uncover it. You can't miss all of this. You don't have to do that. You ain't got to look like them. You ain't got to have your hair like them. You ain't got to have your nails like them. You ain't got to have all of We have not. We, we don't even look like black women no more. We don't we don't look like black women no more. We don't look like and so now, <laughs> now, now, now since they done told us we are hyper sex and over sex, now we're giving it to them. We walk in, you, you baby, you your butt too big for that doggone thong. Your whole tail done ate the whole thong. Get out of here. <laughs> that wasn't made for insights like ours. <laughs> see, y'all not ready. Y'all, y'all, see. <laughs> see, see, y'all won't ready. So I slid it in sideways. Right. See, y'all tell me the whole thing up. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause we got all. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And so our women now have lost their dignity. No longer do they have the dignity of a Coretta. No longer mm -hmm. do they have the dignity of a Rosa. No longer do they have the dignity of a Sojourner Truth, a Harriet Tubman. Mm -hmm. No longer do they don't have none of that. They ain't even got the dignity of Shotgun Mary. Good God, y'all don't even know who Shotgun Mary is. Y'all don't even know who Shotgun Mary is. Okay, so now this is this is the result yeah. of assimilating mm -hmm. so that we can be accepted mm -hmm. when you don't know that you are already the children oh. of God. Mm -hmm. You're not Gentiles. You're not adopted. You are the children of God. Mm -hmm. You're not adopted. You are the children of God. You're chosen, mm -hmm. chosen to endure this. 
Now let me tell you where we are on this prophetic timetable. Hmm. God says, I'm going to oppress them 400. 400. How many? 400. 400. 400. That was over in 2019. 400 years. Uh Watch. Watch watch, watch what you was tapping into. Uh That folks said you was off. (laughs) Watch this, my brother. Watch this. You know, I'm becoming extremely protective. Something's happening. Yeah, that was (laughs) shut. Say say Mm. Do that. Yes. King maker. Uh, <laughs> you got Sword in your head. <laughs> black, black women know how to do it all. One over here, one over here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know, okay, all right, we got to do this. Come on, baby, get your, come on, come on, everybody. See how inclusive we are? Yeah. It's our nature. Everybody. It's our nature. Yeah. It's our nature. This has also become our little demon. Yeah, they, they need well. to show that picture there, the wet nurse. See, see? Flip it over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See that? We've been doing it all. All, all of it. Wow. You see? Does she, does she look happy? Mm-hmm. Look how big and fat that baby done got. Mm-hmm. That's black milk. Yep. See that? Wow. See that? You don't get it? See? Wow. Because we're the mothers of all civilization. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And when you walk in the streets of our city of New York, black people are either pushing White Come babies, on. or because I have a place in the Upper East Side, uh-huh. white babies or elderly white people. We take mm-hmm. care of their infants and we take care of their elders. Absolutely. Wow. We see Look them at the in kind of jobs we take and on. see them out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See them in mm-hmm. and help them exit out. Mm-hmm. That's what gives them dignity Jesus. their entry and their exit. Yes. Mm. Their entry. And that's entrusted to our low paid hands. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. My God. Jesus! My God. <laughs> low paid hands. Mm. See? Ooh, my God, my God, my God. And you got a problem with somebody trying to get some wealth to you. Mm-hmm. Are you serious? Yeah. Ah, boy. Are you serious? Mm. I, w- I want you to get this too. I want you, I want you to get this. Wow. Watch. This is where we are prophetically. Yeah, speak. I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to afflict them for 400 years. Mm-hmm. He tells Abraham, that's what I'm going to do with your seed. Because they done lost their minds. Mm. This is why when we pray, we pray, forgive us. That means even our ancestors. Mm. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Who got from under his hand. Mm. Hmm? Thou who has brought us thus far along the way and got off the way, mm-hmm. trying to escape the identity wow. of being cursed, the identity of being scorned. It's part of the pathology. Part of the pathology. They got out, out the way trying to survive it. Jeez. Because they didn't know. We are the children of God. Mm-hmm. His hand is on us. Mm-hmm. The only way that we could have survived, I need to find that slide again. I don't know if it's in the front. It ain't, it ain't moving. Here we go. Hold on. See this? Look at that man back. Mm. And he's sitting up living. Mm-hmm. He's living. Living through it. He's living. Look at that man. His arms. All the way stretched. Everything. Straight. Nude. Look, look at this woman on the ground, but naked. Jeez, man. Mm-hmm. See, we're trying to escape all of this here. We try, we try. They were trying to make sure that we didn't have to relive it. They gave us certain skills. Mm-hmm. And diagnosed it as drapetomania. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Talk to us, sir. <laughs> If you look that up, D R A P E T O M A N I A. As a mental disorder, mm-hmm. if a slave ran away oh from this. Oh, my goodness. See? See? N- 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 now what? Right there. That, see? Uh-huh. Dreptomania. There it is. Show the slide. Are they showing it? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. 19th century term used to describe the mental illness 
that caused slaves to run away. Wow. And anytime you revolt now, something wrong with you. Yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. Isn't that mm -hmm. true? Yes, and even now when you, I mean, we don't know how long this is going to be on YouTube. That's oh, true. Yeah, that's true. Oh, wow. they may have that's true. So, so, so y'all need to get this as much as you can get this now. You're right about that. Right? That's true. Mm -hmm. Because we're going to have to open up a Patreon yes. just to preserve so that you can be taught. Because th think of this. That's it. They, don't want, they will not take Mark Twain out of the school, mm. but they want to remove um, mm -hmm. Toni Morrison's yes. book. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? And Mark Twain said, nigger, I don't know how many times. Over, Over 200 and something times. Yeah. Wow. And it's a part, but. Beloved. Huckleberry. But they want to take Beloved out Beloved of the school out. system mm -hmm. because they feel somewhat threatened. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And this is why the issue now. It's critical race. It's critical race theory. That's that right. They don't even, yeah. they, they don't want these slides shown. They, they don't, mm -hmm. if this started mm -hmm. being shown in the no, third, sir. fourth, and fifth, mm -hmm. and sixth yeah, grades mm -hmm. of what their ancestors have really done, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they may have to rethink again. Yeah, we can't. We don't, want, we don't want the children who have done nothing to be guilted and shamed. Ain't that a mess? You don't want your children guilted and shamed, but you don't have no problem with us still being oppressed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Blamed and maimed. Mm -hmm. And main. And low paying. Mm. Them low paying. Black hands. Mm. That done made this nation Come on, really. wealthy. Mm -hmm. That's it's our wealth, our labor. These low paying hands. Our labor, our strength, our genius. Mm. Our. 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 Come on. Mm. Ooh, yeah, that was shut Give us, our, give us our, our debts. As, as we <laughs> forget. As we. At the forgiveness. <laughs> forgive us our debts mm. as we forgive as those we who have robbed us of everything. Not I, as no. we. Lead us not into temptation. Us. Lead us. Deliver us from this evil right here. Yeah. This evil. Right here. The, the, this evil right here. I, I just Marvel. wanted y'all to like see this girl. again. Mm. Look at all them deaths. Mm. Jeez. That don't count the ones in the water. Mm. That's now, where we are prophetically with this, because we have not had a message for this. No. no we, have. we have not had a word of liberation for this. And the prophet must now be the tool, the conduit yes. of justice. Here we are prophetically. He says, and after 400 years, here we go, I will judge the nation that oppress my people. Mm. Come on. Wow. After four, I feel God's oh, yeah, nah, bah, 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 shut up. Don't do it, don't do, do it, bro. Yeah, 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 After 400 uh, years, after 400 years, that's the word. I will judge the nation. Uh -huh. It's hidden in the written judgments. I will judge the nation that has oppressed my people. Jeremiah right? Mm -hmm. You was right. Oh, he was right. Mm. Woo! Yes, he was yes. right. Okay, sis hollering from the right. corner over there. Yes. <laughs> and that's why when we were doing this work, 1619. Come on. Yes. To yes. COVID-19. Yes. Uh. Right after 2019, on, did not the virus sweep the nation? Yes. See? And still here, because we're still in a pandemic. Yes. Yes, yes indeed. Clean and old. And gave God. language so someone can finally hold up a sign and say, wait, pandemic, racism. Mm. That's it. Is the pandemic. Yes. That's the pandemic, Lord. I wish I could yeah. find that up here. It's <laughs> no, but it's on here. No, it's it's yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Racism has been a pandemic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what a pandemic does is it weakens systems. Mm -hmm. It weakens economies there for some people. See? Yes. Racism. It weakens the body, the autoimmune system. That's why these children are getting this hepatitis that they wow. can't. They, yes. they, 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 they don't even know where to go. You are not yeah, going to be able to contain this virus with now. your science because it is a judgment. Until. Huh? Yeah. And until my people 
and my people return to their God and my people are true to their native land. We going to keep getting a spanking. Now South Africa getting a spanking. Yeah. Well, same thing. Colonized. They getting a spanking. They copying us. Many parts of colonized Africa is copying the great whore of Babylon. Mm. They're copying us. They want to be like us. Yeah. When I got to Africa and they say, okay, tell and tell your neighbor. I'm telling you, look like a cuss or something come from my feet oh and got stuck in my mouth. I did not come <laughs> all the way to the motherland to hear y'all say, turn and tell your neighbor. Are you serious? Oh, my oh, goodness. Come on now. Completely colonized, wanting to be like us, wow. wanting to be affirmed by us. We mixed up in Africa. If we can say we connected to somebody in America, in the mm. States, if we ever go to the yeah. States, wow. if, we go, if we can ever go to Beulah Land, if we can ever, mm. no, 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 the Babylon, they got Beulah, baby. This is like Canaan. No, 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 no. We create a Canaan. We create a Canaan. We create a Canaan. Now watch. We told y'all about the great switcheroo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The next era is an era of justice and righteousness, the foundation of God's throne, the Elohim, Hashem, the foundation of his throne, justice mm. and righteousness. righteousness. Mm. What need to come out the mouth of everybody who claim they are prophet mm. and what their bodies need to embody, what they need to, to be doing needs to be the work of justice and righteousness. Mm -hmm. And the call is first to your own. Yes, it is. Charity begin at home. Yes. yes. He came to his own. Mm -hmm. yes. And then when his own received him not, he expanded the mission. Mm -hmm. It starts here at Jerusalem, Judea, then the other parts of the world. We're not saying we're excluding. No, we are healing ourselves. Yes. We are rebuilding ourselves. Mm -hmm. We are repenting mm -hmm. ourselves. We are returning to our God mm -hmm. and to the principles of our native land. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. So the judgment, mm -hmm. we, the nation being judged. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, wow. Watch what he said. He said, okay, when y'all repent and come back to me, yeah. here's what's going to happen. <laughs> he says, then, prophet, I will restore the years. Mm, yes. mm. <laughs> See, we can redo anything. Mm -hmm. That's why we reproduce. That's why we rebuild. That's why we repent. We can only do again what the source has already done one time. That's mm right. -hmm. And so he says, I will restore. <laughs> store. <laughs> store. <laughs> What's empty? Mm -hmm. Store. Sure. <laughs> oh. Fill it up. I will replenish mm -hmm. Mm. what has been deplenished. Yeah. I will restore the years. We can restore stuff, but only the source can restore years. Mm -hmm. What years am I going to restore? Mm -hmm. I'm going to restore the years, not the stuff. Come on, back. Mm -mm. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not giving y'all stuff yet. No, no, mm -mm. no, no. No, no, you're going to have to go back to my principles mm -hmm. and, and, and work it out. I'm going to restore the years that the pomo worm, mm -hmm. okay. the canker worm, mm -hmm. Come on. the locust mm -hmm. has devoured. I'm going to restore the years of what they've done. Watch yeah. he, what he said. My mighty army That's what he said. that I sent, mm -hmm. yes. I sent it. I'm going to send bugs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to send what we call a virus, a bug. I'm going to send bugs. I'm going to send microbes. Yep. I'm going to send small creatures since you think you got it. I'm going to send Locus. that. Locus. I'm going to send locusts. I'm going yes, then we yes. start seeing the locusts start resurfacing in Africa. Yes, Come on. Yeah. He said, my yeah. mighty who sent them? I sent them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I sent them to beat your tail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I sent them to jack up your economy. The rodents in Australia, oh, yeah. mice multiplying. Yes. Remember we showed y'all that? Yes. See? Yeah. Yes. See? In recent articles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they said when the pandemic hit in New York City, mm -hmm. the rodents were starting to move out among the city because the people had stopped being in the yes. street. Wow. So the rodents yeah. was mounting up yeah. in the streets of New York wow. because the people was indoors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mighty mm -hmm. army. Mm -hmm. The mighty army. The mighty army. That's the mighty army. That I sent. sent. Mm. I sent. 
what I said, what I gave you dominion over. I let something this big mm. and made one or two a we. <laughs> there it is again, mm. same principle, we. I sent them together mm. and they jacked up your land. They jacked up your economy. They jacked up your health. They jacked up, but when my people return to me. Return to me. I'm going to restore years. Years. That means stuff that our ancestors died in the faith, believing for this great cloud of witnesses. Did, did, did we not pass the Deborah? Did we feel Mother Jordan yesterday? Our uh, Thursday. We felt her up in here. Mm -hmm. I almost got the crying and can on. What? Yeah, I, I said, I, bye, bye, bye. I felt her. This great cloud of witnesses. They done demonized all of that. This great yeah, cloud of witnesses the who, the, who have died in the promise, who saw it afar off, who heard me speak it, what? who I covenanted with. Yes. Now I need a remnant yes. of those people scattered, of those people chasing, bit of the chastening rod. I need a oh. remnant of people now reconditioned yes. in the wilderness, reconditioned yes. in the middle passage, yes. reconditioned yes. on their way from yeah. one era that is close to the next era whose womb is, is pregnant, whose womb is beginning beginning to dilate, whose womb is opening, and there's leakage. Justice is leaking out. That's why they just gave that $100 million mm -hmm. for the reparation of slaves. Oh, come, come on now from Harvard. Yeah, this is why yeah, people yeah. are being released from yeah. jail who net two for one. Give us two niggas for one. We don't know who did it, but we're going we're gonna to put two of y'all in jail. It's the same system we just saw here. Now we're seeing them come out. We're seeing the DNA uh, 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 prove. Yeah. Uh -huh. now, now, now when we return to our God and we get our DNA back, the DNA will begin to disprove the lies. Mm -hmm. The DNA will begin to disprove that we ain't no Gentile. Mm -hmm. the, the, the DNA will begin to prove that we are born of the Spirit. We are not people of the script. We are people of the Spirit. True to our God. True to our native land. True to our God and true to our yeah. native land. Yeah. Oh, so we're in the judgment of it, sir. And that's our yeah. Zion. Come on, Sir, Oof. when my feet touch Zion, but as soon as my, my feet, feet touch Zion, Zion oh, oh, yes, no, 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 no. I'm going to <laughs> lay down my heavy burden. Hey, uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, I'm going to shout and tell the story. Uh, yeah. We're going to get unmuted. Mm. Unmuted. Mm. The chains are coming off of people's coming minds off. today. Mm. Yes. Masks are coming off of people's minds today. Helmets are coming off of people's minds today. Roman chokers are coming off of people's necks today. Stuff getting ready to get up off your neck. Mm. I can't breathe. Mm. You cannot breathe when you have been removed from your source because you can only thrive in the environment yeah. from which you were created. Mm. So we're going to have to have a revival in our diet. We're going to have to come out from among What you saying to me, God? You, we're going to have to come out from among them in our diet. You're already leading the way. Yeah, we're going to have yeah, to come no, no, out no, no, from no, among no. them. We're going to have to realize that our bodies are the temple plural of the Holy Ghost. And so there is a Holy Ghost dwelling right there. There's a Holy Ghost dwelling right there. There's a Holy Ghost dwelling there, 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 there. Holy Ghost dwelling there. And when we come together and bring all of our godness, with us, we have a greater revelation of God. We get information. We get inspiration. We get revelation. Come on, preach, Come on here. Lord, have mercy. We own our way back to God, and so uh, the yeah, man yeah, of yeah. God has even put this together uh, no, no, as no, 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 part Marcia. of the movement to go get our people and return them to Zion. Soon as your feet like Zion. My God, the you know, um, Dr. Hyman, you have said a mouthful. I'm, I'm, let's go back to the picture with the um, the, the, um, the collars. The collars, yes. They'll, okay, they'll, got they'll it. find it. Yes. Get your knee off, off my, my neck. neck. Oh. Now, this is happening as we are moving oh. in a pandemic. <laughs> Yeah, get your knee off my neck. Was a I mean, the one of the last that began to get the world attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Other nations, George Floyd, yeah. holding That's up it. that image, right? Mm -hmm. Off my, my neck. neck. Mm 
And who was the last person he called on? His mama. 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 Come on. Mm -hmm. go, mama. Go ahead. Do, mm. Mama. Why would he call mama? <laughs> that, that number one oh, is the source of life. Oh, right. <laughs> number two, watch this black woman <laughs> with her son like this. Oh, no, mama, 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 we fall off the bike at five and six. We round the corner. Mama! Mama! Why? That's the giver of life. There's got to be restoration and restitution and reparation for women, particularly women of color. He calling not Jesus. He called his mama. mama. And if mama could have gotten there, he would have never died. Never died. Mm -hmm. No, Jesus have mercy. Never happened. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah, bullshit. Truth. That, mm. She would have died That's freeing him. Say that. That's the truth. Yeah. That's the truth. That this oh. here's image. Jeez. Good God. Right there. That's, that's so up good. now. Um, and I think it's another. It's, a, it's another one with, with the whole face. Being yes. There. Get the other one that has, like, I believe, like the Roman yes. image. Yeah. Oh. Mm. That muffles the mouth. The yeah. mouth. Amen. There see, this, 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 this is what I, I was breathe. telling you. Yeah. See, this is what I was telling you about last night. You know what we talking about last night? Uh, the collar. Yeah, yeah that, 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 that this here, it's, 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 it's in my, I got to do what I have to do yeah. uh, while we're in these systems, mm -hmm. all right? And we have to certainly uh, distinguish ourselves as priests that we are not common. All of this uh, appearing to be common mm -hmm. and, 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 dressing down and all of this to be relevant we got from those who worship dear Jesus. Mm -hmm. But our priests have been always called to be sanctified Ooh, and separated now. and distinguished from we are not that's common. That's right. We're not. We are not common. Yeah. Not. Mm -hmm. And so that's why you know when I'm in yeah. these systems I go ahead and yield. But this right here. Mm. And when we begin to look at this you just said something else about the food. Mm -hmm. When you look at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yes, sir. Talk, sir. These men, they were priests mm -hmm. in the scripture. Yes. And they were priests mm -hmm. that kept the dietary laws of yes. Israel. Okay. So when they would not eat the king's mm -hmm. meat, yes. mm -hmm. they were not eating the food of the system that yes. was oppressing them. Yes. Mm -hmm. And one of the things mm -hmm. that has taken us out mm -hmm. is we have low health care yes. yes. among our people right. yes. because we are on the food of our oppression yes. and uh, eating the food of slavery. Absolutely. And until we take control of the food, we won't get the right back of our bodies. Uh, no. Nope. Our black bodies, mm. which is ingesting black the food. Bodies. Yeah that is hindering our oppression. So when we begin to look at God in Israel, you go to the whole book of Leviticus, it's See, all about dietary, dietary laws. Dietary laws. Mm -hmm. So the priest was not just offering offerings yeah, yeah. at the altar mm -hmm. of sacrifices. They were also maintaining the dietary laws, which is part of your holiness. Yes. Absolutely. Holiness yes. is not the length of your skirt mm -hmm. or oh, whether you oh, smoke, chew, yes. or do, all right? I'm not saying that that is not a part of it, mm -hmm. but holiness is your diet. Yes. Talk, sir. Holiness. Wholeness. Mm -hmm. Wholeness. Mass. Body, soul, spirit, all one. Mm -hmm. So physiologically, we are out of alignment mm. with who we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Psychologically now, we're, we're out of alignment because now we have all of these toxins in the environment, mm. but we also got them in the body. Oh. So now you have toxins from without and, and toxins and within. within. Yes. And what it does is it changes the neurochemistry mm. of, the, of the mind. So now you see all of this attention deficit. You see yeah. all of this autism. Yeah, yeah, that used yeah. to not be a, quote, black disease. Thank now you see, the more we assimilate, mm -hmm. the more we have Jeez. the diseases of our oppressors. Mm. And our bodies are not made for that. Mm. Our bodies are not made for that. Mm -hmm. and, and I want to say something. <laughs> um, wow. My grandson, KJ, who's in there switching now and now editing, mm -hmm. when he was diagnosed, um, can I tell him your story, KJ? Thank you for permission. KJ could name you all the sugars they told him to stay away from. Mm. Mm. He was calling names of the sucrose and fructose, about six, how many different sugars were there, KJ? 
He says, because there were 18 different sugars. Wow. So this is what he's learning as a child. Yes. That the sugar is a drug. Yes. It's a drug. He couldn't so focus. Mm. He couldn't get an alignment. Yes. Mm. And they had to end up taking him to a center. Now, now, now this was not the medical profession. Mm. We had to go outside of medicine to get right. the cure. Mm -hmm. Wow. And took him into brain balance, where they had to rebalance his brain and his mm. construct Whoa. in order for him to start getting on honor roll. And it was a process that not just him, but his family had to move through. That's true. And we had to start, man, you remember when this was yes. going on? Yes, right? Yes. Wow. And to look at him today, but if he did not go outside of the system, yes. he would have had to stay on their medicine. <gasps> That's it. That's right. And would have owned his black body. Mm -hmm. My See? God. Because it'll control one symptom, mm -hmm. but it will toxify yeah. other parts and systems of your body. You know, that's good. This, I got you know, this, that's good. and so can y'all see where a class like this, Oof, Dr. Yes. Janine, need to be doing every Saturday morning yes. just to get you straight from the weekend to pay for the next week. Yeah, they need to every do. day from yeah. 10 o'clock yeah. to 12. Yeah. Yeah. That's two hours, right. You know, weekly. Yes. I mean, yeah. what you are sharing. Yes. Because we are Spirit-filled Pentecostal prophets speaking mm -hmm. in tongues. Mm -hmm. What other ministry could you find this mm -hmm. conversation in? No. Right there, be I want you to think about this no. for a moment because I'm getting ready to come for your wallet. <laughs> Not out it. No, listen, watch <laughs> I'm gonna come for your wallets yeah. right now, right? Mm -hmm. Because this cannot be shared with broke mouths and no, broke wallets. No, not at all. They ain't going to listen. All of, all of this, Prophet Shannon, mm -hmm. these images that she showed us yes, of sir. Jesus, yeah. right? Yeah. Not the Jesus that I know. Me either. Because the Jesus I know looks like me. Absolutely. Right? That's right. That's yes. our elder brother. Yeah, that's our elder brother. Thank you. <laughs> that's not our father. It's our elder, the ta -ta -ta. But we're not, not going to deal with it. We're not going to go into that right now. <laughs> right? But... And, and, and next year, we're going to do the seven last words from the lynching tree. Mm. Okay. So, in a boshan dalabasa. Okay, but, but, but watch this. From the lynching tree. From the lynching tree. Mm. America's seven last words. So, 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 give us this day our daily bread. This, what you see with these images yes. of these white images that she showed of the church. Yeah. This is called, for that day, let's get Michelangelo cussing up. The white. The images of. The white. It's the next slide. It's the next one. Okay. They'll find those images. Um, and maybe it's good that they can't find those images because we don't need it in our minds <laughs> too long. So watch this. You know, you're right, Roger. Think about that. That's media. You're right, man. Yes. That was the television right. and the movies of their day. Yes, indeed. When Shakespeare time, mm -hmm. You're right? right. Yep. That was media, which was the transmission of knowledge. Should have been posing for the picture. Yeah. Oh. The, okay, watch this. This here, these people are in the, they don't go to work Monday through Friday like this. This is them in church clothes. That's church clothes. Oh, yes. That's the church. They just came right. yeah. out That's of a church. house of worship. Yes, and this is why today people won't even call it picnics. Yeah. That's right. Mm, mm, mm. Don't do that. Because they were picking a nigger. Yes, Pick a nigger. Uh, Pick a nigger. And that's why you had the red and white tablecloths. Yes, indeed. Which was the blood of our ancestors. Oh, my goodness. Right? Now watch this. And they took our body parts and took them in their homes as sacred relics. Oh, my mm. goodness. That's the dismemberment. The dismemberment. Uh-huh. And this is who y'all want to be like. Right? <laughs> now, these images that we've been given of Jesus, the holy apostles, mm -hmm. let's look at those images for a mm -hmm. moment. Wow. Somebody put up large money Mm -hmm. For that image. That's right. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. To get branded in your mind. These images right here. Yep. Let's show billions. that. This is billions of dollars have been put behind this television of that day mm -hmm. to circulate around the world. And get you. Ooh. This is media. Mm. Hear me, saints. Yeah. This is media. This media. is media. 
These okay. images here is media. Don't fool yourself. Don't fool yourself. This is media. Media. Right? This is their documentary mm -hmm. of their story <laughs> yes, yeah. of Jesus. Mm -hmm. This is why when you uh, go to college, those of you the college grads, they tell you history starts with the Greek. Mm -hmm. See? Am I right? Yes, In yes. 409 B.C. Absolutely. And you be asking, well, what about Egypt? So they yeah. said that is prehistoric. Mm -hmm. But they yes. don't, but they mm -hmm. give the authority to these here are the images mm -hmm. that you're going to bow down Mary Martha. and worship. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. These are the images. Yes, they are. This is media. Mm -hmm. When Jesus died, they paid large sums of money mm -hmm. to tell a lie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. And what did the church have to do? raise even larger sums of money That's true. to maintain a lot. To get the truth mm -hmm. yeah, to the people. Of the people that they needed to see. Yeah, media. Your media Come on. is not going to shift mm -hmm. until you put money around the media you believe in. Mm -hmm. My, my. My God. America is a black country. Let me just say this again. Mm -hmm. It's the truth. Pardon. Your truth will not be heard until you put the wealth behind the media. And so you've got to distinguish the difference between a black leader mm -hmm. and a leading black. Mm -hmm. There That's is good. a difference. That's yes, good. good. Yes, it is. You can have a leading black mm -hmm. that has been put before you well, yes. as an image what? that been has been sourced by the very oppressive system mm -hmm. And so they're given free TV time. Come on, Bishop. Mm -hmm. They're put in the movies That's to have right. prime mm -hmm. positions. Mm -hmm. They are giving individuals and connected into strategic locations on, and have PR firms that have already been paid for by individuals that is controlling their message yeah. or their, yep. these are leading blacks. Yes. I can name some of them oh. for you. They have mm -hmm. the right pedigree. Right? <laughs> but a black leader, yes. on, Master Prophet. voice is not backed. Mm -mm, not backed. Mm -mm. It's true. That's why we're backed. Not by the oppressor. If mm -mm. anything, mm -mm. there are stories about them to keep you away and yes. the building of scarecrows so yes. you stay yes. out of those fields. Yes. Yes. Right. Absolutely. Amen. There are some of you today that sit here today and, you, and, and you're here. I'm, 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 I was here looking at the comments here. Mm -hmm. It's probably good that you weren't looking at the comments here. People to touch. Um, one person says, I don't know what Caucasian is. It's a consciousness. Hmm. Absolutely. Let's leave it there. <laughs> wow. Yes, sir. It's a consciousness. Black is a consciousness. Yes, it's a consciousness. It's a consciousness. Because you can't look at Clarence Thomas and call him black. Come on. No. no. We understand the outward color. Yes, sir. But, but we're still waiting to mm -hmm. see what mm -hmm. laws have mm -hmm. you shifted in mm -hmm. this nation yes, sir, to... that sound black. Ah, yes. Yes. That wife ain't going to let you do that. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> A lot of our black. <sighs> Lead, watch this, leading blacks. Now, I don't know about you, but when I get a person and they're leading, when, they're, when I think they're a black leader, mm -hmm. I look and Google their wife. Yeah, ooh. Mm. <laughs> well. Mm -hmm. I Google their mate. Come on, mm -hmm. most of them white. And when they were even selecting the, the, the black woman judges to be, mm -hmm. out of about five of them, mm -hmm. four of them had men that did not look like me. Wow. wow. And I began to say, we got two black powerful women in our country right now that is on all of our lips. Mm -hmm. But their men don't look like us. <laughs> us. Mm -hmm. You've got to start questioning that yes, in your mind if you, do not, if you don't do it out loud. Don't do it out loud, because you may not have the resources to do it out loud. Come on. You should at least question it mm. in your mind. Yes. And say, where do I stand in this? Mm -hmm. We must have people that speak our message. I was in the mall the other day. Mm -hmm. 
a man talked to us from another table, an elderly black man. Mm -hmm. And he said, are you Prophet Jordan? I said, yes. He says, I thought I heard your voice as you were talking. And he came and sat with me and Ernesto and D. Roy and Reynolds. Mm -hmm. I said, this is one of our elders here speaking. He told us he came back from a conference. He said something, he said many profound things, but there's one thing that stood out. He says, I keep wondering, where are the black people I voted for? (sighs) Dear Jesus. (laughs) It is your responsibility Mm. Mm. that you put your money behind Mm. responsible individuals. Mm that will carry your voice into the future. Wow. I love it. And I want to commend all of you for your seed sowing. Because of your giving, we were allowed to have this gift. Yes, yes. Thank you. And this was something that was not shared out of hate, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but definitely out of righteous indignation. Yes, mm-hmm. indeed. Yeah. It was not shared as a, it's not a hate speech. Mm-hmm. It's a love speech Come on. about That's loving it. yourself. That's yes. right. Come on. Yes. That's right. And Come on. understanding what has been done to yourself. That's it. Almost like when the Jews talk about their Holocaust, oh, they, are, they stand in a stand of never yes, again. Never but again. see, we don't talk about our Holocaust. No, sir, no. How many millions, millions went into the sea? Millions. That's right. And why did they go into the sea? Because they knew their body was not fit to endure the slavery. That before mm. I be a slave, I would uh-huh. rather die. Bro. I would rather I die. die. That's right. Mm-hmm. Right where I am. In a watery grave. In a watery grave. Come on. I'll go into my own baptism. See? (laughs) Instead of being baptized into this God that is on the screen right now. Mm -hmm. We've been baptized Mm -hmm. in the God of our oppressor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That ain't our God. Mm. Do they have that image up? I want them to see which God. Thank you. That's the God many of you have been baptized Mm -hmm. in. I know this is radical. It's supposed to be. Oh, yeah. If the theology don't create an argument in the pew, you have not heard the gospel. Mm. Everywhere Paul went, it was either a revival or a riot. That's right. We've been baptized into this image. I want you to look at the image. This was on your Sunday school. It was on my Sunday school Mm -hmm. card as a child. (laughs) This is the image. Mm -hmm. This is the media. Yes, the media. We're saying now it's time to support the media of America's black prophet. You know how many people called me and said, why is it gonna be America's black prophet? I said, why can't it be? Exactly. It's Jesus of Nazareth. (laughs) Come on, I don't know why they got a problem. Why is it a problem? Mm -hmm. It's a problem because black is in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Lest we forget. I got it. Nah. But we forget to forget. These are the images they want you to forget. Let's go back to those oh, those neck God. braces. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Those chains. They sure do want you to forget them. We'll go back That's to the it. neck braces. Forget, they want you to forget them. that. They do. Yeah. And yes. embrace this. Yeah. yeah. Embrace this, which is embrace the white Jesus mm-hmm. that has oppressed you and they've weaponized the Bible. For your oppression. Absolutely. Absolutely, mm. Master Prophet. I, I want you to let this here images go. Wow. And, and even the these, lynching. these images of this soft Jesus oh, yeah. mm. They're more are pure. to make you docile. Mm. Mm. Yes. Are to make you never rise up. You must docile. forgive. Mm. Pitch it late. Mm. You must forgive. Yeah. Mm. These What's images, it? yeah, these the images. Now y'all forgive about, let's, let's forgive and let's move on. That was back then. Yep. yep. No, That's you're benefiting it. today from mm-hmm. back then. Yes. Back then. Yes. You're still in Harvard admitted it. Privilege. That's right. That's right. But I was insulted that it was 100 million. Mm-hmm. So they had 53 mm-hmm. million in the endowment. Mm-hmm. Why, 53 billion, mm-hmm. thank you, thank you. Yeah. 53 billion 
in their endowment. Yeah, I don't know why they don't give yeah. half of that to all the HBCUs and let that start to be the start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. You can rebuild again. Mm -hmm. Yes, they can. You can rebuild from nothing because we've had to rebuild from nothing. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, where is deep equity, mm -hmm. diversity, inclusion? Oh, it's coming in this next era. Mm -hmm. And it's so it's coming. The justice is coming. But we've got to be positioned and reconditioned for it. Yes. Wow. When the switch of root come, we got to be in position. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't have time to get ready. Mm -mm. We got to be. We got to be ready when they get knocked off of their horse, and then we up on the horse. Now they're walking like slaves. Come on. We up on our horses, and so we we got to get ready. All of this is part of the getting ready. The getting. This, ready. Is, this ain't a oh, it ain't a hate. No, it ain't no hate speech. Mm -hmm. This is me. T I'm bringing you your history, mm -hmm. right. and I'm bringing you your Bible, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I'm showing you things that have been hidden in your Bible. Yes. This is a love walk. Yeah. This yes. is a love gesture mm -hmm. because we love our people mm -hmm. that much. Amen. And so we want to. So 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 let's. Um, anything else you want to say before we raise the seed here? Mm -mm. Are you complete? For now. Not can be. You can't be. Oh no. <laughs> you would think we didn't have nothing. We done this talked it, all night. We right? talked all night. We talked we wow. good thing you went to bed. Guess what time we went to wow. uh, uh, the let's party. see. Let's this see. is Jordan at four o'clock. No, 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 it was later than that. Oh. It, it was light. It was <laughs> the light sun was the sun was all the way up. <laughs> Eight, eight, eight o'clock at eight, 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 eight. Talking, eight, eight, eight. we were having fellowship around the mysteries. Mm. Mm. Absolutely. When 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 Prophet Jean Lane looked up at the time, she said, "Is that time for real?" <laughs> <laughs> it was five twenty-five then, and we went another two hours after that. <laughs> Talk about the mysteries of God. Mm. What's next? We're what's next. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. What's next? I believe that. All of us here. Yes. This is what's next. Yes. This is what's next. This what's is. next? That you'll carry this. Mm -hmm. Save this. Pass it on. Mm -hmm. Teach your children. Yes. Teach your children's Before. children. Mm -hmm. What's next? Teach your grandchildren. I remember my children, I made them watch Roots. Mm. And one of my children back then, they were teenagers and they were in you know, all white schools. They said, Daddy, why are you teaching us hate? Mm. This is not hate. See? Wow. See how they did that? Because they, they, cause they could Felt. feel. The, and they were going to school with these people every day. I says, I want you not to forget. This mm -hmm. is what your ancestors mm -hmm. have lived through. We've come this far by mm -hmm. faith. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to think that because we're sitting in this mansion up here in this gated community, Forgot. this is the norm of your people. It is not. This is the exception no. and not the rule. That's right. But lest you forget, you'll become privileged mm. and just as oppressive yes. as our oppressor. One form of tyranny <laughs> is no good. Teach your children. Have these conversations, because they're not going to... They're not going to teach us in public school. No. There are, there are people discussing right now. I think Virginia had a big thing. The, was it the governor that just won? And they started bringing in the whole thing about critical race theory. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. How did it come up in the ballot all of a sudden? Mm. Mm -hmm. We can't have this taught to our children. Wow. That's right. We've got to protect our little princesses. Mm -hmm. Our mothers of God mm -hmm. and dear Jesus, we got to protect them. We cannot let them know that this is in their DNA. Mm -hmm. We can't let them feel guilty. I get it. Because mm. our, our Christianity don't even allow guilt. Hmm. Wow. There is therefore now no condemnation <laughs> to those. Uh, let's get the prerequisite why, right. Mm -hmm. Walk not after their lower nature, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So but as the spirit. Mm -hmm. In other words, there's no condemnation when you live out of your spirit realm. Not out of the... But when you live according to your lower nature, as you've been trained to do, mm -hmm. 
at the hands of an oppressor. Yeah. Yes. There is condemnation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your grace message says you can't feel guilt. Mm -hmm. God wired it into your bodies. Yes. One last thing I remember we were doing, um, um, I think I told you about this. We were having the, um, the women's uh, conference, Pastor Deborah, and um, we, we did a little deconstruction, and then we did a little reconstruction mm -hmm. at the altar. We went old school at the altar. Mm -hmm. And I mean, these women were, I mean, they were bent over, they were wailing, they were crying, they were whatever. I saw a sound started coming from the altar. And I saw your mama get up like this. Mm. And she walked out. By, by then, I'm more out. I'm, I'm sitting on the stairs, pushing through. Come on, y'all. Break yeah, through. Blah, 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 your mama got up and walked across. Go ahead, baby. Go ahead. Mm. Go ahead. Mm. I said, if she don't stop, I'm going to kill myself. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't. I could, well, she was putting up. Blah, 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 shut up. And then the pastor gave her the mic after it was over. And mother said, be careful. Mm what goes in your ear gates. Mm -hmm. You don't want it in your body. Yeah, that oh, time oh, out. Yeah, no, 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 careful what you say what's around you. You don't want it in your body. Yeah. Get it out of your body. Mm. Oh, get it out of your body. That's a prophetic wisdom. Mm -hmm. Yes. That what goes in your ears and your, your eye body. gates manifests in your body, your issues show up in your tissues. That's right. Yeah, la, ba, ba, mo, say. Right. It, 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 it didn't make no difference about no dementia or nothing else. No. That's right. When we created an environment that she came out of, mm -hmm. and we created a sound, and the so saints were purging through, through. Mm -hmm. she came through like, I mean, and then when it sat down, like, nothing happened. Mm -hmm. And see, and, and, and I'm glad you brought that out, the ear gate, what you hear, mm -hmm. the eye gate, the media images you see media. and the mouth gate, the food that you eat. It all going to show up in your body. It's showing up because your body becomes an outpicturing yes. yes. of what you just took in from those yes. gates. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. Let's give Dr. Janine a hand. Oh. <laughs> Officers of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Jennifer Howard said, Bishop Jordan, um, was a guest on Bishop Alvarado program, and he also has um, Bishop Jordan's, uh, was on Bishop Jordan's PhD committee, yes. Um, um, Dr. Alvarado has something that um, he has going on, as um, was stated here. You miss that every Saturday. On every Saturday night on YouTube, um, Bishop Jonathan Alvarado. Mm-hmm. But here's the problem. Mm. We're not given enough money for it to be on mass media. True. Mm. Like this is not, I'm not a, a thousand people should have been watching this today. No, yeah, that's right. only about a hundred. That's no right. Question. And especially if that's some right. of you question. out there would have been sharing this oh my and God. you still have the opportunity to do so, especially if you're on YouTube, oh my God. you have the opportunity right now to help this message oh my God. start to get into a groundswell by simply Brother. clicking that share button. And what happens? That means it may go to your Facebook account. It may go to your own personal YouTube account that you may even have your own followers. But well, hold on a minute. They can't do it because put the image of the muzzle over the mouth and neck. Oh. See, you've been taught not to share. Yeah. Yeah. There's a reason why they put that bit in the mouth. That's it. You were taught not to talk. Yeah. You were taught to. Be quiet. They did this enough on the outside of us that even when we come into positions of power, we don't share. Mm. 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 You have not been taught uh, yeah, yeah. how to live without this. Mm -hmm. Woo! You see another person trying to make it, on, you won't that. even give them information nope. about a lawyer. Nope. You won't give them information about the accountant nope. yes. or stay away from this one, go yep. in this direction. Yep. Mm -hmm. Here's a friend of mine that can help you. You don't share. Yep. Nope. Because you'll be punished. Yes for trying to free yourself and free another. Mm -hmm. And that's why the numbers stay low here today. Because it was comfortable to watch this in the muzzle. Wow. Ooh. 
because this is where we live. This is where we live. <laughs> this is why it takes us an hour to raise the offering, mm -hmm. because I got to get past that muzzle. Past all of that. Oh my God. And see, all of this that is external is now internalized. Yes. That's so good. We have internalized oppression. Mm. Internalized Accepted. racism. Oh and now we do to our own what's what been done to us. To us. And someone wrote the book on the $40 million slave. Yes. Yep. Where they use our sports player. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when Kaepernick came out from beyond that muzzle, and took that helmet off, look at the helmet. Yep. Mm -hmm. Does it like a football yeah. does it like a football helmet? Oh, it does. And look, no old school. Look, yeah. <laughs> but no, what's so interesting about that, mm -hmm. when you think about mm -hmm. athletes, mm -hmm. professional athletes, and I love them. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a former football coach and everything. But you know that athletes are not necessarily just employees of their particular teams. They are depreciable assets. Mm. Good. Mm. Go right there. Stay right there. <laughs> they are considered depreciable assets. So that means not only are you writing off what you paid them as an mm. employee, but as they depreciate, as they like depreciate, as talk they about age. the product. Yeah, as yeah, yeah, they yeah, yeah, yeah. depreciate, you can get a write off off the depreciation, mm -hmm. which is part of what it is that you're paying for. What a trade. So that's why when we encourage people, even if you decide to go in athletics, you're not going in athletics just to prove how many points that you can score. No, you're there to get the resources. And then you're supposed to start to be like the wise people that we're seeing in the Bible, the unjust stewards those individuals that Jesus has blessed that went out and doubled and tripled the resources that, they, that their hands came in contact with. Because technically, you're only considered a depreciable asset, which means you're just an asset to whatever it is, the entertainment media that you're presenting yourself as. Wow. Still okay, property. Here we go. Still property. Still property. It's asset. Still property. So. Still today. <laughs> your eyes are becoming open today. Mm -hmm. Elena Thomas says, thank you, Master Prophet, Lady Jordan, and Bishop Hyman. It wasn't until Thursday that I realized that this was what I was thirsting for. Wow. This mm. is invaluable. It is. Let's do like how when the Master Prophet comes on, when he's with the Master Chef. Share, share, share. If you care, care, care. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This share is it. invaluable. Share it. And we send out over 400 food baskets yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of live food. Anti-slavery yes. food. Yes. Live right. food. I want to emphasize that. 400 mm -hmm. families, yeah. over 400 families, out of the 400, 600 pastor we feed. It's over 500. Over 500 families we feed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Over 500 families we feed every month. See? Yeah, but you're not going to tell, but see, you don't want to tell it, because see, this is all part of the process. This is why we can ask for the seeds mm -hmm. that we ask for. This is why media must happen now. Dr. Hyman needs a documentary. She has a story. Mm -hmm. She got a story. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. She, you need to know the journey of how did you get yes. to this wisdom mm -hmm. at this age mm -hmm. and what was your process oh to matriculate through a system and how did you play the game, mm -hmm. survive the game, That's and right. can you give me the tools to shorten the distance? Yes. Mm -hmm. But she can't do that on just an iPhone. No, she can't. <laughs> it takes media. Yes, it does. If we don't get nothing else out of this, watch this. They're doing a documentary on us, and this documentary costs about, uh, about 300000 mm -hmm. So I knew that, that that's just to shoot. That was a shoot. That's no, a no, shoot. We're not talking that's about not post. That's not talking about... Post-production. Right. Post. Don't, don't talk about post. <laughs> and I sat here and said, God, and I kept wow. hearing what they were saying in SNCC. If not you, then who? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Which prophet will America be left with? It says, do you want them to be left with the prophets that they're calling prophets today? Mm. Or do you want to set the standard Sensation. of what a prophet yeah. needs to look like? Oh, this was the second reader on my dissertation. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. 
But she was the one I met the first day I went into Virginia Union. That's we right. happened to be sitting at the same, same table. table. Mm. And I'm looking at her face and she's looking at mine. Mm. Not to know that six years later, Come on. she would be coming to my defense. Wow. Because mm. she can understand the language of what I was communicating. It was through that conversation, mm -hmm. we discovered that she was in this. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because I said, I'm dealing with 16, 19, the COVID-19, and the mental health, and she... Wow. My advisor says, now, I can't do anything, because I'm, I'm, I do the theolo theology part, the psychological, yes. Dr. Hyman does it, he had to switch it. And that is what gave wow. the prophetic, as y'all was in that room, mm -hmm. the distinction that all black people, we need mental health care. Yes, sir. We got to come back into Verbella. We need mental health care as a people. That's right. Watch it. And this is part of the therapy. Yes, yes. it is. Yes. Yes. yes, it is. You know we can't treat mm. a condition until we can show the condition. Is that, right. is that correct? Absolutely. Mm. How can we treat you if we can't go back to these images right. of why you first came to America mm -hmm. and you came here, they would say, we have cotton, tobacco, and slaves. You're a product. Mm -hmm. product. Still a product. Still. Still, yes. <laughs> Still a product. Mm -hmm. And this, this shows how, why the pathology developed, how it has been transmitted from generation to generation, mm -hmm. and certain things that we still encounter and we still do even mm -hmm. yes. to each other, mm -hmm. is a result of wow. a pathology yeah. that has been perpetuated yeah. mm -hmm. generation after generation mm -hmm. after generation. Wow. My God. I'm going to, uh, these are the ships that we, yeah. our ancestors came here. Mm -hmm. I was in that ship. That's something else. Black bodies. These are black bodies. That's right. I was in the loins of that ship. Watch Come this. on. Watch this, watch this, watch this. That ship. This wasn't a one-day journey. Mm -mm. No, no. Come on. No, no. That's what's... Say that again. This wasn't done in two weeks. Mm -mm. <sighs> How long was that journey that they were in that position? Look at this. Wow. wow. And chained. Wow. <sighs> That's crazy. Tween decks. Ch chains on the feet. Wow. So they can't go nowhere. So you can't go nowhere. Hmm. Because we know the power of your motor skills. Mm. Mm -hmm. We know mm. the shape and the mass of your body, the definition of your body. We know you don't need cleats or shoes or nothing else. Mm. Right. Because your feet are connected to the soil. Mm. So we chain your feet, we chain your minds, we chain your hands. We still have the same chains. We oh think we have arrived. Oh but we have not gone nowhere. We're still chained. The mind is chained. The hands are chained. We're not giving you nothing. Mm. We'll take every resource from these poorly paid hands mm -hmm. and circulate it back into the community of whites and Asians. And money stays in the black community two seconds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, if this, see, I'm going to give you some hope now. If we have the power to make nations wealthy, mm -hmm. if we have the power mm -hmm. to sustain ourselves through this for 400 oh years, God. you could only do that if the hand of God uh, was on you. And if we create wealth, 12 or 13%, greatest consumers in the country, yes. if we create the wealth for nations, then apparently the wealth is on us. It is on us. It's on us. That's why we make everybody else rich. Because mm. wow. we don't know who we are. That's right. Black Ben hijacked. We've been black men hacked. Even as you talked about the Greeks, they hijacked the stuff hijacked from Africa. Us. They sure did. Went in and got our Sphinx. See, and this is why 
you know, I'm gonna get Mother Jeffries to come and take y'all. We gotta get her yeah. to, uh, to curate. Look at the branding, the slave branding. Yeah. Denoting ownership. Yeah, so, we, we got brands now. Look at the back of your clothes. Uh, we got brands now. <laughs> come on, mother. Come on. <laughs> Hey, la You know what? 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 Right. I'm going to ask you today, Act. and we want to be a blessing, and we're going to do the work of the Lord. I'm going to ask on this Saturday that everybody do a seat of $400. Let's do a $400 seat. a pressure. Because guess what? We're in judgment now. We're in it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but have you been marked to go through it? Yeah, my. Because we're in judgment now. We're in it. China is shut down, which, which is, is it, yes. it, it, it's shut down. No, man. All no, of a sudden, they had an outbreak, nothing. and now I think Taiwan is starting to have, I guess somebody that sends me news from the Pentagon. They send me all these news articles every day. They flood me with all the news from around the world. I says, just keep me in tune. I'm giving it to the prophets and to My mighty staff. army that Listen, I said, go on the channel. I said, why is China shut down? That's the far east. Well, where does the sun rise? In the, in the east. east. Mm -hmm. And then it sets where? In the west. In the west. This pandemic started where? In the, the east. In the east. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Y'all think we out of this wave. Mm -mm. This next wave is headed. Come on, Don't take that mask said, off. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to say something to you. And I'm going to give some instructions starting next week. Start getting your body conditioned. That's right. For the next wave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? I like what you said. I'm going to use that about the virus. It's a bug. <laughs> mm -hmm. The virus is God's mighty army. Mm. Did y'all hear that? Yes, I the heard locusts. it. The I heard it. News article just came out. The fire. Mm. They're fired. Love it. Not just in America, globally. Mm -hmm. Never happened before. Hepatitis in children. That's wow. right. And they got to give children liver yeah. transplants. Oh, my Six God. year old. That's it. Come out of nowhere. Mm hmm. Science is confused as to what's going on. Right now, they are releasing COVID shots for children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they were getting hepatitis C for those under six, and they have no shot for them. They're rushing in labs right now. Wow. But we told you in the beginning that it was coming for our, our babies. That yeah, Omicron, that you told us. Even and I told you about Omicron, right? Yeah, you written yeah. it too. Right? They said, oh, this is like just a little cold. I said, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Uh, 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 uh. This thing is going internally. That's right. And doing things that people think they're over it, and then six no. months later, someone's dead. They're waking that up that dead. <laughs> and they're dying calling, sleep. calling it heart attack, or something failed in them all of a sudden overnight. I'm asking you That's good. right now to join us with a $400 seed. I heard something today. I read that scripture mm. 400 years. Mm -hmm. But why didn't I think that that was for the Hamitic people? Mm. Why did I think that was for Shemites only? Mm. 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 Why did I not think? <laughs> Because wasn't the Hebrew people slaves in Egypt? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why did not think that the God of the oppressed mm -hmm. was not saying, just hold on a little while long, I'm coming Listen. through here? Mm -hmm. Hold on. And some of y'all got paid to stay home during the pandemic. The government didn't even know why they were giving out money. Mm. Wow. Pay. But then some of you couldn't qualify because your business wasn't in order. That's true. I, 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 listen, That's I, true. You weren't you were ready. You heard the prophet that says, you got to get your stuff. You got to get, because guess what? When they fall off the horse, you got to be ready to be the next horse. That's right. Mm -hmm. And get on it. You got to be in position. What blessed us is that we heard God in 2006, 2007 said, build this. Uh -huh. I was getting ready to dismantle it because we had been down here. We found one light bulb that was out. 
mm. that a company began to put together and build. Mm -hmm. And in that process, this thing lit up like mm. a Star Wars jet. <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow. Like it was sitting there. Just waiting. Waiting for the moment. Mm. We, we had already dismantled the studio at the church. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. We took this stuff and threw all of that stuff away. Just hang on with me just a little while longer, saints. And we were getting ready. I was getting ready to turn this into a playroom. Uh huh. I said, this should be a meeting. We're going to dismantle all this. Wow. And then COVID hit. We were upstairs. And then the spirit said, go downstairs on to the I'm just trying to get up on the stage here. Somebody need to get this for me. It's a distraction. Um, go go down. We got robot because I said, how are we gonna get the cameras working? You know, the, the camera we got robotic cameras. You paid for the microphones, the sound system. This would not have taken place if it wasn't for you. What, what am I saying about this? It took some money to make this media happen. Mm -hmm. Breaking news, Master Prophet. Well, what is the breaking news? Breaking news, breaking news, and breaking news. One of our brothers here, Charles Christopher Scott, has decided on this fine day, the last day of April, to sow a seed of $1,222.22. Amen. Amen. Wow. Just thought you should know. All right, DJ. This is our breaking news moment. Hit it! <laughs> Pass the prophet, we have to break it now. I'm glad I have a good heart. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. Get up. I mean, this man talked about a black president way before Barack Obama went to USC. I was blown away by the prophecy. The prophecy hit all the marks and told me of my future. Now, I'm listening to this man prophesy to me. I just scream. I said, I'm done. The master prophet began to hear from God. We were trying to wait and hear the rest of the word, but nothing else came. It was just well, God gives certain people certain insight toward guiding in the flow of where God wants us at the time in history that he's put us on earth for. Oh, you know, he's a false prophet. We were called the money church. The love of money is the root of all evil. I did not go into the ministry to get rich. I got rich doing ministry. It wasn't about taking a vow of poverty. The lack of money is the root of all evil. How can you even be a Christian and not preach the message of prosperity? Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, they were rich people, had big houses. When you lack money, 
people have choices. You have money, you can do great things in ministry. Believe his prophets and so shall ye prosper. people of God, amen, people of God, this is the time, this is the time, make sure you get your $400 seed into the ground right now, and we have some tremendous and, and exponential ways for you to utilize your ways to get your seeds into this fertile soil. One of the, ex, the ones that's most expedient is to do the text to give option, which allows you to text the word, my worship, yes, the word, my worship, here's one word, there's no space between the Y and the W, so you text the word, my worship to 646-762-0433. Once again, you can text the word, your four, a text your $400 seed today by texting the word my worship to 646-762-0433. Or if you wish, you can also speak to one of our great moderators on our partner care line. And that telephone number that you can speak to a moderator is at 888-831- 0434. Once again, you can call in your seed right now as you're watching us on the various social media platforms, or even if you're with us in the Verbella, our part in the metaverse, you can speak to a moderator who will assist you by calling 888-831-0434. For some of you as well, you have another option. You see that code right down there on the bottom of the screen, the QR code, quick response? You can hover your camera over that quick response code and that'll bring you directly to an area where you will be prompted to position yourself and to position your seed in the ground. And one of those ways, you can go to zoeministries.com, our secured website. If you go to that particular website, right there on our homepage, click the donate tab. That's gonna bring you to our donate page. And you have the opportunity to fill in all the prompts that is listed on our donate page. And also you have the option to sow your seed by a credit card or by a PayPal. So once again, if you decide to go to zoeministries.com, once you get to our donate page, you have the option to either sow by a credit card or by a PayPal. And last but not least, good ground, fertile ground, Zoe Ministries has a cash app. Yes, we do. And our cash app handle is dollar sign my Zoe Church. Once again, if you wish to sow your seed by a cash app, yes, directly by a cash app, is dollar sign my Zoe Church. The only thing that we would request is please go to zoeministries.com. On our homepage, you're going to see the members tab. You're going to click there. A drop down menu will, will, will populate. Click Cash App. Once you click Cash App, there are just certain fields that we'd want you to fill out, including your Cash App handle. Why? So anytime you decide to sow your seed via Cash App, we can stay in communication, we can stay in connection, and we understand who it is that is laboring amongst us. So if you do decide to sow your seed today via Cash App, just please go to zoeministries.com, click the Members tab. Populated field drop down. 
Click Cash App, fill in the appropriate fields, and especially your Cash App handle so we can have it registered and documented accordingly. With that being said, it's my honor to throw it back to Dr. E. Bernard Joy. Hey man, thank you so much. You know, I am deeply moved that you're moved. Ming Canty, I love what she says, even POWs when brought home aren't allowed right back into society. Ooh. They are deprogrammed, checked out. We are prisoners and we're let go into society with no deprogramming, mm. no checkouts. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And um, when we begin to look at, she says this, these words, amen, God gave me that years ago. We need places that will we'll deprogram and check people out. Church should have been that place, but as we've heard these last two days, been colonized instead of empowered. Mm. That, is so, that, 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 that is being so woke. And that's why we want you to get to the birthday celebration on June 11th. Oh I promise God. you, I am going to make you proud. Breaking news! Master Prophet. And what is the breaking news? Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news, Master Prophet. As you were talking about the birthday celebration, uh -huh. it is interesting that we have our one of our very own sisters, Jarrell Hamilton. Jarrell Hamilton. Yes, she said that not only am I going to be at that birthday celebration, but I threw a little sizzle, I threw a little sauce, a little sprinkle on top of it. Uh -huh. And she sold to make sure that she's there on Saturday, June 11th at 7 p.m. there in the mighty borough of Kings called Brooklyn, New York. She has sown a $1,000 seed on this fine day here today. All right. Just thought you should know. All right, hit it, DJ, hit it. That's the prophet. We have to break it now. I'm glad I have a good heart. Shy, yeah. <laughs> Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. sign came up because breaking news master prophet ain't no warning there is no warning there's no, <laughs> no warning needed what's the breaking news breaking news breaking news breaking news master prophet our very own Christine Javier Hollinger has decided she's not going to be left on anywhere back there somewhere. She knows that she's in the front of the line. And she is sowing a seed today of $1,000 here on this fine afternoon. Just thought you should know. All right, hit it, DJ, hit it. Ask the prophet, we have to break it now. I'm glad I have a good heart. Shy, yeah. <laughs> Get up. Get up. Like 
Breaking news, Master Prophet. And what is the breaking news? Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Now, you know, some call her Auntie Ross, some say the Wealth Consortia, but we know her as simply a wonderful woman of God who continues to sow the seed. Our very own prophet is Rosalind Weems has decided today, today, to sow a $1,222.22 seed. Just thought you should know. All right, let's hit it, DJ. Hit it. That's the prophet. We have some breaking news. I'm glad I have a good heart. Shy <laughs> Get up. Get up. Get up. What? want you to go ahead and get your $400 seat in. We're asking everyone. It'd be great if we have 120 people do the $400 seat right now. Yes. It, it, it would be great. And I hope to God today you got enlightened. Yes. Mm. I'm looking for you at the birthday celebration, and I'm looking for you to connect. Amen. Breaking news, Master Prophet. And what is the breaking news? Breaking news, breaking news, and breaking news, Master Prophet. We have our very own sister Nicole Johnson who has sown the $1,000 seed on this fine day here today. <laughs> Just thought you should know. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, DJ, let's hit it. Pass the property. We have to break it now. I'm glad I have a good heart. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get jiggy with it. To the left, to the left, then to the right, to the right, to the left, to the left, then to the right, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Thank those that have done the $400 seed so far. We have Deborah Jordan, $400. Barbara Tucker, $400. Cynthia Scurry, $400. Andrea, Dr. Andrea Williams, $400. Sabrina Brindley, $500. Hey, Amen. Where's the rest of you? Are we, are we, can we give the $400 seed of celebration towards um, we now are woke? Oh, that woke. We are out of oppression and God is sending his mighty army. Ah, bless mm. That is a word. Amen. That is a word from 1619 to COVID-19. That Breaking news, Master Prophet. And what is the breaking news? Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news, Master Prophet. 
it is an honor to say Sister Gwendolyn Mitchell. I guess she wanted to combine certain things. She said she was making sure she was getting her seed into the ground. So she decided to sow a $1,400 seed on this fine day here today. Wow. You know, Prophet Clark, there are some people that are beginning to see that maybe this here is worth it. Oh, yes, sir. I mean, when you start looking at what you get here by being a part of the blessing plan. Amen. If it wasn't for this ministry, where would you be? Amen. You may have to consider that. This is not only going to, I mean, they're going to sort of afford it all see. They're going to get a call. There's going to be a prophetic word. Mm-hmm. They have access to coaching this week. And they say, I need to come and talk to a coach about what I've just experienced over the last two days in this seminar. Amen. Yeah. You, would, you would just allow yourself to be part of the blessing plan, Master Prophet's blessing plan number 12. I mean, this cycle is um, almost at its um, culmination. And then, Believe you me, this would be a spearhead to make sure that you're a part of us for Master Prophet's Blessing Plan number 13 when that continues on for the next cycle. But as the Master Prophet stated, if you know that you may need a space to unpack, as we can say, and I would ask um, the, um, the the TV crew, can you, even though I'm talking, can we get a shot of our three great coaches over there, three of our great coaches, and probably the fourth one's about to pop into the screen, walking <laughs> by, amen. Can we get a shot of the, thank you, those are some of the coaches, some yes. of the individuals that will help unpack you and help bring you back to some level of, you know, a, a, a firmer foundation in regards to this. It's not just it's not just a one person show. It's a collective of us. It's a total of seven individuals, and we wish to honor them. And you know, Seeker Master, Prophetess Antoinette Harris, the sniper herself, and what I say is, you know, say I call her the one Wakanda forever. That is our one and only sister, <laughs> Naya Kia Brown, or the HU, you know. You know. So, believe you me, you want to take advantage of the opportunity to have people who look like you, who are going to be specifically there to wish to assist you and to help you digest and to deal with some of probably the emotions, the things, the flows, the whatever's coming and going, as even pro- uh, Dr. Janine shared today, you know, there's certain things that probably inertly within our bodies that we're dealing with. And as you start to be able to talk these things out, as we've learned over time, the more and more that you suppress, that gets exposed and expressed in other ways. But if you get to outwardly talk about it and share those feelings and be in a space where you know that you're going to be taken care of, Mm. You're not going someplace that you're not going to be taken care of. You will be taken care of here when you come see the prophetic coaches. And so you come into our platform, which is our Zoe Ministries virtual platform. If you don't have that platform downloaded to your desktop computer or to your laptop computer, then you need to come to ZoeMinistries.com and right on our homepage. You just have to scroll a little bit. You'll see Zoe Ministries virtual platform. You click there, you'll you'll get the first download packet that will be sent to your computer. And then once you click that, allow the process of the software to be installed. And once everything is straight and the world has been populated on your particular device, then you can set up your avatar and then you can come in and have a conversation with any one of us as long as our schedule permits. And we're here to serve you under the auspices here at Zoe Ministries under not only our First Lady, Pastor Providence Deborah Jordan, but our Archbishop, Dr. E. Bernard Jordan. Wow, thank you so much. We're glad to see added to this. I need one of the guys to come and check my battery because this has not been plugged in the entire time. Amen. Um, or the power's out on down that side. But we see added to this is Dominicia Hurley, $400. Uh, William Richards, $400. Akima King, $444. Listen, Saints, we, we need more of you moving. This is why we'll never be able to get our media to where it needs to be. Okay, I got it off. This is why we won't be able to get our media where it needs to be. Do you need money to put out media? Oh, forget about it. In any form of media, regardless of it's print media, regardless of it's radio, regardless of it's television, regardless of it's film, you start to recognize the power of the producer. Mm. See, people, I remember remember learning that as as mass communication major in my undergrad. The producer's job is probably even more important than the actor's job. Because if the producer doesn't get the money and the funding, 
then regardless of whatever the actor wishes to do or the director wishes to do, ain't going to go down. So as you see, like, as you see the promos and you notice, we, we share with you who are the executive producers of the project. That means regardless of it's the person who is ultimately funding the project or the individuals who have to make sure from an executive standpoint, making sure that the footage is documented, that is collected, that is presented so the director can do his job, the editors can do their jobs, the artists, regardless of whatever it is, the reenactments, whatever it is, if you don't have the producer, then it's not going to work. So recognize that here today, especially when it comes to media. So when we're telling you about sharing, regardless of what you see here on YouTube, share it. You're helping to spread the message of what's being produced. Don't just keep it to yourself. Don't just allow this information to sit here and say, well, you know, I got my fish. I, you ain't getting no fish over there. No, share the fish. <laughs> share it within the community. It doesn't cost them anything. It doesn't cost them one thing, and also it helps to exponentially grow the algorithm that, as we know, you're not going to get these type of teachings that a Dr. E. Bernard Jordan is presenting. You're not going to get the teachings as a Bishop Jonathan Alvarado are, gonna, are, are, are sharing on a mass media platform. So if we don't share this information, then we are just as bad as the oppressor because now we're holding on to stuff that we're producing and we're not willing to share. Yeah. So as I stated earlier, regardless if you're watching us on Bishop Jordan or on Bishop Jordan's YouTube channel or if you're watching us on the Zoe Ministries channel, it takes one second for you to click that button. Share it. I don't care what YouTube thinks that they're going to do, but if you share this and they start to see that this algorithm starts to share exponentially, then you start to see the groundswell that can happen as we begin to share the truth. Master Amen. Prophet. We want to thank, amen, Ming Canty for doing 400, Cleopatra Hammond, 400, David Cook, 400, Tonda Sherrod, 400, Gloria Kelly, 400, Arlene Levis, 400. That is 14 people. Let's go ahead and get 106 more. Let's get 120. That would do 400 today. And, you know, thinking about this whole concept of 400 years of captivity, mm -hmm. going through a history now, this should be taught in every school starting at fourth grade. Critical race theory, right? So it would never happen again, you know. And then the people going to police ports, they said, no, you know, the, we're starting to look like the people that was back there doing the colonizing. We're slave catching. Oh, my God. No, you, yeah. You just said something that just, just brought to remembrance. I know in um, Washington Heights, uh, which is considered Washington Heights, there's Yeshiva University. And also there's yep. Yeshivas all over, especially if you go to certain sections of Brooklyn, where they are making sure that they are teaching those individuals in their particular communities to never forget, to remember to remember, to, to be in that community, to, as Pastor Deborah Jordan just said, to never forget. And it's amazing how they want us to forget. They want us, oh, you know, just be nice. Be nice little Christians. Be nice little people, you know. They slap you on this side, give them the other one so they can slap you, so they can slap you on this one. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we know there's slavery. Yeah, we know George Floyd happened. We know Tamir Rice happened. We know Trayvon happened. We know, you know, all the way down to Mike Brown, everything else. Well, but just, you know. You got to move on. Just move on. No, you can't. Because that type of pathology actually is creating more of the sickness that's happening to us. And as we're, uh, and, I, and I thank God for this ministry because not only for being awoken, but the opportunity to continue to grow in our educational process. See, some of y'all get caught up in numbers. And I, when I'm talking about numbers is age and thinking that, oh, I reached a certain age, I shouldn't continue to evolve and allow my mindset to be, you know, enhanced and to grow. And no, that is not the case. You is only as young as the information that you put into it. There are people who are 80 years old, 70 years old, 60 years old in this ministry that will outgun some of you 20 and 30 year olds. Why? Because of the information that they're producing themselves through. So allow us and allow yourself to be a part of the process. Don't be one of those looky loos allowing yourself to stand on one side or the other, but you have to be a participant in this game. And today we're asking you, if you haven't already done so, to sow that $400 seed so we can continue to allow this be a part of a mass media explosion of the truth.
Yes. And once you get, go ahead and get the $1,000 seat and don't stop doing the $1,000 to $1,260 to get your two tickets for the birthday celebration. I want you to be a part. Elena Thomas has done $400. Tasha Howard has done $400. Let's give a hand for them as well as they have joined the 16. We need 104 more. But listen to this. I need you to get on board, right? I don't need you to sit back and say, oh, this was nice, and just turn off your computer and go on about your day. That's easy to do, right? And circulate your dollars among oppressive forces. Mm -hmm. I'm asking you to consider. So, Master Prophet, I know we had just announced that Gwendolyn Mitchell did the 1400. Shall they play the breaking news for the young lady so she can be Oh, yes, knowledge? yes. Let's pray the breaking news for Gwendolyn Mitchell. Thank you. Master Prophet, we have some breaking news. I'm glad I have a good heart. Shy, <laughs> People here like to be blessed. Breaking news! Master Prophet? There's more breaking news? Oh, yes, there's more breaking news, sir. Breaking news! Breaking news! Breaking news! Now, you know this is great, Fertile Ground, when we have the diva of house music. The diva? Oh, no. First, she gave $400. Yeah, she gave she 400 was, But then she wasn't going to stop there. She said, no, I'm a diva. I'm, even though I'm in Atlanta, GA, but I'm still devering up there, like from my hometown of Brooklyn, New York. And that will be in the body of Prophetess Barbara Tucker, who has sold a total today of $1,900. Amen. Just thought you should know. Wow, wow, wow. God bless you, Prophet Barbara. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Th All the coaches say hello to Prophet Barbara. Hi. Oh. <laughs> she just texted me, so she's in Italy. Yes. She's in Italy? Oh, yeah. look at that. Oh, my God, you look had a... That. She's in Italy. You go. She's watching us from Italy. Come on, look Technology. Look at that. Technology. Technology. Yeah. But see, that takes money. <laughs> Come on. I mean, we could have probably did this on... Zoom, but I'm not sure she could have flipped those slides that quick mm. and handed that. Listen, this is what you're supporting. Your money's going in good ground. It's good ground, good ground, good. Hit it, DJ, for the diva herself, Prophetess Barbara Tucker. Ask the prophet, we have some breaking news. I'm glad I have a good heart. Shia. Get up. 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 Master Prophet? 
What is the breaking news? Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. So I'm going to cross my arms. Hopefully I don't mess up the mic because I got to do my Wakanda forever, son. You know what I'm saying? I got to make sure I represent my Howard University sister. And I wish to say it like this. The Honorable. The Honorable. Mayor. Yes. Naya Kia Brown has decided to sell a $1,000 seat here today. Just thought everybody should know. Oh, God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless. And she's here in studio today. She's here in studio. Uh, Prophet Naya Kia, why did you sell that seat today? Oh, Master Prophet, uh, what a teaching. I mean, for in a reminder, we have to be reminded. And I. I know where I'm at. I know the power of the word. I know the elevation of of the seed. And for me to be in the position position that I am in now, I need to be reminded so that I don't become just a leading black, but I am a black leader. So um, it was um, it was a it was an awakening on so many levels as it continues to be taught here at Zoe Ministries. But it's also for me to stay connected and remembering by which I have come. So uh, I'm grateful, grateful to be able to, to sow. Amen. Thank you. And, and I ask that, and I got to keep people around me like this, that you pray that your leader stay woke. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's because there are systems that would like to put me under anesthesia That's right. mm -hmm. and give me laughing gas. Mm -hmm. Right? I said, why don't we just get you laughing to the bank? That's right. And you kind of... Forget about the rest of them. Let's forget about all of this other yeah. stuff. I mean, this is part of our reparation. Mm -hmm. Mr. Prophet, <laughs> people don't realize that um, you and Pastor Deborah can be on an island. You oh, and yeah. Pastor Deborah can That's be right. wherever you want to be. I, I, I just, right. We just got to recognize the gift that we have because you're doing this because it what you have doing what you're doing what your your soul must have. Yeah. yeah. That's why you're doing this. Yeah, this is our work. It's your work. We're in our work. And you care. And you are the product of our work. Amen. That's right. And not a product as an object that we're using, mm -hmm. but product as someone we're developing so that you can go out and produce others. Yeah. And yeah. be in the world. A producer? A producer. A producer. Okay, let's hit it for Prophet Nayakia. Ask the Prophet, we have some breaking news. I'm glad I have a good heart. Shia. Get up. Get up. Okay, we got Nicole Singleton done $400. Douglas Key, bless you, did $840. Douglas Key. Hey, Amen. Myra True Curate Brown did $400. We need 101, not Dalmatians. No, not Dalmatians. But 101. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need black and white Dalmatians, right? No, no, no. no, no. 101 more people to do the $400 seed today. Let's go ahead. We wanna, we're going to be a blessing to the woman of God, right? We, we wanna be, you know, what would a registration fee for a two-day seminar like this would have been? Um, in the, what they consider the world, I would say at, at least an interest fee of about $1,500. That's, that's minimum. Because you're talking about you're being stimulated in your thought. You're talking about at least eight hours of teaching. This is not something that's inexpensive. 
and one of the greatest things about it is, is that as we have learned here, especially here at the ministry, is that your greatest reinvestment is always going to be what you're willing to put into yourself. So that's why the Master Prophet said, as you continue to allow yourself to sow the seed, you're recognizing that this information you can actually keep and utilize so you can be out there as a producer. Yeah. See, those who are out there who are not producing, who may have heard the same message, is because what did you put into it? Yeah. You know, you, you know and some of you sit on YouTube and just eat up this stuff all day long, mm -hmm. right? And that's as far as it goes. I want you to come and witness where your money is going, mm -hmm. right? Now, will we live comfortable? You better believe it. Watch this. Your future depends on my comfortability. Mm -hmm. Just think about that. Mm -hmm. We're not going to model a future of poverty and lack. To me, that's the sin, right? But we will model the future that there is Canaan, and we're creating the Canaan land. Amen. Now listen, we've been blessed to have people here that's in technology, mm. but they don't volunteer their time. And guess what? And we wouldn't allow them to. Mm -hmm. Right? Because the Bible speaks about those that oppress the hireling. Mm -hmm. Those are those people that <laughs> know that they're worth something and that you've hired them for something. And yet, you don't reciprocate back to them, to give them their humanity and give them their dignity. And so we want you to go ahead. Let's get, um, we need, oh, LaMel Burt just did $400 seed. Amen. Come on. So I think we had 100. We're at, we just want 100 more. And um, are there 100 people watching us? There's how many people on, in Verbella? There are, 44 in the auditorium. 44 in the auditorium. And then we have 62 watching on Bishop Jordan's page on YouTube. Okay. And how many watching on Zoe Ministries page on YouTube? Um, it looks like there's, is that 62 or 82? 131. 129 now. They got off. They said, they said let me get, check out of here before they see me. Watch it. 130 individuals. Go ahead and get the $400 seat in. You see the ways to give. Mm -hmm. you're, some of you are in the car. Pull over. Pull over and put the seat in the ground. Mm. Because you know your next stop is to take the money out of the community. That's their next stop. Oh, Lord. Your next purchase, I want you to see right now, mm. is your next purchase in a black hand or a white hand. And that's why it was interesting <laughs> that she brought up that fact today, and I think Pastor Deborah helped to bring about that point a little bit earlier about the fact that we all got brands on. Yeah. We all have some sort of, there's a brand. We yeah, all have yeah. branded somewhere. Show the picture of the branding. This is the branding. And it's right there in your turtleneck. It's right there in the back of your neck. Show the picture of the brand. There you go. See, there's the brand. Slave branding. Slave branding. It's horrible. Mm. Right, British slavery. But yeah, but they they claim you're walking some, billboards. But that's what I was about to say. They claim that people are slaves to their brands that they love. Mm -hmm. and people say that to this day. Oh, I'm a, I only can do this, or I only can have that. Well, like, ooh, you only can. Yeah, yeah. And, and 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 let's take even further. And then the music industry, they own the masters, and you have the slaves. Mm -hmm. They sell the slaves, right? Ten dollars, nine ninety nine, whatever, right? And what happened when Prince tried to get his masters? Oh no, he wrote that word on his. He went for a season until he got his masters back. He became the symbol. He, and, he, and, he, and he had that. Right. And he wrote. He wrote. He had his his um, barber, and then never, everyone was shocked that he had his barber make sure on his face every single day, make sure that thing was perfect. Slave coming down the right side of his face. And the other side, it was like, for this, for this season, I'm only the symbol. He wasn't even, don't even call me, don't even call me my, my, my government name. I am the symbol until I get my masters back. And when he got his masters back, that's when he said, okay, now I'll be. 
and what about Prince my, again? And what about Michael Jackson? Oh, Michael Jackson was notorious. He was good for that. He was he was actually more gangster than Prince in some ways. He was he was he got to the point that he was owning other people's masters you and they were shocked. The he had the Beatles masters. He had this one's masters and they were shocked. It was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, who? Michael. 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 His father did something right. I said, Mike, Michael. I was like, wait a minute. I said, yeah, when you, yeah, I did that song with you on my my Thriller album, and you talked to me about publishing. Oh, I just bought your masters. Right. Now, what? where are both of them now? <sighs> see, and the th and, and, see, the and see, the thing you got to ask, they're asleep, my God. right? My God. And this is why you need a prophet. So, walk you so you know how to process that in yeah. your body. Mm -hmm. Walk you through it. Because what was it that was going in their mouth or in their veins to put them to sleep permanently? Mm. To suppress whatever they were going out here externally, mm. they had to take something internally to cope mm -hmm. with whatever cope. was going out. Right, that Stockholm syndrome. Exactly. <laughs> It was a coping mechanism. A coping mechanism. Yeah, because Michael was starting to get woke towards his latter years. <laughs> he found out he was black. He found out, yeah, he it was black. There was no more black or white. Yeah. It, he, he found, found out, out he was black. black. And it was like his latter years until 2009, he, it was like that metamorphosis when they talk about Martin. And it was like, how come Martin towards his latter days sounded more like Malcolm? No, he was always there. He realized, Martin starts to recognize that as I'm telling my people to be free and look for their civil rights, where is the money? And that's when all of a sudden America started turning on Martin. He's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going across this country now. And if I'm hearing, some of my people are fighting against an unjust system and maybe they're striking here in Memphis or they're fighting against something that's going on in California with you know steel workers or Pennsylvania with the steel workers and things of that nature. No, no, no. We're starting to recognize we where's the resources? And then all of a sudden America, who loved Martin, as you know, Pastor Janine was, you know, joking about, you know, when we're that docile black, yay, kumbaya, peace. As soon as we started talking about money, it's like, wait a minute, okay, where is the money? Oh, he's sounding radicalized. He sounds like that Malcolm fella. See, m money becomes the radical thing. Mm -hmm. So notice both of them start owning masters, moving to ownership. Mm -hmm. They start, they stop being the entertainer. And they were owners. Let's become the producer. <laughs> we're going to stop being the um, consumer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to build a factory. We're going to be the owner, right? And then they didn't even get to live out their ownership. That's mm -hmm. true. In so many ways, they say as much as that we don't talk about Cosby. But Cosby, all of the stuff with around Cosby didn't start until he was at the precipice. Yes. The precipice of purchasing NBC Universal. Mm -hmm. Until he said that he was ready to purchase oh. and own. He was America's dad. Sure? We sold those jellos. He, you know, he smiled and we enjoyed Fat Albert, you know what I'm saying, pudding pops and all that other good stuff. But as soon as he went to become an owner, everything started shifting in a different you just and you're looking at and if you, even if you're looking at us right now you're thinking like you know we're creating some hearsay it's not hearsay it's history it's just proven based upon the actions of how he was presented one way until he wished to be an owner to be in control and then how the narrative shifted listen it's real i watched charisma start the article with us out of all the things they could talk about, Prophet Jordan charges 365 for prophecy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he charges. We never know it was a charge. We never even used the word charge. Never. Right? Never. But they created that narrative. Mm -hmm. never. That's all part of media. That's all part of the media. Media. And at that time, we only had an ink pen and we couldn't go against an ink well. We mm. try to, but our ink pen was no match because all I had to do is spill the ink mm -hmm. and it already blotted out everything that we were saying. Master Bob, you know, it's interesting. Um, you talk about how the wealthy owns the media. 
Mm -hmm. And our government, our governor, had a real scandal going on. And you don't even hear anything about it. It's like being sponged. Oh, yeah. because, yeah, because, see, we already got what we needed. Exactly. We need you. Watch this. Was it that we needed him out of office or we didn't need him to run for president? Exactly. Mm -hmm. See, 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 we don't know actually where mm -hmm. that attack came from. Mm -hmm. We're not clear yet. Mm -hmm. But it's not only him, but him and his brother. Mm -hmm. That was but, too much media. But the crazy thing yeah. about it is now that everything has died down and his brother was pushed out of that, that media platform, now it's like, wait a minute. It seems like most of the time. I'll cite the country. But notice it also represented a last name. True. Because yeah, his father was what? His father. His father was. So you see, the path was going to be easy for him. Mm -hmm. To announce his candidacy. It was. His and you got, you, got, you got media here, mm -hmm. you got politics here. Mm -hmm. Politics and media equals power. Yes. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, no, no. But it, 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 it brings to the point in regards to understanding how certain things were positioned because now that particular governor, about 95% of those charges have been removed. Mm were unfounded, yes. mm. that there was no proof behind it. But yet when he was at the point that he was, you know, saying that maybe I should fight against this because part of it maybe is, you know, a cultural tendency of mine, which I can apologize for. But it wasn't anything to the level of, wait a minute, where is this attack coming from? And then, you know what, okay, I'm going to step down. Uh, I'll walk away. Because y'all starting to throw that I word of impeachment out there. So I'm going to step down. And then after all this is said and done, it's like, wait a minute. Um, the person who brought some of those charges against him had to be told, now you can't run. Because we realize now what you did was a little, a little funny. It was a little politically charged. A little, it just didn't, it, you didn't really have the proof that you had. But now we forced this man out. It's just interesting, as you said, politics and media, if you have that together, as we can see by 44, can bring you into power. Yeah. I'm telling you, that me, th this media thing, so this white Jesus, and Dr. Janine covered this whole thing about the pathology, the mind, these images are branded in our mind, in our psyche. Some of you right now think about which God have I been baptized into. Right. Have I been baptized in the God of my slaveholders? Mm. This makes you look again. Okay, we're asking everybody to do the four hundred dollars city to represent. We're four hundred years. God promised us four hundred years, and then I will judge. Amen. Breaking news, Master Prophet. And what might the breaking news be? Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news, Master Prophet. Well, Douglas Key, you did say his name. Douglas Key. He gave $840. Uh-huh. But I don't think that was enough for him, because he said, I'm going to be there Saturday, June the 11th. He said, got to be there. Come on, like my, hey. Be there in the morning. I got to be there at noon. <laughs> so now his total for today is $1,470, Master Prophet. All right, Douglas King, let's hit it, DJ. Master Prophet, we have to break it now. I'm going to have a good heart. Shia. Get up. 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 Get jiggy with it. To the left, to the left, then to the right, to the right, to the left, to the left, then to the right, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right.
Come on, producers. Keep producing. All right. Okay, well, listen, we're going to get ready. Uh, we're going to just um, acknowledge the Taruma seed in just a moment and give you an opportunity to be a part. I'm looking for others. I think I need now about 100 more people that would do the one, they'll do the $400 seed. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I, I know you're watching, but can I get you out of the stand and on the court? Can I move you from watching things happen and join us on the court where we making things happen? You're either on the court or in the stands. Mm -hmm. Two different places, two different conversations. Mm -hmm. The conversation that is on the court is different from the conversation on yes, the stand. Yes, it is. Both is looking at the same game but having different conversations. One is yelling at what just happened, and the other one is creating what's about to happen. Mm -hmm. What's your position? Mm. Text me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Text me and let me know if you're on the court. If you're on the court, your money will speak. Yes. If you haven't given, then you need to let us know you're still in your seat, you're in the stands. All right. We're going to get ready now and acknowledge those that have done the Taruma seed. Let's get the Taruma up. And this is where you get the seed into your supervising priest. How do they do this by way of Zell? Amen, people of God. Your way to make sure you get your first fruits offering, the Taruma seed into the ground via the Zell application. That means you would add the Master Prophet as a contact at his email address, which is bishopjordan at zoeministries.com. So once again, as long as it's your bank, because it's a 21st century bank that allows you to utilize the Zell feature, you can add the Master Prophet via his email at bishopjordan at zoeministries.com. Dr. Jordan. Amen. Jessica Chalmers, $1. Chanel Davis, $54.31. Jeffrey Jackson, $7. Cheryl Johnson, $56.82. Joyce Hartley, $7. Dolores Gilchrist Anderson, $8.88. Mesa Paniti Barbie, $18. Jamil Malone, $3.13. Daphne Barkley, $28.42. Deanna Barber, $2.22. Maddie Young, $60. Tracy Rose. $2.22. Nikea Brown, $8.88. Barbara Stinson, $3. Eleanor Curry, $3. Michelle Berrien, $3. And that's who we have for Zell. How will they do if they're doing this by, right now by way of Venmo? Amen, amen. If you're doing it via the Venmo application, that means that is an app that you can download to your phone. And that is V E N. M-O, Venmo. And you can add the Master Prophet on the Venmo app at Bernard hyphen, which is a dash, Jordan hyphen, another dash, and the number four. So once again, if you have the Venmo application on your particular cellular device, you can add the Master Prophet as a contact and sow your first fruits offering via that app to Bernard dash, Jordan dash, and the number four, Dr. Jordan. Amen. Angela Brown, $88.88. Dante Marks, $1. And that is it. How can they do if they're doing today by PayPal? Amen. If you wish to do it, and especially that is a great way for those of you who are international partners. As you can tell, as we stated earlier, with Prophetess Barbara Tucker, she's in Italy right now. It still has, so that means that lets you know how technologically the reach is going, and you still have the opportunity to do so to make sure that the blessing is bestowed upon your house, regardless if you're here in the United States or outside of the country. And that, you can add the Master Prophet via PayPal, 
via his email address once again, which is Bishop Jordan at ZoeMinistries.com. So if you are sowing your Taruma seed today via PayPal, add the Master Prophet as a contact via his email, which is Bishop Jordan at ZoeMinistries.com. Dr. Jordan. On the last day of this month, April 30th, Kimberly Warren, 22.22, Heidi Scudder, 40 cents, Desmond Harper, 59 cents, Ara Anderson, $23.79, Desmond Harper, 59 cents, Empress Lenise Public Relations, $31.25, Restored Ministries, $6, Heidi Scudder, 5 cents. And that is it by PayPal. Now we're going to go to Cash App. How can they do this by way of Cash App? Amen and amen. Well, we have two great ways that you can sow the seed, your first fruits offering to our Master Prophet via Cash App. Now we have one which was the initially established way, which was you can send it to our first lady, our leading lady, Pastor Prophetess Deborah Jordan via her Cash App, which is dollar sign Prophetess Deborah. So once again, if you wish to sow your Taruma seed, still using the first established way, which is to send it to our first lady, you can send it to her cash app, which is dollar sign Prophetess Deborah. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much. We have one of Morin, $8.88. Randy, $10. Victoria Williams, $6.45. Sony Wood, $1.22. Felicia Bamberg, $1.00. Lashika Hamilton, $2. Brenda Bain, $46. And that is it, Your Grace. All right. Is there a way? Thank you. Albert, where I got your $3 um, Venmo C. Thank you. David Stenson, I got your $4 C. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a way for them to do this by way of the best cash app any <laughs> archbishop can have? Hey, and, I mean, you should have, all you should have this memorized, <laughs> right? If you have an archbishop like I am, mm -hmm. what is the cash app they can do that makes it so personal and special? Hey, Amen. Well, with people of God, you know, since early November, the Master Prophet has had a cash app that you would be able to ping him directly to his personal phone. And it will ping when you do it via this way. So if you're sowing the seed via Cash App directly to the Master Prophet E. Bernard Jordan, our Dr. Jordan, you can send it to dollar sign, my Archbishop. Once again, if you are sowing your first fruits offering directly to the Master Prophet via Cash App, you can send it to his particular Cash App and his handle is dollar sign, my Archbishop, Dr. Jordan. All right, dollar sign, my Archbishop. All right, here we go. We have Betty Jones, 2222, Sheila Levy, $15, Latoya Dawkins, $20, Deontay Witt, $3.90, Daniela, $100, Daisha Lundy, $95.41, Tracy Rose, $7.22, Prophets Margaret Grant, $2.19. Colette Washington, $16.25. Jay Marche, $2.22. Warrior Design Company, $275. Wow, Prophetess Carolyn Wright, $925.35. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Kathy Hughes, good to see you back, $1. Robert Jeffries, Jr., $20.22. C.E. C. Elizabeth Mojica, $38.63. Latanya Johnson, $5. Tasha Howard, $2.25. Irene Davenport, $8.20. Nicole Singleton, $144. D. Roy, $5.62. Rhonda Jackson, $40. Joseph Piguet, $25.88. Nell Dixon, $2.50. Barbara Tucker, $375. B&B. Four dollars. Tiffany, Tiffany McCoy, ten dollars. Lilani, Kiriton, twelve dollars. Melissa Britt, a dollar forty-four. Doctor Andrea Williams, T H D, one hundred dollars. Sunny Woods, three dollars and eighty-eight cents. Deborah Wilson, two dollars and twenty-two cents. Kimberly Cox, thirty dollars. Tawana Qualls, four dollars. Nancy Dandy. 
$3, Cares, $15, Cleopatra Hammond, $20. Prophet Joseph Foster, mm. this great man of God. Wow, he was watching today, $100, amen. And we also got another cash app from Prophet Jeff Jackson, $3. All right, it's not too late to get your seeds on in to the ground. If they didn't have cash app, Venmo, Zelle, we thank Mary Wiley for doing the $22.22. Revi Mitchell, thank you for doing the $2.22. If they didn't have Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, Zelle, is there another way, Prophet? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. We want to make sure that your household is blessed and that you receive that blessing to be bestowed upon your household. So if you didn't have any of the previous four ways to do so, here is one other. You can call it into our partner care line. Yes, you can call it in to our partner care line. The only thing that we ask is, if you're going to do it via this way, make sure it's at least $10 or more, and make sure you inform the moderator this is your Taruma seed. As with all Taruma seeds, it will not be a part of your accountability. It's between you, God, and your supervising priest. And an Aosha. So now, if you wish to call it in, you can call our partner care number at 888-831-0434. Once again, that telephone number to call in your Taruma seed of $10 or more to 888-831-0434. Dr. Jordan. Amen. William Richards, $10. Lorenzo Cox, $12. Anthony Grant, $35. Maurice Smith, $12.22, Melissa Tapado, $10, Brenda Braley, $10, Naeem Ingram, $19, Adrian Nunez, $55, Antoinette Harris, $100, Herbert Drayton, Jr., $63.63, and $11, I mean, excuse me, Vivian Thomas, she was number 11, $28.50. All right. Prophet Deborah, are there any others that came through yours, through you just before we get ready to command the blessing? Um, no, Your Grace. All right. Okay, we're going to get ready and pray right now. Father God, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the people that have given the heave offering, the first fruit. We ask now that you command the blessing to walk and rest in their home. Bring about the increase, the release, the strength, the multiplication. Let them see your hand in this season, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, let's give you a hand clap of praise. Uh, we want to um, thank also Marcia Brown, amen. Clean service, $6.73. I just saw that came through on my end as well. Thank you. All right. I want to, um, we're going to get ready and close. Let's see how far we are from our minimum goal today. Amen. We've been, um, Sharon Mack, thank you for doing the $400 seed. Herbert Drayton, thank you for doing the $400 seed. We're 5,300 from our first goal for today. We should have been here already. Um, we've noticed that we're, we've been down since the beginning of the year about 40% in income. Yes. You know, we've seen mm. a 40% drop. Mm. Mm. People are out and about. Yes. When people are home, they, they almost need another shut-in, right? Mm -hmm. When malls was closed. Ooh. See, we don't compete Amazon with had a loss. Amazon had a quarterly loss. They had a quarterly loss. Their first you want to know quarter, why? Their first quarterly because things loss. are opened up. Yeah. But quarterly you know, loss. But, but if you forget God and this opening up, mm. I want to encourage you that we're now able to do some critical things. Mm. Uh, I don't want to stop midway in this documentary because we run out of resources. Mm. Right? Mm. And... And I'm asking you to be faithful in your giving. Amen. 
Because what you've heard today has been eye-opening. We don't need to go back. Mm -mm. We need to keep moving forward. And so um, if I can get 53 people to do a $100 seed, really 54, I'm sorry, 54 people to do a $100 seed, that could put us on um, the road that we need to, or 15 people to do the $400 seed. Mm -hmm. But let's get um, you right now to respond to the particular seed. Thank you, Iris Green. I got your $5.81. Thank you. And let's get you to respond now by getting your seed into the ground. So go ahead and do that. And if you've been blessed today, don't walk away and do nothing. Amen. If you came away with something, then I ask you to circulate something today. Circulate something today. Let me see who's be the first one that would do the $100 seed. I think I got um, Barbara Stenson came up in my radar. Prophetess Deborah, would you like to confirm that that's number one? Yes, Because I'm not looking at all the platforms. But that just um, showed up. Amen. And you will correct your grace. All right. So go ahead. Tell the people how to give one more time, Prophet Clark. Amen and amen. Now, for you to get your $100 seed in, okay, you know, come on now. Let's quench the thirst. Let's quench the thirst. And if we do so, we be able to have overflowing waters for ourselves as well. So... One of the um, expedient ways to do so is you can do the text to give option. Yes, text to give, where you text the word my worship. Yes, one word, no space between the Y and the W. My worship to 646 762 0433. Once again, you can text to give, text your $100 seed, or for some of you still doing that $400 seed right now, you can text the word my worship to 646 762 0433. Or you can speak to one of our great moderators who are happy to assist you 24 hours, seven days out of the week. And that telephone number is 888-831-0434. Get your $100 seed in the ground right now. Get that $400 seed into the ground right now. If you know that you're supposed to be at the Master Prophet's birthday celebration on June 11th, get your $630 donation seed into the ground. Get those various seeds into the ground right now by speaking to a moderator at 888-831-0434. Also, you have the opportunity to go to our secure website, which is zoeministries.com. Once you get to our homepage, click the Donate tab. Once you're at the Donate page, fill in all the prompts, and you have the opportunity to sow your seed via credit card or via PayPal. So once again, if you go to zoeministries.com, you can sow the seed by a credit card or by a PayPal. And for those of you who are technologically adept, you know, hold up your phone to the screen right now. Even if you're on YouTube, even if you're on Facebook, even if you're on <laughs> IG, hold your phone up, you know, just take that picture of that quick response code, the QR code, and that's gonna give you the opportunity to sow your seed in a quick response matter on this fine day here today. And lastly, but not not deficiently, you can sow your seed here in this fertile space via Cash App as well. The only thing that we request is, is that if you're going to do it via Cash App, please go to zoeministries.com, click the member tab on our homepage. The word Cash App will come down in the drop down menu and register your Cash App with us, where our fertile ground Cash App for the ministry is dollar sign My Zoe Church. So, once again, Good Ground has a Cash App dollar sign my zoe church get your hundred dollar seed your four hundred dollar seed know you you know you you one or two of you right now know you need to be at the birthday celebration get that six hundred and thirty dollar donation so you secure your seat so you're not on the outside looking in dr jordan all right we want to um, also thank people still getting the taroma seed in alexander gray twelve dollars and twenty two twelve dollars and twenty cents also seventeen dollars and thirty six cents Devola Scott, ten dollars. Uh, wow, Natasha Page House, one hundred dollars, and she 
she's listening, and, and her song is on the, she's singing that she is, wait till y'all hear the song. Okay. Mm. For America, Black Prophet. Huh? He said, we, he said, we gotta hear it where everyone else hears it. He, he he won't won't you, yeah, that's he horrible, said, isn't it? He said he's holding that back. He said he got, he's you know, teasing us. You're holding a lot of yeah. stuff back. <laughs> See what happens when you get producer's control? Mm. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> it better be all that in a bag of chips, too. Oh, God. We're going oh to let them know, at, let them know at that moment, right? But, um, I had to beg to see the trailer. Oh, God. <laughs> no, no, I'm well, just the trailer's saying. Well, yeah, I trailer's didn't call not any on. names. I'm yeah, just yeah. saying. Shame. I begged on the, the, the staff told us to let the TV at least hear it. Oh, yeah. I'm, never mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> never mind, because I'm swarming with something. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we want to thank God, um, amen, for B&B, for your $12, amen. Um, thank you. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, Barbara Stinson did 100. Um, Barbara Tucker did 150. Barbara Forte, 100. N N Natasha Edmonds, 11, 111. 11, and Maddie Young, uh, $100. Um, dollars. We only got a tithe of the response. Jesus. Amen. So let's... Um, Let's let let's go ahead. And you know, and when I look at this, and I like to consider myself a decent fundraiser. If a person don't have the ability to raise money, their media will die. Because mm -hmm. then there's no medium for you to be projected into. Yeah, and there's no resource, so you can't restore because mm. there's no resource. You see, without resource, you can't redo anything. Wow. Then the people are going to be forever a slave of the media they have. Zoe is um, disruptive technology. Amen. Amen. We are disruptive spiritual technology. Amen. Amen. You guys, Dawn, Dawn um, Severa, she just sold a $100 seed. Um, also, I believe Prophetess Maddie Young sold a $100 seed. Um, Prophetess Michelle Berrien did a $120 seed, and there are others. Okay. So we ask that you go ahead and get your seeds into the ground. We are counting on you. All right, we're counting on you. Thank you, Nicole Johnson. A $100 seed just came through. Amen. And um, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Our, Letitia Edmund, she just did a $111.11. Yes, we called her out already, okay. yes. Thank you, Rosalind Williams, we got your $100 seed. Thank you yes, Rosalind. for sticking with the struggle. Amen. Sticking with the struggle. Sticking, staying with the struggle and keeping a master profit in the hustle. You know, you, gotta, you just got to know what you're signing up for. But we could be on an island somewhere. That's true. Relaxing for like a year. Relaxing. Right? Because we're at retirement age. <laughs> we are... But a see, lot of people retire at 63. That's true, but that's, that's why there's a difference of us being here at Zoe and hearing someone who's 63 years of age out there who's not getting this nourishment in regards to just from a physical standpoint and a spiritual standpoint. That's why I said our numbers, the numbers of our ages, especially here at Zoe, those who are active, belie us. Believe you me, 63 here is not 63 out there. You want to be the 63 in here. You want to be the 50 in here. On the court. On the court. And not in the stands in a wheelchair. Okay, listen. One empathy. Mm hmm Or quad triplegion. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. And I'm talking about that spiritual. I'm not talking about physically. Yeah. Right? 
because I know a lot of people that are physically in a wheelchair, but they're on the court. Oh, yes. Because yes. they didn't let whatever their condition was or an amputee that is on the court and very much causing a new game to create. Yes. Because those that are on the court are creating the future, and those that are in the stands is talking about the past. Yes. Mm. OK. Aaliyah Tucker, $400. Keely, Keel, Keela Tucker from Evans, Georgia, just came through with $400. Amen. Thank you, Keela. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Amen. And listen, those of you that are in white churches, they're not going to show you this image. Mm -mm. No. This, these images are not. They're not. What you saw today, they're not going to show you. No, they're going to try to show you that other image. They're going to show you that image. See, put that image up. Put this that the, image up. This is the image they're going to show you. That one right there. Well, your eyes. They're going to have that image on the wall. Mm-hmm. Stained glass. Stained glass, right? And you probably see it on a fan that you'll be fanning, mm. right? That's media. Promotional items. Promotional items, right? And it took money for them to do that, right? But let's, sit, let's put up some other images that we're going to show you that they're not going to show you. Ernesto knows what images they're not going to show you. They're not going to show you this one. Will they show them that image? Oh, no. Oh, no. They How about this one here? Oh, no. And that's what they're doing on Sunday morning. Mm-hmm. Look, at, they're not going to show you this. No. Of course not. They're not going to show you that. But this is part of critical race theory <laughs> that they do not wish to teach, which they wish to whitewash. So when you hear us here, that's why we, we, we made those disclaimers and, and the like in regards to the imagery. Like some people might say, oh my God, why would you sell the women like that? Why not? Y'all show everything else. Y'all show everything else to be exposing who we are as a community. But now that we start to come back and say, okay, we're about to blacken our minds with the truth to recognize that this critical race theory is not st stuff us to uh, hide from or run away from, but to, and, and it's not so much about the honoring, because we're honoring those shoulders that we're standing upon, but we want you to know that as other communities talk about never forget, oh no, you better be in that same realm for you and yours. You better be in that same realm for you and yours. Never forget. Don't sit there and act like, you know, because you got shoes that you happy. Never forget, because this is the imagery that they don't want you to teach. This is the imagery that they don't want their children to see. Pain and dismembered. Mm. Yeah. All right, listen. Mm. If not, so listen. We trust that every one of you listening on whatever platforms you're listening on, we trust the Lord that you have sown here. I think I got another seed that have just come in. Um, thank you, Prophet Cyrus Green, for your seed that has just come in. And we want you, want you to consider, if you didn't give here, where was your next dollar about to circulate? Mm. I want you to just look at that. Just think about that. Thank you again. And we're going to see you tomorrow morning, 11 o'clock for the pre-show, 12 noon. And you never know what may happen right here at Zoe Ministries. Let's go up with um, the documentary. And we'll also look for you to see June 11th. Also, on Monday, 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 you get an RSVP for the graduation ceremony. Four graduations in celebrating in one day from Virginia Union, Elder David Bratton. 
Minister proper, Jessica Jordan. M M Minister Jessica Jordan, L Bishop elect Joshua Jordan, and the Master Prophet. And Dr. E. Bernard Jordan. We have a special chef that's coming and that will be cooking mm. for that, that has done LeBron James and Oprah Winfrey, a black chef. Amen. And that's going to be doing the event. Mr. C will be. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Yeah. Bring it there, boy. Hey. hey. You know, guys don't like when you do wicked, wicked. He say, he say you're too young to do it. <laughs> I told him that's the answer. He's a young for that. <laughs> Look, man, I can go back to where we used to bust open the light poles to get power. Don't do that. Oh. <laughs> they don't set up, they don't set up the DJ. Uh, yeah, uh, you so know what I found out, that. Your Grace? I was doing some talk. I was on a call with some marketing, and they said, oh, so they went from the baby boomers, and they said, oh, um, so the Gen Xs are the forgotten generation. I haven't heard that later. And I said... <laughs> they said that because they, they jump over the X's yeah. and they go right into the millennials. Millennials, yeah. So, if, of course, yeah, you're trying to figure it out. Yeah, because, you know, because what, what has happened is, <laughs> what has happened, the millennials, they feel so entitled mm. that they took two slots. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. They're entitled. But it's all right. The zillenniums are going to come from the Z generation. Mm -hmm. I'm gunning for them. Yeah. That's why, that's why the millennials are afraid to have children because they know what the problems are going to be like. Ooh, Shondo. <laughs> Ooh, Shondo. They're, they're delaying the children, you know. Shondo. The Ed, alpha generation, Ed, that's the alpha because it goes, it's going to be great now. Ask Legs if he's looking forward to children. You looking forward to children? See, that's, that, that's, that's, that's the song that's of the millennials. Mm. <laughs> you looking forward to children now? No, they don't, want, they don't want that harvest because they know it's coming. They know. Listen, they know. It's coming. And those that have it, their children are sitting still in school. Mm. <laughs> They're getting calls from teachers <laughs> weekly. <laughs> Come like, get your it's, child. It's like, it's like a new harassment assignment. They're telling them, says, if, if, in order for your child to come to school, they got to go on drugs. You know, it's like, it's a whole new, it's a whole new world. When you look at a millennial with a child, you just, just shake your head and says, just say it's harvest time. Harvest time. <laughs> and the harvest becomes greater than the sea. I know I'm terrible, right? I'm terrible. <laughs> right? I look at my grandchildren, and if their mothers make them cry, a father that says, I understand. We have the same enemy. Mm -hmm. He says, Daddy, don't be saying that to them. I say, they make me cry too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come hug your grandfather. We have something. And you know what? The grandchildren uh, stop crying. Yeah. <laughs> they look, they're processing what I said. Same enemy. <laughs> Come. Yeah, we have to skip a generation to connect. <laughs> mm. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Renea Washington, Prophetess Deborah, just did a $100 seed. Amen. Amen. She, she's, she's helping out with the struggle. See, there's some people who say, you know what? If there wasn't a Bishop Joy, where would I be sitting? Somewhere in, you know, name the church in your city that will show you these images. Show them that image there. Let's see if they'll show you that tomorrow. Mm -mm. They, they, would, they would say that that didn't happen, or where did those pictures come from? Who took the pictures? That you don't want people to realize what the history is. It's, it's, that's, that's so, that is so diabolical. No, the yeah. niggas are the ones looking at it. Right. And that's, that's, that's what that looks like. And uh, guess yeah. what? And the foot of that cross mm. is nothing different from the foot of Jesus' cross. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. And the traumatic experience. Yeah. And many of you are Trump. worshiping with the people that are at the foot of that cross. Mm -hmm. That's what we're saying. I want to assimilate like them. Yeah. I want to assimilate like them. Yeah. Stockholm Syndrome. No. Okay. Yvonne Worthington. Wow. Out of Monk's Corner, South Carolina. Oh, wow. I love that. She, listen, she understands that picture. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she does. Oh, this, this because, picture. Yeah. No, she understands that picture. Show that picture there. That picture. She understands that picture, right? Because my was grandparents was right from, from that area right oh, there. Oh, my. They, they, listen. 
Yvonne Worthington, $200. Amen. Did you not know that a lynch mob tried to come out after um, Bishop Mason? Wow. Mm. Because of his protest against the war during that time, I think it was World War I, mm. that it was World War I or World War II, his protest against the war. Jesus. And the word had gotten out in the community that a white lynch mob was coming over and the FBI has started an investigation on him for speaking about let there be peace. Oh, much. wow. Charles McGinnis, wow, thank you, Charles McGinnis. I hope y'all make the birthday celebration, amen, $100. Y'all so faithful, thank you. Christine Akraku um, from Florida, thank you, $100, thank you, amen. Uh, God bless you, Lenora McGinnis, thank you. For the $100 C. Lenora McGinnis, thank you, amen, thank you. Thank you, Janet Nelson, for the $100 seed. All right, listen, I'm looking for more of you. There's 14, I need about 40 more people to do the $100, or 10 people to do the 400 to meet our goal. You know, it'd be great to go out of April at least meeting a goal. Yes. Amen. On the, I mean, like in the month with a goal met. Amen. All right. I love you. Thank you. We're going to go off, but don't stop giving. But we also understand once you're out of sight. You're out of mind. You're out of mind. But don't let these images leave your mind today. God bless you. Peace. Peace. Destiny is not left up to chance, but it's just a matter of choice. The master prophet is anointed. I mean, this man talked about a black president way before Barack Obama went to the U.S. I was blown away by the prophecy. The prophecy hit all the marks and told me of my future. Now, listen to this man prophesy to me. I just screamed, I said, I'm done. The master prophet began to hear from God. We were trying to wait and hear the rest of the word, but nothing else came. It was just... Well, God gives certain people certain insight toward guiding in the flow of where God wants us at the time in history that he's put us on earth for. Oh, you know, he's a false prophet. We were called the money church. The love of money is the root of all evil. I did not go into the ministry to get rich. I got rich doing ministry. It wasn't about taking a vow of poverty. The lack of money is the root of all evil. How can you even be a Christian and not preach the message of prosperity? Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, they were rich people, had big houses. When you lack money, you lack choices. You have money, you can do great things things in ministry. Believe his prophets and so shall ye prosper.